and we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast. After our edition, we got a packed house. Really packed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's, Let's get into it. Down the sauce guard. Oh, yes, yeah, we're down the sauce guard, baby. Yes, and a bunch of girls. Let's get into it. All the night is my world. City light. Ain't it good? I mean, listen, if you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to leave? Serious, get the f- out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not how would seem. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's my thing. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. Uh, quick announcement before we get into the show. We got a great one for you guys tonight. Uh, Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit, guys, where you can find all the behind-the-scenes content. If you want to see me, tell the girls, put your shoes on outside on Patreon <laughs> where, with the full behind-the-scenes stuff. Go ahead and check us out over there. Um, also, guys, we do one weekly Zoom call where we talk about real estate investing, cryptocurrency, making money, real estate, starting a business, credit score. getting girls on social media, getting in shape, basically becoming a better man all around, okay? So you don't have to become a sucker and you can basically choose and deal with the girls that you want to do and then kick the ones to the curb that piss you off, all right? It's a very powerful thing to have as a man being able to walk away, and we teach you how to become higher status on there. Don't say right? Also, guys, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. We're on every single platform that you guys listen to podcasts. Just make sure you wear headphones. And if you're listening to us on your phone, don't let people know that you're listening to us. We're the most hated podcast right now. And, uh, and you might get fired. Then you might get definitely fired. <laughs> well, so, you will uh, get fired. Yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got a couple of DMs. People got fired. So, guys. <laughs> Please protect yourselves. The type of things that we talk about is it's base, man. A lot of people in society can't handle it. We tell the uncomfortable truths. You know, we're we're the most hated by everybody. So it is what it is. Also, guys, freshshirtpodcaststore.com, where you guys can get the four example the shirts, merch. Frank Castle t-shirts, sweaters. Everything is there, guys. Get the merch. And we also got the I Feel Like t-shirts in stock as well. Uh, and then, also, uh, Fresh, you want to tell them about your vlog channel? So, guys, for behind the scenes, man, of my life, Chris, Trey, and Myron, check it out. Get to see some of our dates when we travel. Bring on some of our celebrity guests like, you know, Don. Check it out, guys. 50K almost there. Yeah, guys. Check us out over there. And um, and Fresh Films every day. He literally just finished doing his vlog right now before he went on air, man. There you go. So always working, guys. Um, also, twitch.tv slash Fresh Fit Podcast, guys. Uh, close that Pornhub tab, which someone actually did do it someone for us. Someone did do it for us. <laughs> <laughs> and they're watching now. They just DM'd us and told us. So uh, check us out over there, Fresh Fit Podcast on twitch.tv, guys. And uh, yeah, it's actually way better quality over there. So if you want to see some titties in 1080p, check us out over there. Mm-hmm. All right. And then also, Chris has a Twitch, which he has still not uploaded a video to, which Fox. is hilarious. I'm like, <laughs> you want to tell him about it? <laughs> yes, uh, guys, follow me on uh, Aaron Poxon on Twitch. Um, if updates this weekend, I would uh, push a stream. Uh, Aaron C. Poxon, follow my Instagram for updates. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. So let's get it. About time. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's about damn time, man. Hey, like, listen. stupid. Okay. Hey, it is what it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And then we got, um, for reactions, guys, for now, just send them to me at Unplug Fit with three Ts. I'll look through them. Uh, we are doing reactions right now, but Trey is sick, guys, but he's recovering. Uh, I talked to him yesterday. He's doing better, so I'm definitely going to have to get a refund from that assassin. He didn't do his fucking job, so uh, that's not good. Uh, and that's our audio engineer for some of you guys that are wondering who's Trey. Um, and then also, uh, Chris, you want to tell the ladies uh, that are watching the show right now if they want to come on? Yes, uh, ladies, uh, send me a DM on Aaron C. Poxton and make sure you send me a DM and not just come with your friend. <clears throat> because if not, then, um, you know, I'm, I'm very picky about certain things like that. If you're flying in from other states to Miami and uh, make sure you bring your boyfriend or your husband if you have one. Because we don't want it with any issues, all right? So facts. Yeah, we don't want that. no problems. Big facts, big facts. And then also, guys, check us out on Instagram, Fresh Fit Podcast. If you guys want to see the girls... Their Instagrams are on there going fresh for podcast. It's the last story that we just did. Check them out. I'm going to update the description box at the end of the show with all their stuff and the timestamps as we usually do. And also, guys, we just wrapped up an interview with Don. It was fucking fantastic. Great podcast. Yeah. 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 Guys, we literally, it was uh, what, what about an hour two hours, two hours. Two hours. It was two hours, hours long, yeah. man. Two hours long. See, I thought it was like way less because it was, it was going so well. Nah, that was amazing. We covered everything, yeah. guys, from uh, starting on YouTube. Childhood. Uh, facing adversity. Yep. Um, being in a, uh, in a separated household, right? Divorce yep. household. Mm-hmm. Um, marriage. You know, we took, we had some disagreements, yeah. which is great. You know, you, that's the best kind of discussions. Echo chambers suck. So. Check out that interview after this one, guys. It was really good. And how did you become a big YouTuber as well? Yes, yes. We shared a, a bunch of secrets on there, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, check that out, man. 
Uh, make sure to give it a dislike over there. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, yes. and uh, speaking of dislike, shout out to the mods, by the Yo, way. Yo, shout out to the fucking mods, the man. Mods, man. Y'all are out here holding the line. Yo, Yo mods, mods, you know mods, what? I'm, mods, I'm mods. with you in battle, man. Yo. All, like, all, all week long, you guys have been going strong. You guys have been going heavy. Uh, shout out to the uh, FNF fam for uh, actually keeping us strong. Yeah. Bro, I, I literally feel like it's like the movie 300. Yeah. It's, it's like, like it's just Hold us against all of them coming after us. It's cool. And I'm just like, you know what? When the haters come into the chat, I'm just like, what's, what's next? next? Fresh and fit, bitch. Damn. Get the fuck out of here, what's man. What's next? We got Alphas come out of us. We got <laughs> Yeah, man. So we're going to keep working, man. We're going to keep trucking, creating this content for you guys. So let's introduce the ladies. Okay, so ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, and then your current dating status. And we'll start right here. <laughs> My name is Pearl. Um, Instagram. Oh, my name is Pearl. Instagram is Beauty Queen Slays, and um, <clears throat> I have an epoxy business. I also dance. I do different things, brand ambassadoring. What was the other thing? Wait, Perf- what kind of dance? Oh, mm. exotic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does it involve? Go dancing. Does it involve a pole? Sometimes. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. That was like the, the the most that stuck out. With, no, 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 no. Okay. Because uh, uh, in, involve, cause in me, Miami, you say dance. It's like, yeah, it's very. Mm, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, go go dancing. I've danced, you know, before shipping, aka. Um, I started doing uh, music videos at first, but pretty much I focus on my epoxy business. Mm. So that's what I do. Okay. Then, let, let me be, be a little bit more clear. Does it yeah. involve pole dancing with singular denominations of currency being thrown at such people? <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> Okay. Mm. All right, cool. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine. And then um, your current dating, dating status? Pending. Mm. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. I'll give mm-hmm. you guys the translation. Um, I'm with him for now until something better comes along. He better get his act together. <laughs> no, actually, more so he's not having his act together. So I don't know if he actually like deserves this. Oh, okay. Oh. So. Yeah. She's single. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. In other yeah. words, <laughs> it's other words, uh, she's looking for a, a replacement right now. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Well, you came to the right show. Yeah. All right. My name is Elena. <laughs> I'm 22 years old. I'm actually a preschool mm. teacher, and I am single. Preschool? Oh, That's shit. Cool. Chris, okay. another teacher in the house? <laughs> hey, let's get it. Hey, let's cool. make some art together. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you. Um, right. I'm V, um, 25. Mm. I'm a artist, aspiring fashion designer, barber, and bartender. Damn, barber, too? <laughs> oh, she okay, with the cool. cuts, man. All right, she's single. Cool. Sunny, welcome back. Hey. Hey, welcome back, Sunny. Um, Everyone's favorite single mom. <laughs> hey. Um, I'm Sunny. I'm a hairdresser and uh what you what do you call them? Spicy dancing. Okay, there we go. There you yeah. go. Spicy. And uh yeah, I'm single. Welcome right. back. back. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh I'm Julie. Um, my Instagram name is Julie underscore Mercia. And I am 24. And you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You can pull okay. it closer to you. <laughs> okay, sorry. That's what she said. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. What okay. do you do for work? Oh, um, I actually work in nightlife. Okay. Here. Um. What are you, bartender, I'm, dancer? No, I'm a bottle girl. Bottle girl. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. What about a club? Vendome. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Vendome. Shout out Vendome. Shout out. We were there. Um, you want to yeah. tell us your social security number while you're at it? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, Vendome's pretty lit. That's a hot spot yeah. in Miami yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, are you current dating status? Oh, I'm single. Cool. Okay. All right. Hey, Welcome Ari. back, Ari. Thank you. Happy to be here. So Ari and my um, handles Ari only smokes, and then I am 27, a uh, cannabis lifestyle brand owner, Women X Weed. Um, what else? Dating status. Oh, dating status. Recently, exclusively in a relationship. There you go. So you got rid of that polygamous thing that you were doing? I did. I think okay. you were right about like looking for something better. Mm-hmm. And hopefully you stay towards the end of the show. <laughs> hey, man. Mm. Yeah, y'all, no, that's y'all really no, do no sound better tested. when you get closer to the mic, though, just so you know. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm a little bit short for this mic. But... Thank you, Don. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so uh, all right, so so you no longer, because for those of you, some people might not know. Yeah. Let's go down memory lane real quick. <laughs> <laughs> When you came on the show last time, you had a boyfriend, and he was like allowing you to be open on your end, but he couldn't be open on his end. Which Ooh, I would no, no, no. What the? Right? Oh, right. Oh, Hold on. Let's get it straight. Okay. It, was the, it was the opposite. It was he didn't want me to be open, but mm. I but you were, was though. yeah open yeah. because but oh. he was allowed to do whatever he wanted. 
but I wasn't, mm. but I still did. And so you, he had to become okay with it. Okay, I'll just keep it real. It, 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 oh, the problem sure. is that when a woman's open on her end, it never works. So, yeah. uh, you know so I'm glad that you right. fixed it. I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. Is the relationship better from you not being open on your end anymore? Oh, no, no, no. I'm in a new relationship. Oh, a new guy. Exclusive, a new guy. like, oh, yeah. didn't even want to be in an open relationship. Like, that's okay. how much I See, love we called it. Hey, all right, great. Okay, Ooh. see, man. What? Okay. So, hold on, I'm hold not, on. Well, can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead real quick. Yeah. Yeah, go okay, ahead. so what was he not, like, what was he not fulfilling that made you feel like you needed other men to, like, step in and, like, feel that? I think I was just in a place, like, where... You know, I wanted to be a single and love myself more than I loved a man. And that's what I was up to. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, timing is a lot. Timing is like everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And you like evolve and like how you feel and how, who you meet is like a real big perspective on like life. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm going to. What was different you know. between this dude that you went now that you're able to. No commit? ego. Oh. oh, he has no ego. He's like, ooh. He's like fluid as fuck, and we're just we vibe smooth. Mm. Okay, I tell you guys all the time, man. The, your woman is gonna treat you depending on your own value, bro. Mm. She runs around and says, "I want to be open on my end." You already lost. It's it's you've been lost, but that's L. But uh, mm. well, we could talk about that later in more yeah. detail. But okay. glad that you have a, a good relationship yeah, where you. you're no longer open on your end. What about you? I'm Ella. I'm 22. Gosh. I'm a wedding planner, mm. and I also own a candle and body care business. Oh shit, that's cool. interesting. Okay, wedding planner. Current status? Single. All right, welcome. I got some questions about that <laughs> later. All right, maybe I invite everybody to do this exercise. I love to do it with my friends. Everybody take a deep <laughs> breath and sigh. <sighs> Fuck! Okay, so uh, yep. what was the next question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotcha. <laughs> name, age, we do for work. Yeah, name, age, we do for work. All right, well, I'd like to say I'm 20. How, how like old do I look? Come on. You like to say? I like to believe I'm 23. I'm 21 forever, but I'm actually 28 in my okay. infinity year. Okay. Okay. Um, Instagram handle? Do I say it now? Not yet. Yeah, you can. You can if you want, but. Insta no? No, no, no. Go ahead and say it. It's just that because it's an Instagram and I already know when you try to spell it out, people are going to be like, what, what, what? Oh, yeah, no. It's super okay. simple. It's just okay, like uniquely.sy. Okay. That's how you spell side. Cool. Okay. Um, the last thing I do for work is yo, if you get into like auto um accidents, please uniquely dot sy. I got you on that insurance. Mm. We're gonna work your case, we're gonna close it in less than a year. Um that's breathe what in I, and breathe out. Yeah, you got like, it. Money yo, cause cause Miami's just like boom 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 boom. Yeah. Like, yo, nigga. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my yeah. You know, like I need I need like well, it's, 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 it's more like <laughs> okay. All and right. Your current dating status? Can we get back to that? Oh, okay. It's oh. complicated. Very. Okay. Situationship. All right. Well, that's scary. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about you? All right. I'm Luchi. I am 25 and I'm an artist. I make music and I work for a cannabis brand. Mm -hmm. And I am. I'm single, but I'm uninterested. I'm just chilling. Mm, just chilling. Mm. Yeah. Lucy, yeah. before the show, you did an excellent job. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. And you got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Come on. Okay. You got to do it. Okay. Okay. No, make her do your phone number. Like your phone number for the been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. To leave a voicemail, press 1. To finish your call, press 3. <laughs> Well, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Okay, okay. You're that annoying She's woman. She's got more. She's got more. It's her. That was you. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's go. Thank you for being a part of the Fresh Fit Podcast. We are live on air from Miami, Florida. Thanks again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Siri got nothing on me. Don't, 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 don't. There you go. Jeez. That was easy. All right. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, guys, don't clip that and use, uh, you know, yeah, pay me. I'm on Fiverr. <laughs> Add me on Instagram. <laughs> send me my send you on Fiverr? She could do your voice, man. Wait, wait, you're on Fiverr for real? <laughs> What's that? You're on Fiverr for real? Yeah, I got a little Fiverr account going. Okay. No, this woman, she is a craftswoman. She can she do is anything. A, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to, rights. and then now we need to introduce our special guest, Young Don the fucking Sauce God. <laughs> yes. yes, sir. Don the Monk. Can you introduce Monk. yourself to the people for those who may not know you or a nighttime crowd? Yeah. No. Nah. I'm known as Young Don the Sauce God on YouTube, but y'all can call me Don. 
And, uh, you know, I make animations. Uh, I tell stories. People tell me they're funny. Uh, you know, I tell live stories and uh, try to find the re relatable parts of them. You know, I do a bunch of other things as well. I have a podcast, stream on Twitch, make music. Uh, it's all good. So check it out. Thank you. Fire music, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we listened to some of his music earlier. It was like Fire. Um, so, okay. So I'll hit the Super Chats real quick, and then we'll get into the first question. All right, Black Wolf Inc., $5. What's up, fellas and gentle ladies? After the show, listen to this track called The Hated by Vado featuring Davies. It's a great track when you feel stressed. Hey, I, man, I, I thought I was the only person that knew about Vado. Okay. Davies is fire, Shout man. Uh, Greg Heslop, abrasive times only make you sharper. Keep responding with success, brothers. Absolutely. Got you, bro. Elijah Bryant. Um, How dare you? Got you. Thank Sean, you. $2. Don't worry about the clout chasing bandwagons. Eh? It is what it is. Uh, Demora Walker, if you're not living referee in people's heads, are you even living, though? Uh, first time watching live. I usually watch you guys at work with my AirPods on. Y'all keep killing it, brothers. Yeah, yeah. Thank Make you, sure man. the AirPods is on, baby. Uh, Elijah Bryant, uh, two dollars. Let's get it. Okay. Thank you. And then uh, Chris, uh, five dollars. CM Punk. Okay. Uh, Lonnie Jones, fifteen bucks. If you ain't got haters, you ain't popping. The real one's gonna stick by you because you guys are really doing amazing work. Get the dislikes up. Thanks, yes, guys. Man. Go ahead and dislike the video or like it either or, but it helps us with the algorithm. Bang Cho, five dollars. Uh, thank God it's Friday, hey, fresh, fresh and fit. fit. Hey, That's we got funny. you guys, man. Uh, Black Scorpio JF, um, ten dollars with Emo the super sticker. Emoji, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, the Sun God Romeo, five dollars. Just left the gym. Will you guys ever bring your accountant back? I want to get an internship and I want to gain some insight on skills I should gain. Have no fear, I got you. He is coming back. I was talking to him on the phone the other day. When? Um, we'll bring him back probably by then this month or early September. I need my taxes done, bro. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> looks like you're going to jail, my friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it is what it is. All right, five bucks from Mr. Williams. I normally don't um, uh amplify, but Poxon, I don't know who orange shirt is, but thank you, sir. But business, the interview ep was episode was great. Salute, uh, sauce god, mad respect. What's Someone it? has orange? What's oh. your what's oh, your yeah, go ahead. Uh, Instagram? Oh, uh, yeah, you're wearing orange. I was like, I thought it was red. Okay, um, Julie <laughs> underscore Mercia. Okay, go, go ahead up. and send your dick pics there, guys. Okay, <laughs> think like the 1% with the big $200 super chat. <laughs> Fuck the haters. A lot of people are upset because Myron and Fresh is, the reflection, is a reflection of what most men will never achieve, but Facts. most can't get past their jealousy mm -hmm. and realize that you're not bragging. You are trying to educate men on the 1% mentality. 1% knowledge isn't for everybody. That's true. Thank you so much, man, for that Thanks, support. Brother. You guys don't understand how much this means to us, man. Yeah. Middle Eastern Myron, five hours. I'll tell y'all now, watch out for hot pink next to Myron and waiting for Chris to shoot shots. Okay. Uh, and then we got Mike Schenk, 808. I was stripping for a sec. I thought that was Megan Fox on the left of Don. <laughs> oh, Megan. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I okay, Jennifer's examples. body. Wow. Schmeebles, $100 super chat. Hey, Fresh and Fit crew, loving what you do, and I'll be sticking around for the long haul. Hope to see Pastor Trey soon. Thank you. He'll, he'll Thank you, brother. Down the Monko, Un unfortunately, Monko. you will see uh, Pastor Trey because the hitman didn't do his fucking job. So I'm going to be filing um, a dispute with American Express and get a refund. Thriller from Manila, $10. I hope the Asian girl doesn't fall asleep tonight like the other one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Baby V from Pompano. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thrill. Uh, and then we got uh, twenty dollars. Been watching for two months now, and was making four k a month, and been taking things head on, and now make ten k. Last nice month, Louis job, Cologne, bro. Man. Shout out to you, bro. Get that Guys, money up. We talk about money on Mondays at yep. seven p.m. You know, y'all want to see the late night shows? So, this is getting stale. Guys, we put out all types of content. <laughs> money is money. Mo Monday is money Mondays. Money. Wednesdays, Wednesday, 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 yeah. Wednesdays. Friday is hey, reaction look, day. We bring on celebrity guests, YouTubers, rappers. That look. I mean, where are you going to find this content anywhere else, bro? Yeah, we're Nowhere. diversified, man. Exactly. Nowhere. Buy one BBL, get one free. You can tell who is a night rider based on how well they speak into the mic. Oh, oh my God. Fuck. And then we got our boy Jabrizi Magic. Uh, happy to see my boy Don on this going to be. Hey, Jabrizi. Hey, my hey, nigga. Hey, shout man. out to you, bro. Yep. Yeah. Hey, shout out to you, bro. Guys, make sure to go subscribe to his YouTube channel and yep. follow him on Instagram, Celebrity Magician. That's our homeboy out there in Vegas killing it mm -hmm. as usual. Talk to you. The, the Three Kings, uh, 499. Mommy and Daddy been hating on the RP movement for a while now, but y'all. Will bounce back. Shout out to the most hated podcast on internet. Facts. We are the most bro. hated. As a matter of fact, guys, I might reveal something to you guys at the end of the show tonight. We're gonna collab with someone that is the most hated in the fucking world. Really? Later on, yeah. I'm. I'm I might reveal Alex to you guys Jones. That. You gonna have Alex Jones on the podcast? Jake Paul. Donald Trump. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh, Jake Paul. Shit. Who knows? Logan Paul. Who oh, knows? Shit. Tune in. Who shit. knows? The show. You never know. Stay at the end of the show. I might Wait, have a big announcement. Okay. Six okay. nine. Uh, maybe. Right, Who knows? Who it. knows? Mm -hmm. MJ Skills twenty dollars. Shout out to Young Don the Sauce God uh, and Fresh and Fit. Hope I don't see. None of these women get Frank Castle off the podcast tonight. Yeah, man, I don't like kicking girls off, man. I think mm. it's going to be a good conversation, though. And then how many more do we got, Chris? Uh, we got... Her, her okay, a few more. And then, uh, guys, from this point forward, Chris, how many? Uh, 20 enough. Oh, 20 enough from this point forward, guys. Thank you so much for the donations. 
Will Peter, fine ours. These females look like a bunch of concubines in a good way. The white one with pink hair, <laughs> she looks like trouble. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Casper Walken, fine ours. Tell Don USBA wearing ass again that Casper Walken is the name of the channel because I know the big dummy forgot already. Get the subbing, dude. That's so boy. Uh, Alex Gill, $20. Hey, guys, just to say this one time, bless are the hearts that bend, for they shall never be broken. Stay flexible, y'all, and keep killing it. Shout out to Don. Thank hey, you, man. Alex. I took yoga yesterday, so I'm trying to figure hey, it out. what's up, Alex? Shout out to you. Hey, thank yeah. you, Alex. Middle Eastern Myron again. Supporters like the vid. Prayers to Pastor Trey. Chris killing the soundboard. Absolutely. And then uh, Logan G-Star. Ten hours love from Philly. Preschool teacher. Could get it. Okay. <laughs> what's your Instagram? Oh, oh, they're saying that they love the preschool teacher. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, My what's Instagram is elenalove.r. All right. Go ahead and send your dick pic there. Just make sure you're of age. I <laughs> jeer uh, you five five dollars K and then uh Tory Lane. Tory Lane. Shout out to Tory. Shout He's to also <laughs> we feel your pain, Tory. Shout out to my boys fresh and fit question for fresh. Would you fly any of the girls on the panel to Barbados? Tory. Okay. Next. Um, all right, let's get into the show. Um, and yeah. then it, Chris will make a mental note from here yeah. out from uh, Farida Bello, and we'll, we'll read the rest of them up. All right, cool. Uh, and then we, you guys that just donated, we will we'll get you guys in. But go ahead. Cool. So, ladies, first question, right? What is your opinion in the current marketplace? Why girls want to be single? Mm -hmm. You can talk about yourself or your friends. <clears throat> Why do you think girls want to be single in today's marketplace? And we'll start right here. With me? Yeah. Okay. Um, honestly, I think like as times change and like women become like more independent, they have more like access to different jobs, like just as times have changed just from like, let's say the 70s to now, women are so much like more accepted in different work fields and like they're able to do so many more things that were like taboo back then. And I feel like with that independence comes a lot of like they rely on a man for less so they're less pressured to be in a relationship like even back in the day they didn't go to college they didn't have education so they relied on a man to provide for them right. and now that times have changed i feel like a lot of women are kind of pushing away from that mm -hmm. and they realize they can get it on their own and they're like okay well i'll just wait until somebody comes around that brings me more than what i'm bringing myself so Facts. yeah okay and not right. from my own perspective that's just from right. no no that's a, that's a very good look on it very yeah. good now why are you saying why am I single? Why do you want to be single? Um, right now, at least. Right now, like, I feel like with my career March. and what I'm doing, like, with um, with music and stuff, mm -hmm. like, I feel like if I was to be in a relationship with someone, I would want to give them my all, and I can't do that right now. Like, mm -hmm. I, I am so, like, deep into my career and all the things that I aspire to do that if I was in a relationship, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have all of my energy, and I feel like that's not fair to whoever I was with until I meet somebody that I'm willing to sacrifice my career and what I'm working towards for somebody, I'd rather just, I'd rather just not. And that's for their sake. Not Can I piggyback mine. off of that? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so I have a question for all the women off the table, and it was inspired by your response, which was a, a nicely eloquent response. Thanks. Um. Okay, so I'm just curious. This is just me taking like a, like a field test right here. So, okay, let's say that there's a man that you are attracted to, like sexually, personality wise he's able to uh, take care of you financially meaning that there is no need for you to work all the bills are paid you guys can live a nice lifestyle based off of his income is there any woman here and i'm just curious is there any woman here who would deny that like a dude that you're attracted to genuinely who is able basically like would you basically put aside maybe your career you know just so that you could be a wife a mother i'm just curious to see if any of you are on that like yeah. timing right now um, yeah, wait, we can we can go around the table quickly and that's a yes or no so yes or no um let's start here i would say no okay okay, okay. no okay interesting okay no okay. nope yep definitely not nope right, right, right. uh no nope, nope. Okay. <laughs> No. Nope. Mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. Hell no. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you would? No. Okay. 100%. Okay. And I don't want to take over the podcast. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. Okay. This is good because we're, we're, we're getting we're getting uh knowledge here. I said no. Great point. Okay. okay. I don't want to take nope. over the podcast. No. You know what I mean? But I'm curious to know as to why. Okay. Why? Mm -hmm. Well, like in my personal, my personal, like where I'm coming from is I make music and I feel like I say a lot of like 
I don't know. I just say a lot of shit that if I was dating me and I said this, I would be pissed. Like, right, I just, right, like, right. kind of go off. Like, And you I feel like that fulfills you. Yeah, I love okay. it. I absolutely okay, okay, love okay. it. And until, like, I find, I don't know. Like, I just don't think that I would ever give that up until I was in a place where I was, like, satisfied with working hard to get to where I was. Like, I didn't work all of this time to just meet somebody and give it up. At right. least want to give it a We're shot. We're talking about a man that makes, like, at least three hundred thousand dollars a year yeah yeah okay okay cool yeah but at the end of the day like what happens if he just one day wakes up and he's like i don't fuck with yeah. you anymore no 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 and then no you're we're talking about a man wait hold dream. on hold on hold on hold on because i understand that and yeah. that's a valid like concern to have as a woman in 2021 i, I get to that get married. but like i'm talking about like this is not a boyfriend you feel me right, a man that right. wants to marry you and like he wants you to ha be the mother of his children and he's he may Oh, ooh, Chill out. that doesn't Chill like out. you don't like that you don't like that okay 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 oh all right no and that's valid if that's how you feel that's interesting yeah that's interesting okay all right so so continuing with that right so let's say a man that makes you know 250k to 300k at least a year right he just wants you to be his wife and the mother of his children and he takes care of all everything, all, every financial mm -hmm. obligation. And... Yeah, but if he loved me, he wouldn't limit me. To no, he's not dreams. trying mm -hmm. to limit you. I'm just wondering. But that is a limitation. If mm -hmm. you're saying you have to give up your current to be with me. No, 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 no. I'm people. not saying you have to give up anything. Oh. I'm just one. I'm then just I curious. Wouldn't. I'm just curious to see like where the modern woman is in because I have like you know I have a belief that there is a group of women out there who would, if given the opportunity, to just only be a mothering and right, and right. a wife would love to jump at that and i just wanted to see if anyone at this table resonated with that yeah, so you, sure. so none one, of you resonate with that i would take care of a man she did, she i mean i'll take care of him i'll no. do i'll for sure do it okay but I mean, I'm like the type of person that I can't be like home all day. Like I would want to do activities, travel. No, like, of course. You know? Who so wants to be? Who wants to be? If that's the case, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we'll we'll do like I'll do whatever I like to do on the side. Right, like, right. You know, like what? Give yeah, me some examples. Give me some enough examples. Enough um, just not even a I'm a very like yeah. open-minded person, so I like to try new things. My main Speaking thing is like, uh, my main thing is like mm -hmm. to travel. So like. If I can do something, I don't know. It's just like whatever I want to do, I know I could do it. So. Now, of course, traveling would mean traveling with a family. Yeah. Is that something you would be like, or, or are you talking about traveling by yourself? <laughs> no, but I mean, like, I can travel by myself, right? Like, no, <laughs> I mean, but okay, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Now, so you're a wife, right? Your wife, mm -hmm. and you know, possibly a mother of at least one, right? Right, or at least pregnant. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like ideally, you know you travel with the family so let's say you want to go to france you're going to france with your husband uh, and yeah. your your child is that you feel like a lesser experience than traveling by yourself and what are you looking to achieve by traveling by yourself like without your husband and you know i or mean child? like for me i definitely feel like every relationship March. sorry I feel like it's a shirt. I feel like every, I feel like every relationship like has to like they need their space. So like sure. I feel like with me, like if I go on a trip by myself or not mm. by myself or with my man, like I mean, you just gotta be loyal. You're not going there on a trip by yourself because you want to go, you know, mm -hmm. go find. But what what wouldn't you want to share that experience yeah, with your husband? 100%. So I, okay. think, I think I would, but I be, obviously I want my alone time. And then I'm sure like he wants his alone time. Yeah, and, that's what call him you know, being at work. But at the end of the day, like we're still, mm -hmm. I'm still coming home to my man and he's still coming right, home to right, me. So it's right. kind of the same, like, you okay. know. Okay. All right. So, Wait, all right. So, yeah. I, I mean, we just got to, we got to just make this very clear. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say around the, the, the table, only one woman is willing to give up her career mm -hmm. to abandon it essentially yeah. for the pursuit of being a wife and a mother. That's, okay. that's the question we got. We're trying to make this very clear. Right, right, right. Thank you. So, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. So that way, cause, uh, cause I see that we're already kind of starting to move the goalpost yeah. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, Oh, well I would still, I would do it if I can like travel on my own. Right. Like, no, that's, that's not what and, he's asking. And, yeah. and if I'm to just to be clear, if I'm, so the reason, though, that you don't want to is because you're so passionate about what it is that you do, that you want to be able to do that in spite of being attached to a man or anything like right. that. No, I okay. want to speak on this. Can I speak on this? Go for it. I'm a, I'm a mom. Mm -hmm. I was with their father for about five years and I did the stay at home mom thing. And when yeah. I tell you, I was the most miserable person I have ever mm -hmm. been. Mm -hmm. It made my household miserable. I'm home all day. It's yeah. it's it's you're stuck. 
honestly right, right, right. i was really stuck i wanted to go out i wanted to provide for my family as well yeah and i really wanted to be that person to to actually help my family grow because i felt like we were stagnating ourselves by me staying home all the time now um, is that okay you want to continue on that you can ask your question so so okay is that because the man wasn't progressing right. so the household wasn't progressing no he was definitely progressing but okay, okay i'm a hairdresser right, right, so, right, right. and I, i'm a freelance hairdresser wedding mm -hmm. hairdresser like i do styling so i like to work mostly on the weekends and do things like that when i had to actually put that aside and stay home because i have two kids stay home and take care of both of them honestly things things at home got really really stagnant because wait, wait, explain. I'm not I'm not having any fun. I'm too right. busy. I'm I'm focused as my on my kids as I should be. So with that being said, and them not going to school or them not having as much because we were a one car household as well. Mm. So at some point I was like stuck at home for a little while. Um, there's no not to cross to any boundaries, but how how much money was coming into the household? Do you think annually? Annually um well he he got paid salary and commission i would say he was he's averaging around 50k a okay. year right. but, but ladies keep in mind keep in mind, keep in mind, keep in mind, keep in mind yeah the, keep in mind ladies that he's he's giving you an amount of uh, 300,000 so basically yeah. your living costs are taken care of there's no need it's for you to work boring. can i say something it's there's still no very need. boring like, wait so what like made it fulfilled. boring what made it boring uh, what made it boring was uh doing the same routine over and over again every mm -hmm. single day that is what mm -hmm. like being a hairdresser i encounter different people all the time right. i love to socialize i love to be around people um as much as i love my children yeah. every mommy needs a little bit of mommy time so 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 what all right let's take your situation that you were in mm -hmm. what, what do you think would have um like if there was one element or you know more than one what what do you think could have made you happy in that situation? If you take that exact situation you were in, what needed to be added to that formula to make you more happy, to make you feel happy? Honestly, all I wanted to do was go to work. Okay. I okay. wanted to go to work. Like okay. I wanted okay. to go do what I'm you passionate about. You lose your self-identity mm. when yeah. you raise children without mm. a nanny. That's why I say more than 300K, because when you can have a nanny and you can have your own business and you can take care of your kids, but still have your self-identity and still have ambitions and still have the time to do what you want, you don't you lose your balance. You need balance. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. I like the balance. So she, she, had, she had something. Point in a, we, yeah. And then we'll go back yeah, because we'll go back. I mean, we're at this yeah. point, we've we, we've established only yeah. one woman on the panel right. would be willing to give up her career right. and or identity for the pursuit of being a wife and a mother first. Right. So, uh, okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Okay. Go so ahead. I just think like, why give up your career? Because like, you don't know what if you end up making more money than your man, you know, like, Okay. Why are you just gonna give that up? Like you could become Remember, a millionaire. Ladies, we're not we're not challenging you on your views. No. We're just gathering. No, data. I'm, I'm yeah. curious. No, I'm, I'm just asking the thing. It's like, it's like yeah, you're yeah, giving I'm up your whole curious. life and you don't know where you could have gone. You know mm. what I mean? Like okay, okay. One last thing. Why did you have that opinion? I think I'm not like I know a lot of women nowadays because say what's on your mind and don't be influenced by the people on the panel. No, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, a lot of girls sure. tend to if you're it's it's tough. Like oh, I'm the only one that wants to be a no, no, no. Say, say no. what you want to say. I'm firm in, in what I want. Good, good, good. I'm mm -hmm. not a career type woman. Like that's not important to me. What's important to me? Like my dream is to be a mother. That's my mm -hmm. dream. My dream is to be wifey. I didn't have that family growing up, and I guess maybe because of that influence, that's why it's so important to me. So it's like a career that that doesn't matter to me. And maybe when my kids get older, if I want to pursue something, I can. But like. To be wifey, to have kids, to be mommy, to do all of that—that's that's my number one. That's well, important. And and no one here is in their thirties, right? No. All the ladies, mm -hmm. just so I understand. Okay, everyone here is below thirty. Okay, cool. Now we, we just cool. want to get yeah. an idea of mm -hmm. anything else done. Did you want to? Ask oh, so that? you're saying you would be on board with that? If, yeah, hundred okay. percent. That's okay. literally yeah, okay. a dream. So okay. that's two. That's two then. <laughs> that's you like, and you, like, right? Okay, no, no, no. no, no. She, she said no. I oh, she said no. She said no. Okay. Like in a different situation, like yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So that's one. I'm on board. Right, right, she still wants right. to have the freedom no to do doubt. stuff. So right. mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah, that's a no. Why do you think? Should, hold on, real quick. Just super chats, right? Okay, yeah. I'll read the super chats real quick, yeah, and real then quick. Uh, and then we'll go. And then you, that was so you finish your point. Okay, all mm -hmm. the ladies, we got the data. All right. Uh, let's see here. We got five dollars from uh Farida Bello. Thank you so much. Sending love from Ireland. Shout out to Shout Ireland. Out to you. Hey, mm -hmm. Terzo, five dollars. Keep your heads up, fellas. You guys rock. By the way, chick next to fresh is noise. Okay. What's your Instagram? At Beauty Queen Slays. Got you. Okay. Uh, Zoe Cigars. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, YSG, Tanak, gang, gang, gang. All right. Yeah, yeah, sir. Um, what? A, okay, five bucks. Uh, you don't need a hitman. You got us. <laughs> United States Department of Homeland Security. All right. Thank you. Or no, Department of Defense. Matt Evans, uh, fifty dollars. Got way too drunk last night when I dropped four hundred on super chats. Ten bottle cost me four hundred super chats worth of uh... just supporting this time. <laughs> hey, oh, man, thank you so much, man. I appreciate <laughs> Thanks, it, bro. Matt. Safe Moon Julian, uh, twenty hours. Can't wait to see Griffin next week. And Safe Moon to the Moon. Defy is the way. Thank you. you uh, B Average Gaming twenty bucks. Uh, Hot Pink Lucci has a fantastic voice. Much success towards Fresh and Fit. Big ups to my island boys, Sauce God and Fresh. The mountain with bumps is worth the climb. Thank you. You're done, Noam. Peter Patuti, Donald, our former president. LOL. LOL. I, I can't say his name, guys. He's a shadow ban all over the place. But Brent shout out Wolf. to Great Britain. We got a couple of people from the UK here. Thank you. Uh, the former American president is not the most hated. He got 60 million votes. So, And that's from uh, Burning Wolf. Oh, no, yeah, no, we got someone hated more than him. Lonnie Jones, 20 bucks. Because of you, I linked with Chris Bruce and started wholesaling real estate. Awesome. You have nice. no idea how much you guys are helping men. Keep going and never stop. Don DeMarco, awesome man. Job, we got man. you right now, bro. Don DeMarco. Bernie Wolf, 25 bucks. For the women at the table, I need a man. Is this something that you agree or disagree with, and why is it good or bad? Thing to need a man and admit it. We're doing no it right group now. Answers, please, or ad saying what other girls say. Individual. Don't yeah, worry. We're, we're, we're doing it right get now. That that's today's topic. Uh, okay, twenty bucks. Uh, nope. oh, okay, um, Myron, please call our customer service. We are investigating suspicious activity on your account. Your card has been mm. locked until we can confirm it. Some recent transactions. American Express. Leave it a super chat. Express. Yeah, I paid uh, a hitman. Okay. He didn't do the fucking no. job. No, the cash app, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah I actually should have done the cash app, bro. Then the idiot coming oh, to you. Oh man, Captain Marvel. Uh, <laughs> yo, this chat is y'all are fucking lit, bro. <laughs> Captain Marvel, uh, Myron and Fresh, put on the caps. You're going to need them tonight. Keep capping, girls. Okay. Uh, DA, DA. Shout out to Fresh and Fit. Keep the hard work. Guys, these girls are going to be great dog moms. Thank you. And then 20 bucks. Best thing Chewy, man. Otis oh, Wellington, if you have the nanny raising your kids, you'll understand, you'll understand why you should raise your kids. The only thing you're supposed to do is reproduce. Why not raise a good household? Okay. Oh, Jairu. Oh, <laughs> Would any woman ever consider getting with uh, Ellen if he Elon. was... Elon. Okay. If you were single knowing he's got money but has the 50K house, is that a turnoff? Or are you willing to settle with it? Uh, we'll uh, get there with we'll the money. There. Jabrizi Magic, once again, that's a good point. Almost no one comes from a functional family now or day. And women only continue the problem with that belief. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, man. Mm. Jabrizi, stop trying to give the show away. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Middle Eastern Myron, 20 bucks. Orange looked so offended when they asked to travel with my husband and kids. Guys, invest in Chewy. You can't lose. <laughs> you oh, can't lose, God. man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cat and dog food. So uh, going back. Okay. So, so side. Okay. Why do you think women want to be single and then yourself? I think women nowadays want to be single because they like the freedom of it. So mm -hmm. as Luchi said before, it was because we were stuck at home. Mm -hmm. If you look at the 50s, 60s, 70s, most of the women really didn't have the resources or the finances. Now that we have this, now that it's opening up, like, yo, lem let's talk pay gap. Mm -hmm. Like The wage gap? The is that wage real? Gap, like, you think it's it real? It is real. Oh, explain mm -hmm. it to me. Here it we is go. real. Here we it go. is real. Not only for women, but women of color especially. Explain so not only... Um, I can't really explain it to you without like NDA financial services. Bruh. What do you? Because here's the no. thing, right? I'm I I recently employed up uh -huh. to like 16 employees, right? Okay. And congratulations I on growing the business. That. And um, uh, I I pay people based on like their skill level, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, some of my highest paid employees are women. Congratulations on mm -hmm. being a fair employer. I appreciate that. But here's the thing. As someone who pays people money, mm -hmm. right? Uh, what's between their legs? At least to me, and I can't speak for everybody, mm -hmm. right? But what's between someone's legs, it doesn't matter to me. It's how good you are at your job. Uh, as far as I understand, the pay gap is more of a compare. Like, it's not comparing people in the same industry. It's not like they're saying, oh, uh, a female coder makes. Mm -hmm. What's the pay gap? As you understand it, what's the pay gap? I do not have percentages, but it's like if a guy p gets paid a dollar, mm -hmm. a woman gets paid like 80 cents. Okay. Now, I don't be believe that is an accurate statistic for people within the same industry. I believe that based on what I've seen, and I think you guys can, you know, speak more on that. Definitely. It's, it's more, um, it's more like they're just comparing the amount of money that women make to the amount of money that men make. But it's that. The issue is that men work in industries that pay more 
that women typically don't trend towards. You know what I mean? Like women don't trend oh, towards engineering yeah. like women don't trend Yo. towards coding and i can say this as someone who majored in coding okay. in in computers there was okay. there were two women this was this was before any money was involved this okay. was just purely based on interest there were two women in i i before i dropped out of school and became a full-time youtuber i was in uh two computer science classes mm -hmm. first class there were like two women mm -hmm. second class there was like one yeah. That is what I believe this pay gap statistics are based off of. It's not it's not like, oh, you know, 50 women go work at Microsoft and 50 men go work at Microsoft and they're paying the men 20 percent more. I don't believe that's an accurate. No, statistic. It's, it's changing because I think now women are seeing that they don't have to stay at home mm -hmm. and take care of kids. They can have jobs equal to men. So that is changing. Like in undergrad, I was one of. I was the one woman in my engineering class. And then mm -hmm. in grad school, I was one of like six. So. But do you understand where I'm coming from, though? It's like it's the 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 pay gap is not it's not like if you got hired for an engineering uh, career, they were going to pay you 10, 15, 20 percent less, less than I mean, a man. The different. Yeah. I it's, mean, it's, it's just it's that the women it's tend to trend towards perception. careers that pay less. I don't know about that. I think it's changing because mm -hmm. our culture and our social norms are allowing us to see opportunities in different roles. Okay. Um, but before, yeah, it wasn't normal for women to like do computer science or do engineering okay. because they had other, you know, obligations just because of our social norms. But now we're able to see. Why those weren't there more women in your class? Why do you think that is? Because I think. Social you think norms women are, are scared changing. to like sign it's up for classes that like that? I don't know if it's scared. It's just we were trained like exactly. the culture of mm. like schools and elementary schools, all of that. It's like I we're, think that like we were also these tech, places. like these jobs in tech are like fairly new. Like uh, with like mm. the rise of social media and like the rise of all these different right. like it's tech jobs. Yeah, like there's more jobs for women to have to make money. But like you said before, like traditionally like men did make more money because there were more jobs for them to make more money but as times mm -hmm. are changing and right. things are changing and there's more jobs in different fields that make money like all these different like even influencers like 20 years ago there was no such thing as an influencer there was no mm -hmm. instagram influencers yeah. now women are making more money because there's more avenues for them to make money yeah, hey, hold on hold on okay okay all right yeah yeah hold on hold on all right stop the show you triggered my trap card. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this, is, this is incredible. Uh, I can't tell you how many women have come on this podcast and actually believe in the wage gap myth based on sexism. Mm. The wage gap exists because of choice, not sexism. Right. The reality is this. The wage gap is nothing more than taking full-time working men, full-time working women, median wages and comparing them. And when you do that, you find out men make a dollar for every 80 cents a woman makes. However, they don't account for degrees held, right. careers worked, mm -hmm. the danger of the job, mm -hmm. the type of job, hours worked, um, uh, time, time taken off. Overtime. Mm -hmm. Overtime. They don't account for any of that. The reality is this. The top 10 paying jobs are male dominated. Science, technology, engineering, and math. STEM. STEM. Mm -hmm. The top 10 jobs that pay the least are female dominated. Anything involving social work, teachers, etc. Mm -hmm. It's not that men make more money because they have balls it's that men make more money because men decide to go into jobs that pay more because men are far more likely to be incentivized to make more money because that is how we are judged as producers women are not as incentivized to make money like men are now i get what you're saying well that's social programming etc we can say that but at the end of the day no one's putting a gun in your head saying to measure it to major in humanities or female studies women just don't decide that they want to go into stem and or technology don't. And the they thing are more is, and more, though. They are. They mm -hmm. are. And I would argue this. Here's the thing. Women dominate college. Almost three quarters mm -hmm. of college attendees now are women. Yep. Mm -hmm. So why are men still out earning women? It's because women choose to go into career fields that pay less by choice. Right. And here's the other thing. You look at uh, Scandinavian countries that are the most egalitarian, the most equal. It's even more polarizing with men and women that women decide to just go into jobs that don't pay as much. It's a choice. It is not sexism. It's female choice but because think about it from an act no, you said like, number of hours worked yes so let's men just work put more it, hours let's just than put women it on a average legal perspective if you look at um maternal Gosh. vacation and paternal vacation dads don't get as much time off when the firstborn or when a kid is 
raised. Yeah, like balance. when you have a baby, it means the mom has to take more time off because her company gives her more time okay. off. That in itself, dude, that defeats your overtime. No, no, no. That's an important test that you have to take care but of. But fathers also have to be 50%. They're 50% of the baby. Wait, hold on. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait. I got this right now. Okay, go, I got go, this go right now. It. Go for it, Mara. Who chooses to get pregnant? Mm. Both of them do. No. no. Me, women choose mm. universally who gets true. born and who gets aborted in the United States. Men have zero reproductive rights in the United States. Zero. If a child, if I impregnate a woman and I want the child, I have no rights to it. She can abort it and or keep it regardless of what I want. Facts. So women have 100% monopoly on who gets born and who does not get mm. born Except for the in fact the United that birth States. Control Therefore, is actually taken off of what? like medical care when exactly. Okay, hold on, hold on. You don't get a choice in that. Uh, okay, mm. um you can get a plan B, you can pay for it on your own. You're well, not entitled to contraception. To that, hold on, hold on. Well, why are you not let me let me finish. Let me finish. It's pretty cheap. Let me finish. Condoms are pretty fucking cheap. Let me finish. You are not entitled to contraception. If you want to have sex, you got to do what come what comes with Women that. Women have larger to responsibility. protect yourself exactly. from it. Pro choice means what? Pro responsibility. Yeah. You're not entitled to contraception mm -hmm. or birth control. Amazon you can has buy plan it for B yourself, for very cheap. or you can get Plan B. <laughs> yeah. So the other thing to, too is again, we got ladies. It's not that women make less money because you guys are women. Let's let's just use common sense here, right? Like real talk. Let's use common sense. <laughs> if I was an employer, and I can literally charge, right? I can pay women eighty cents on the dollar. Why the hell would I hire men? Exactly. Think about it from what, an economic yeah. standpoint. What, what's right. the point? And here's, and here's the other Facts. thing too. Real I'm talk. Yeah. Guys, there's a labor act in the United States that if you can show that you're being discriminated against because of sexism, they will literally have an investigation on them. Mm. It, you, it is illegal in the United States to pay a woman less than a man for the same job. The reality is men just tend to hire, argue for higher wages, work more hours, work more dangerous jobs, work jobs that pay more, that women are not interested mm -hmm. in, that are based more in math and technology because men tend to be more rationally, logically based, numbers, et cetera. Women mm -hmm. tend to be more social creatures, want to get into social work, nurses, teachers, et cetera. There's nothing wrong with that. But for you guys to sit here and say, not all of you, but some of you ladies to say, oh, I'm not making enough money because I'm a woman. No, it's cap. And and the, the, we have more women in college. Women are more liberated than ever before. And as a matter of fact, let's take it a step further. Women get affirmative action in jobs that women don't want to go into law enforcement, STEM, technology, etc., where they're incentivized to hire women and they still don't go. Can I say Isn't something? It because of how much like maternal instinct, though, like I would say a lot of women don't go into the STEM career choices because of how much time it takes away from. Their oh, life wait, hold on. That's a, that's a that's a that's a what? A choice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm agreeing, I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing yeah. with you. I'm like, right. Right. I think it's 80 cents to the dollar now just because, you know, like we didn't have. We were second class citizens. We didn't have the right to vote, but I do see that as an individual block. Like if we, we, wait, no. if we, no, 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 if we rely ago, on that, that mental side, wait, no, I, I, I think I'm agreeing with there, you in the sense there that there is no, I, I'm, it's a, but fact. I'm agreeing with you. Let, hold on, I just want to finish this. I want to make this very clear. It is a statistical fact. The wage gap does not exist it doesn't because anymore. of sexism. It exists because of female choice and career choice. But wait, who decides that the careers that men go to are worth more than what women decide to do it's just the, like the, 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 the economy, economy. Are the economy. Yeah, the market, the market. it's the all skill, supply and demand it's, it's all supply and demand jobs, you can't yeah. do willy nilly yeah. but it's yeah. also it's women but value they give themselves more value. lower it's exactly. because that we exactly. just got mm. jobs we, so mm. they value because we've been themselves lower, but we're so long yes but see exactly but now we're becoming check this right if there is a wage gap right guess what you could be an entrepreneur Right. But exactly. who are mainly entrepreneurs? Men. Why is that? Risk tolerance. Choices. Once again, you don't want to take the but risk. You don't want to be. You guys on. have boys clubs too, so you have to think about that. We didn't have that. We were we were more supposed to be competitors to each other. Women so have been now, taught to be submissive over time, you know. Yeah, exactly. But like now, everyone's just waking up, you know. Right. You said I why think don't the women... age gap will be gone soon. Okay. I want it. You know to what, be, man? But, like this whole concept of I'm socially constructed this way, whatever. Nah, man. I don't think we should rely I, on that. It, no, because it that. because women use that excuse all the time. Yeah, I, I hate was that excuse. Conditioned this way. Ha, da, da. If let's go into a dream world. It's not even us, though. It's society. Oh, it's society. Okay. <laughs> let's say right. It's 1985. I grew up in Harlem, New York. Okay, and uh, I didn't have a dad. My mom was working every now and then. I couldn't make any money. So what do I do? I go ahead and grab one Cookie of these, right? <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm running around selling dope all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I get caught up by the feds, right? The agents grab me up, bring me into the fucking room. Hey, 
we caught you with 20 kilos of fucking cocaine. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're doing a lot of time, buddy. Am I going to look at the agent? Oh, well, special agent logic. Uh, I'm sorry, but you got to understand, man. It's tough out there. Like, I was conditioned to sell this cocaine. Society. Come on, man. It's not my fault, dude. Please. He's going to look at me. He's going to be like, <laughs> stupid. And I'm going to do 20 years in prison. <laughs> and I'm going to do your 20 years in prison. Uh, uh, stupid. Because society, I cannot sit there uh, and complain shit. about society programming me to be a certain way when I have free will and choice. I chose to sell drugs be, and use my environment as an excuse. No. Hey, Myron, let me say something ahead, real quick. Okay, okay, all right. I'm done with I'll that. say this, right? As someone, again, who employed artists, if I felt as if I could pay the female employees less, my entire team would have been in women, right? So it, I, from an economical standpoint, what Myron was saying earlier about, like, if women really... It was just like the same skill level, same, same, uh, uh, same field. degrees held, same, yeah, position. same everything. I promise you, men would be fired by the hundred, that the I hundreds of thousands. Share, because, because, so, wait, time. wait, wait, but let me finish. So, you'll, you'll okay, right my, right so my fiance, right, yes. right, she's pregnant. And the, uh, thank you. And then the other night, uh, the other day, we went and, you know, did the whole like fucking gynecologist shit. Every single person was a woman. There was no men working there. Right. Like I watched, I, I noticed that every single person was a woman. And I understood I that because to me, that's weird to be a man. I got a man doctor. Most right, guys right. are men. Like, Most panels are men. Really? Yeah, well, yeah. all I'm saying is I was there at a hospital. <laughs> I was there at a yeah. hospital in the gynecologist center. I did not there was not a individual sing, perspective. I there was not a single man there, right? I'm not saying that there aren't male gynecologists. Right, right, in right. fact, Bill Cosby played a male gynecologist <laughs> in his show, right? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me finish though. But the point I'm making is like, we can't pretend that certain fields don't attract a certain yeah, that's, that's type of person, say. right? It that's makes more say. sense. Like women, as far as my girlfriend was concerned, my fiance is concerned, she was much more comfortable seeing a female guy in a college right that's a field that attracts women because right. you know women are more comfortable if i'm not mistaken yeah. with mm -hmm. a, a, a woman in that position right so all i'm saying is that like we can't pretend as if genders and you know doesn't affect what fields you're going into and also for instance when i was coding in computer science I didn't see a sign that said, you have a dick. You should be a computer coder. It was like, it was more like, oh, uh, computer coders make the sign. Literally, well, I went to a JUCO in California. It just said computer software and um, or computer engineering uh, careers starting pay 80K. I saw that. That was all the sign said, like apply. I was like, oh, that's me. Right. I'm going to get that. I go show up to the class. It wasn't like over appealing to men. We're appealing to women. Mm -hmm. But men show up more. Men play video games more. Men right. are interested in that fucking computer nerdy shit more. Like, we can't pretend like that's not a it's fact. A more. It's, you I know mean, what I mean? It's you, true. You, you, I, yeah. I, 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 like, men are more aggressive. Will let her go? And so, then you had something, too? I just what? said, like, men are more aggressive towards what they want. That's just what I said. Okay, less agreeable. That's so, fair. Which also is they negotiate for higher wage, wages as well. Another reason why they make more money. Sorry, go ahead. So before I quit my job to be an artist full time, I was actually a plumber. Mm. So that is an extremely male dominated field. Mm -hmm. um, I went to a vocational high school and I was one of, I think it was like 79 boys. Right. So there was like 80 freshmen through senior boys and I was the only female. Mm -hmm. And my whole life I was taught, like, you can do anything that you want. You can do anything. Like, you want to mm -hmm. be a plumber? Fucking do it. And I'm not going to lie. Like you said, there was incentives to hire me. So I, when I graduated high Thank school, I, I had a very, very high GPA. I could go to any college that I wanted to. I had scholarships thrown at me. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I chose to do was to go into my field, which was plumbing. I had all these people reaching out to me like, hey, we want you to work for us. And then I started realizing like they want me on their team, not because of what I'm capable of, but because I can fit a demographic. And, 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 and it was it was kind of like 
shitty to me because I'm like, I just spent four years learning all these skills and I get hired based on my, like me being a female. And then you get to the job and I hate to say this. I really do because I'm like, women can do anything, but there's things that I was not able to can do. Can they though? Physically, Wait, hold on. physically, I was, it was very, very hard for me to do. And that's not speaking for all women. There's some women that will beat men's ass like there's some big bitches out here that i that mean that small men but sure me, small men for sure. me yeah. i could sit here at the table Tiny and i could explain to you men. how to do the entire process i could say mm-hmm. this is yeah. how you do it but physically yeah. my body i could i wasn't able to do that and it was very like it was a sad moment for me in my life to be like but why I, I, why was I that gained, sad no, only because i being I, a woman is a beautiful thing 100 but studied only it. because i i because i was passionate about it and i liked it and i took mm. four years of high school to get there and then i decided you know what somebody else kind of deserves this job more than me because they can do it. And I'm being paid wow. almost a little bit more than all these men, like men who have been doing this for years. And I can only do like 75% of it. So then I started feeling like not inferior because I knew so what I was doing. So doesn't but that I'm like, support you know that men yeah, yeah, and women? Yeah, 100%. Which it's naturally... not something that I would like as a woman, I'm right. not going to be like, I couldn't do it because I'm a girl. That's not it. It's just me personally. Mm-hmm. I wasn't strong enough to do some of the things that they wanted me to do. And That's they wanted me to play. Physically. No, it's not. And no, I like, like share my perspective okay. Okay, okay, on okay. that. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah. So well, we got, I know I know she had her hand for a bit. Okay. And then and then we'll go back to what we were doing. Yeah, we got. Um, and thank video. you for being honest about that. Yeah, I know that like, a lot of women would not admit that. Yeah. So um, yeah. Okay, I just I just wanted to share my perspective as a female barber because like mm. it was tough. Like I was the only girl also, and like I'm telling you, I'll show you guys my my cuts. Like I'm good. I was good as fuck, but like. Men don't trust women to cut their hair. So hold it was on, hold on. So the best barber I've ever had was a woman in LA. <laughs> in LA. Like, like most like, men yeah. don't, yeah, you know, yeah. because they're raised like very misogynist, you know, like they have yeah. no I'm I'm serious. Like well, when like, I get out on their door, like when you fix your toilet, they're like Wait, wait, wait. Okay, all right. No, no. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. May I ask you a question? May may I ask you a question? Okay. All right. So let's go back to the gynecologist thing, right? You have to choose between uh 15 female gynecologists and one male gynecologist are you choosing the one male gynecologist i mean no oh, yeah. go. Wait, 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 hold on wait wait hold on, hold on. That's misandry. Hold on. But wait wait so but is that because you, you hate men no but listen you think men are inferior no, but listen, to women that's how so dare different. You. no 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 but that's so different because how dare you side, you know like i could i like they they don't trust you know like i was better than some guys that have been no, no, for like years, no i believe you, know? you but and like still, back they to would, the gynecologist example no but it's like apart from that they would just look at me and they'd be like i had guys straight up tell me like i don't want to get cut by a female and i'm just like but story. you don't even give me a chance the like, same exactly. way how you don't want a male gynecologist yeah. i don't want a female barber why is that do i hate women no i just don't want to say, like, i could fade you up better than like half these guys in here hold on hold on hold on the m word was thrown so i'm gonna ask this okay uh, you triggered my trap card. Uh, <laughs> can you define misogyny for us? I mean, like I know the Spanish version, like maso, ma, wait, no, machista. No, 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 machista, machista. Okay, but, uh, but but no, we're speaking like, English on this podcast. Yeah. What right. is the definition of misogyny? So like they, so like I don't know how to say it in English. Like I mean, I just know like. Go ahead and say it in Spanish. We can I have mean, someone like, translate. Say it in Spanish. Like I don't know, like machista. Like they they just feel like old school type of way. Like. Um, men, you know, women are, are supposed men. to like clean and Spanish, like do this. Yeah. I feel mm-hmm. like it has to do like, also with like I the guess. father, you know, like as a father, you don't want to look like, I mean, as a, at, like a son, like if you have like, obviously your father, mm-hmm. you don't want to look into like the mic, a, please into the mic. Uh, you don't want to look like, you know, like a little bitch. Like, so you think about it like this, like very masculine, like, I don't know. I what, just, you don't want to tell your dad that you're a vagina doctor. Is that what you're saying? No, like some don't want to no, come I'm home just and saying say, like no. What, what you mean? Say, I no, wanted to well, be a barber, and my kid's dad was not with the shits. Okay. I wanted to be a barber. Okay. So, so uh, ladies, 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 ladies. Misogyny is the hatred, contempt, and or prejudice of women. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and it's very subconscious. So, also. No, uh, wait, so yeah. yeah, and here, here is here is the definition of misogynist. Okay, so um, Mommy right issues. there. Yeah. It, um, can you uh, hi, um, in, uh, yeah. There you go. A person who, who dislikes, dislikes spice, or, or strongly prejudice against, against women. women. So what you described was a preference. A okay. 
Um, but the thing is, like, they didn't even give me a chance. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the like listen, hold they on. would walk in there. If I was another guy, they wouldn't even question. You know, they'd be like, okay, I'll just but sit in your chair. Isn't it the same for women who go to hair salons? No, because when they prefer a woman. No, I don't prefer hair. anyone. No. I look at the wait, skills. wait, wait. Let's sit, hold know? on. But wait, are the dudes usually gay? Right. Gay wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. But aren't the dudes usually gay? Yeah. yeah. Like, okay, right. Right, let's say it was a nigga like it was a regular nigga. It was like, hey, what's good? What you want? I mean, you know I mean, what like, mean? Like, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 let me finish. Is it, if it was just a nigga like, hey, He's what's good? Wait. What you want? You want a bob? And you know what I'm saying? Like, if it was that, and then he had like a nice. A nice, pretty little thing. I don't care. Was, it's like, show me what your thing. skills are. Yeah, like, let me see pictures. Nah, I don't cat right now. You're not happy. Does he yeah. make 300K? Because I, I, I might quit my this. job in. Sounds, I just have to say this. Yeah. Unfortunately, on this podcast, we bring women on all the time. Hundreds of women. And women feel very comfortable throwing out the word misogyny whenever they feel like it. Yeah. Call I just meant someone. to say machista, but you guys don't understand that. Ladies, okay, well, no, I, I understand. I understand. Yeah, I understand what machista means, but. You should have just said I mean, that like because because misogyny is a serious accusation. You're basically telling someone that they hate women and Very they take it. They take it a step further. Just because someone chooses not to go to you to cut their hair does not mean they're a misogynist. It just means and, that they have okay, preferences. That's, that's, I do because think there's, there's not nothing what I mean. Wrong. I mean, I just Pause. thought that. Well, okay, hold on. Pause. I just thought that. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me finish. The Google Translation. That's fine. You can. But the thing is, is that. Words have meaning and words can destroy people's careers and or images. We live in a world now where people get canceled for being called misogynist or whatever it is. Now, I'm not saying that to, to, to beat you up. I'm not. But what I am saying is that many modern day women cannot define the term misogyny, yet you guys throw it out so openly uh, all over the place. If I was to call you, um, I, if I just called you a promiscuous woman, right, you guys would have issue with that, right? Like, what the fuck? Like, what, you're just throwing a term at me for no reason and I don't and I can't even define it. You'd be like, what the hell? But that hurts your reputation right no. that that lowers your that lowers your value it's correct true, calling a man a misogynist is the equivalent of calling a woman a hoe because you lose respect from society right from being called a hoe we lose respect from society by being called a misogynist because people automatically assume we d we aren't able to give women a fair opportunity we don't look at you guys the same we look at you as we're better than you from a social um from a social perspective like uh how do i say this human rights perspective which is not the case we are different but that does not mean that one is better than the other. We're just better at certain things. You know what I'm saying? I just know, like, in Spanish, we say machista a lot. Okay. And like, the only way yeah, that no, I knew how yeah. to translate okay. it was misogynist. You can say sexist if you want to say that. Yeah, machista Maybe he's being... is more like sexist. sexist. Maybe... Okay, Maybe... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can, I, can, I, can, I, can I interject right here? Okay. All right. So, like, I found a better example in my head than a gynecologist, right? Let's take <laughs> uh, a bikini waxer. Right? Uh, a bit, wait, 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 wait. No, yeah. Uh huh. I found better, it. Yeah. I found it. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Right? <laughs> now, hold on. <laughs> I found it. Hold on. Right? Let's take a bikini waxer. Right? A straight. Not a not a not a broke wrist nigga, you know what I'm saying? Is he attractive? Like a, not, Spread him I'm open. talking <laughs> like 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 you walk in and you see Myron, right? You see Myron. You, want me to you, <laughs> you see Myron. You feel me? And like, okay, hold up, hold up. It's like, can we agree that men and women are different? Yeah? yeah. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. Okay, men and women are different. If you are a man trying to get into a woman's space or vice versa, a woman trying to get, yo, you got to earn that shit. Right. You feel me? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, okay, I'll give you an example. And I was not capping. In LA, I had a female barber, right? Coldest barber ever cut my hair. Like, I'm talking about the best, like, her hands were so gentle. Like, <laughs> she was like, her hands, like, I felt I was so, I would love to get my hair cut. And I put all my niggas on, all my niggas got their hair cut by her. You feel me? Because, like, I went there the first time, and it was a dude that cut my hair. This nigga talking shit. He just talking. He, like, I'm my, my face was all red. By the time the cut was clean, but my face was all red and scratched up. But while I was getting my hair cut, I was watching her. And she was so gentle and took her time. And she and the fade was so clean. And then I was like, I was like, I was like, and it's it is sacrilegious to get a barber that does a good job and show up to the barber shop and be like, nah, I'm going with that person. But Especially if, you didn't if it's see a, that, wait, would you have let her no, cut your but, hair? Uh, but I'm here's where I'm going. Here's where I'm going. She gotta earn it, right? She gotta mm -hmm. earn it. Cause you used to male barbers in the barber shops. 
So I, I see her doing her thing. I'm like, I'll show up to the shop next time. He's like, I got you next. I'm like, nah, I'm going to hurt. And she cut my hair, hands like fucking daisies, my nigga. <laughs> she was just so soft and gentle. And the fade was the best fade I ever got in my life, right? And she was so clean. I put all my niggas on her, right? Okay, right? She earned that shit, right? Wouldn't a male have, if you flip the roles like a bikini waxer, wouldn't it have to be like one of your girlfriends come to you and be like, yo, he was very professional. Yes. He wasn't, he did, was not into, pre- he's super, pre- and it was the best, it was the best, least painful bikini wax I ever got. I promise you, he will not be inappropriate. He'll be so respectful for you. Wouldn't it take that for you to be like, to even consider going to a male bikini waxer? Yeah. It's yeah. availability. Okay. Though, too, it's there, there, and he's the only bias. one available. No, no, no. It's not about only one available. It's about you making a mental decision to say, yo, like, it would take that. It would take another female coming to you and being like, he was respectful. He he did not he did not do anything inappropriate, and it was the least painful experience I've ever had doing this thing, and also best result, least painful and best. It would take all of that. And nobody would dare call you what's the equivalent to uh, no misogynist? One would call her misogynist. Yeah, no one, no one would word. dare call <laughs> you be like, yo, you did your I, homework. I wasn't saying it's everyone, but I'm just saying that like I encountered that a lot. And I feel like especially March. especially with like the Latin culture and like certain people, like um they just have a hard time accepting women in You wanna hear fields. something that sucks? Yeah. <laughs> Life isn't fair. Yep. Okay, sexism is real. Okay, well, okay. you can get into a nightclub for free. No, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. You know, you can get into a nightclub for free. You're going to have guys hit on you. You're going to have guys that offer you certain opportunities, whatever, that I would never get. Hell, a lot of you girls on the panel are beautiful. You guys could probably make 10K a month selling feet pictures. Fresh can't do that. Yeah. His feet are fucked up. Luchy you know what I'm saying? No matter how, good, no matter how many pedicures <laughs> yeah, he has. You don't want to see right. my yeah. feet, brother. No matter how many pedicures <laughs> he's never going to be I'm able trying. to. I, I think you know? that going back so, on your point, though, of making more money in these industries, like, is like, for what her example is like, and right. no knock to hairstylists or barbers or anything, but back on your point of like yeah. STEM careers being more, like making right. more money and like, mm-hmm. like, as I said, like construction industries. People in construction make a really good amount of money, especially if you're up high. Whereas like barbering, again, I'm not bashing your career at all. It's a great career. I love it. It's very creative. But I think that that's like kind of not really in the equation of like the wage gap, because whereas like plumbing and these very big construction jobs are kind of like. Yeah, no, I mean, I I see where she's coming from because she's she's not like basically the thing. The problem is that ladies, this might offend you. I'm going to say it. But a lot of women subscribe to this ideology of, hey, I want. Um, equality of outcome. No, you don't get equality of outcome. You get equality of opportunity. Yeah. Right. That's the difference. Your is your mm-hmm. own, so your own, you get the same work. abilities and uh, rights and accesses that men do. However, what comes with that is up to you. And women want to be able to get paid the same as men, but don't necessarily put in the same work as men sometimes. But, but what about access? You can't. Uh, well, hold on. Well, access. Literally, she just told you a story yeah. about being yeah. a plumber. If you go no, into a place, let me let me let me, okay, let me, let me, finish. Let me finish. Let me please finish. If a woman goes into a job that is male dominated, let's say Alaska wild fishing, no woman wants to do that. It's dangerous as hell. I don't know. If, it seems complicated. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> if, if a woman applied for that job, she would get hired over a man anytime. If a woman wants to be a police officer, she will get hired over anyone uh, other over another man for that job. If a woman goes into construction, she'll get hired over a man for that job, STEM, etc. So the reality is it's not that women get discriminated against because they have a vagina and get paid less. It's because women choose to go into jobs that pay less based on a bunch of different things that women are what? In control of most of the time. And if you do want to go into a male dominated field that pays more, you actually have a, an advantage over the men. So there is no wage gap because of sex has been debunked a million times. I'm amazed that women still use this concept of I don't get paid like men. No, you get the same opportunities as men. You guys just want equality of outcome. And that's not the way the world works. OK, so moving on, because we got the whole panel here. that didn't speak yet. Yeah. Why do you think women are single? That was a crazy tangent, but I will, mm. I'll let you guys, if, if, yeah. if for anyone that disagrees with me, it's fine. We could talk about it at the end yeah. with the wage gap stuff. I know some people are probably triggered, but. I think women are single because of what Lucci and Cyrus saying to add on to that. But I also think because 
like Megan the Stallion and City Girls. Like bad bitch, I don't need a man. Like fuck all that shit. Like no, mm. you actually do need a man. Like and if you don't want a man, that's fine. But like you can't sit there and say that you don't need one because it's nice to have that like person that's gonna push you to do better. So and, society it, it incentivizes it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. music. Music, yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah. I think that's why a lot of women like being single and they like Push. doing that. Me, personally, I would change my life for a man if he wanted me to, but I would ask him if I can get a couple more years of my career because I love being a wedding planner and I love owning my own business. I'm okay. so passionate about it, but I would love to have a children, like children and a family with somebody that I really So does that for. change your so, original answer of no? I wanted to add to it, but there was a lot of... <laughs> conversation going on and i didn't want to like so it's, have it, so many it's a no that's on a contingency yeah yeah okay. it's like let it, me ask you this right so your current profession are there less weddings now or are there more weddings now n um last year it, of course because the pandemic hit there were a lot of less weddings but mm. now everybody's getting married and before the other variant delta hits a lot of people have been booking weddings again because they want to hurry up and get married and not have to postpone that wedding or cancel their wedding and lose all those deposits they've already made. People want to get married and they want to enjoy and celebrate like their love with their family. Okay. Can we restate the question? Because we just went on 10 tangents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, no, that's fair. Yeah, that's yeah. fair in this case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in your mm -hmm. humble opinion, why do you think women nowadays are single or want to be single? Yeah, I definitely agree with Luchi. Um, it's mainly because I think now women have the opportunity to love themselves more mm -hmm. than needing to like love a child and give, take away their self identity. It's like, we can now do what we want and our worth is higher. And it's like, if I want to be taken off the market, they have to be, their worth has to be right there with me. So you would say, uh, in uh, culture and then more choice in general. Culture and yeah, culture and now yeah, we have the oppor same opportunity as men. Now there is no like construct in place that says we can't have the same job as another man. But as a, as men, we now can. So mm -hmm. more women are okay. Um, but yeah, and then unconscious bias is a huge thing that mm -hmm. we're all talking about, like in terms of like hairdresser and stuff like that. Can you tell me what unconscious bias is? Please explain. Yeah, unconscious bias. So it's the biases that you have in your subconscious that come out before you're self-aware of them. So for example, like March. Myron at the fucking like waxing. When you see Myron, you're like, ooh, <laughs> like you're, you clench that. <laughs> yeah. Um, But that's an unconscious bias just based off um, you know, your perception of like their demographic. But once you get rid of that and you're self-aware of these biases, you can actually get rid of that. And that's an individual thing that okay. I wanted to bring awareness to. So a question, how's your worth is higher? What was that? How's your worth is higher, you said. How is your worth higher? Yeah, what? because you said, well, women now nowadays worth is higher. Yeah, no, I, I think our worth now, like our value is higher and we're valuing ourselves more. I think before we were okay with getting paid less, but now it's you're able to speak up and you're able to um, say, I want, you know, more money. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then just for you, I know we got into that tangent with the wage gap. What was your reason for women staying single? I said it's because now women have more opportunities to actually choose for themselves. Yeah. Okay. Rather than being stuck as housewives, bro. Okay. Okay. What about you? Um, I feel like everybody kind of added this, like you know, a little bit of the main reason why. Um, for me, I honestly just feel like, you know, we were society now is like more free. Like you know, there's a lot of freedom going on. It's like you can speak, you can you know, you could do or have whatever like any man has. So that's why I feel like a lot of girls, like she was saying with the Megan and Stallion stuff, like they make stuff like that because. They want like they want to be able to like show girls and show females that it is possible to do stuff without anybody, you know, without men or whatever. But, you know, if you ask your grandma, like I I'm going to stay single, they're going to flip out because they're always, you know, they're always like, oh, I need a man. The man provides mm -hmm. for the house. The man. So provides. the ideology of female independency. Exactly. So right now, I definitely feel like a lot of girls are getting that power and like, you know, that kind of freedom to like be able to do everything by themselves. So that's why a lot of people do like, you know, open relationships or like, you know, the three okay. ways because they, they just they're still OK with finding themselves, but they're still OK with being in a relationship. So. OK, OK. 
Sunny? Sunny. Let me get a little closer. Guys, yeah. But... Guys, get close with each other so you guys could properly talk I, to the mics. I promise I'm, no one here has COVID. I'm hating this spot, by the way. Okay. <laughs> but um, I know. Well, slide, um, slide down a little bit, guys, if you need to. Go ahead and slide down. Uh, to give, give more space. Fresh move over a tad. Okay, but anyway, yeah. I would I would love to say a lot of women stay single because of what they said. Um, a lot of women they don't have to stay stuck as in the house mom. Mm -hmm. Um, you know that house mom status. Yep. Back in the day, you know, bitches had to gut the chickens at home and you know mm -hmm. wash the laundry by hand, so it was a full time <laughs> job to be a stay at home mom. Yeah. Now we have Uber Eats and laundry services. Yeah, we fresh. can go out to work and enjoy our lives. So I think a lot of us, uh, do choose to be single because we can enjoy our lives now. Um, as someone who's who was like pretty much formally like i guess in one of those um what civil marriages i guess in a kind of way i would i would say after getting out of something like that i would like to enjoy my life as much as possible a lot of women are settling down uh too early and then realizing mm. they don't like too what they early. have at home mm. and uh if you don't sit out if you don't go out in the world and actually see what you like you don't really know yourself until you leave your home and your home state also so if you leave your home and you actually get to experience life, you might realize that that little um, stigma that you were raised with is it might not be something that you actually enjoy. Okay. Which is my Can problem. I speak on that? Yeah. Can I speak on that? Because yeah, 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 sure, sure. If you wanna, um, is, did you finish your point, Sunny? I want to make you sure you finished. get your point you across before she goes. I mean, in, in my I, in my opinion, I just think that women they they want a lot more freedom because they don't want to feel um, stuck to a situation anymore. And okay. a lot of women they go into the situations too early. Okay, so women want pr freedom to prevent. I'm writing down everything you ladies are saying, by the way. So I just want to make sure I got it right. Uh, women want freedom to prevent um, being stuck, I guess, or trapped. Well, yeah, a lot of women go into situations too early, like, you know, okay. out of high school relationships mm -hmm. and then getting married. And then they realize that they're miserable 10 years later because they've been with someone who's still, they're still remembering high school them okay. and trying to compare it. It's, gotcha. Yeah. Getting okay. married is a social norm. Yeah, Fair enough. Yes. Um, sure. Uh, what was your take? She said stuck on stigma and like you're only going to realize your real worth when you get out of your home state. Mm -hmm. Girl, I went out of my own country, traveled the world, lived in Ecuador, lived in Spain, now living in the U.S. When you say when you get out of your comfort zone and try to look past what you grew up thinking, like this is why a lot of women want to discover themselves because we were never, ever given the choice to discover ourselves what not our grandparents mean? yo my friend let me, let me explain 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 okay okay okay, okay. okay. Discover okay. discovery right, well, we'll, we'll let her we'll let her explain look, it and then we can i, I look okay. very simple i look very quiet bro i hold two master degrees hold on wait, but wait, even wait, if wait, i hold wait, two master degrees it was i was going into phd my friend but i dropped that because i wanted to be an entrepreneur hold on wait 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 but like like so no 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 let me i'm trying to explain i'm trying to explain okay okay like this it's is because this is even with all <laughs> these yo Miami got me like talking like this. I yeah, really, really you got all the cultures. So I, it's, I need to discover I'm myself. So no, honestly, it's because <laughs> look, school is a trap. Everyone who wants to go into masters or PhD, it's a trap for those institutions to get your money. Mm. Honestly, get your passion and start making money from whatever you love. But the thing is, in school they train you a certain way to be an employee, and not a lot of girls. We're actually given this opportunity, not in my country, not in my country. In I mean, my I grew country, up in Jamaica, if, like I, yo, I, I grew up, up in a third world country, I, so you're not like telling me anything new to me. So you it's like, like you <laughs> don't even if you have the education, even if you have the PhD, yeah. your parents, your family mm -hmm. expect you to be a mom, expect you to be a wife later yeah. down the road and most of them expect that sooner rather than you realize like and what Sunny was saying bad? sooner than when you're ready well you want to make yeah. them proud because when you're stuck with a kid at 22 you used. don't really know do i want to be changing diapers my whole life or do i want to build you an island for women diapers your whole life it's like Three, four years max. I mean, 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 I Toilet, you dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got my ex's daughter out of diapers when she was like seven years 
That's oh, well, that's, and I literally looked at her and I was like, yo, that's not, that's you gotta grow up today. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> like, my dad, my it. dad, like, like, seven, I like um I ain't even how did your dad about feel shit. about you being a okay. YouTuber? I mean, how does your family feel about that? Because I saw you said you come from like, like when you started, come from Jamaica, like yeah. when you said like I'm gonna Fresh. I don't know if you had a career or anything before you started. No, nah, I was in they, college. So how did they feel when you said, All right, fuck college, I'm gonna do YouTube? Were they, they were like you're better get used to working full time? Yeah, see, so do you feel like that kind of, of like uh that shit made me successful? Right. Okay, so, so yeah. um, real quick, uh, did you finish your I wanted you to be able to get your point out? So school's a scam. Uh you don't know if you want to be a, a mother at twenty two. What else do you, do you want to add to it? I just wanted to say that a lot of women, even if we have all these opportunities, uh-huh. it's very, very hard to get out of the mentality that you have to be a wife and a mom. Okay. Yeah. Like, quite honestly. So you're even, pushing back on that norm of, of, of society pressuring you to be a mother and a wife? Yes, that's society. That's okay. definitely family. That's all of the radio ads. Most of okay, the, can the I drop, commercials Okay, can I drop a kids. truth bomb real quick? Okay, I was going to drop one later. But right, no, 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 no. Uh, um, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. Well, how about this? Wait, let, let's, let's finish, finish this. Panel. Yeah, and yeah. then because I already know because a lot of women yeah. are probably going to share that yeah, sentiment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, All right, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Go ahead. Keep going. Sonny, you finish, right? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I'm just going to speak for myself. Sure. Um, So I feel like it's a lack of commitment. You know, and like the fact, especially in the city that we live in, like I personally, like I've never wanted to look stupid. And I feel like, you know, half the guys out here are like fucking around with other people, you know, so it's like, like you got to prove yourself, you know, it's like, why should I be with someone if you're not ready for that? Like, you know, like. So lack of commitment on, on the male side, the female side, like males, you know, like I, as like I've had so many married men hit on me like. Being in the barbershop, I heard the shit that, you know, men talk in there. Like, uh-huh. I just don't trust men. Like, I feel like, okay, you know, like, Merch. it's, I don't know. I feel like that's really misandrist. <laughs> so, 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 no trust. Fuck with you. And men probably are going to cheat. I so. mean, I've just yeah. seen so much around me. At least in, this, yeah. in, in no, Miami. That's fine. It's fine. Least, yeah, that's you know? that's, like, that's completely okay. Yeah. Any, any other reason it's why like, you think women are single now more than ever? I mean, like. Or why women choose to stay single, I should say. Like, yeah, it's just like you got to prove yourself, you know, like, and yeah. it's like if you're not really bringing anything to the table, like, why should I be with you when I could just be by myself getting stuff on my own? Okay. And- mm-hmm. Right. Without a headache. I think okay. I think okay. we're not settling. That's yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Back in the day, everybody settled for Ooh. anything. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, you had to be married now. now. What is settling? What is settling to you? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They got to say their piece. Yeah, yeah, no, no, for sure, for sure. Okay, so women are definitely single more nowadays because we are choosing, not me personally, like I said, I would. Yeah, you can speak in generalities. (laughs) You know, but in general, like women are, like they're career focused now. And so because of that, because they're so ambitious, which used to be just what men do, when they are ready to settle down, there's not really many men like I feel like that are available. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because now mm. their expectations are way higher, you know, and they're expecting more. They don't want to settle with the regular average dude. But it's like the same way there aren't many incredible women in this world. There mm. aren't very many incredible men. So, there's you know, I mean, most people are average, right? Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, so just so everyone knows. So <laughs> women are single by choice because of career and wanting to focus on that. But then by the time they're ready for that, by the time they're ready to be wifey, to have kids, they're not as attractive anymore. You know, Nani? Go ahead, please. And it has a lot to do with their expectations, what they expect now, because they feel so high valued now. Um, it has a lot to do with their age. Feel and I, are <laughs> their age. Um, I don't know. Like I think women in the beginning they're choosing to, but eventually they're gonna want to settle down. It's too late. And I don't know. I we have like a fine line. So it really is. Okay. with the, but I'm talking about with the type of man that you want to settle down with. Mm. You're by that by that point. No, because I need a man who's older because he's more mature. My ideal man is on his deathbed. Yeah, yeah. I want him to be right. Yeah. But, but right is he going to want you at guys, that please, point? Please is let he finish. going please to want finish. you? She's saying the opposite. Right? So, is he yeah. going to want you though? So, so when you when you're because let's say you're 35 years old and you're kind of ready to like slow down. You're not as marketable anymore. 
35 you trying to tell me that 35 year old every man wants to have a kid yeah, yo, it, I'm not a woman you. wants a kid. That's 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 I would rather die than be someone's mother, just so everybody. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah. Right, that's your opinion, but most women. <laughs> you're you're generalizing. Yeah. You're saying that's, every and like all those words, I, so it's. Yeah. Well, not all Ari, women want kids, but we could also say the kids. same thing because no, I'm not. A lot so, of the uh, women I'm, on wait, this table have said mostly every single guy. Like they generalize guys and say that guys are misogynistic or guys are assholes. And that's true. So hold on to what I'm that. getting. So I'm I'm agreeing with Elena. Like she's we're not saying that that's how we feel, but a lot of men or society, if you guys want to say it, want like younger they, women. They want younger women. That's they, right. There's so many reasons. We're putting you on the table. There's so many reasons. Sexually, it, sexually, the, pregnant, like yeah. you know, they want to have kids. There's so so many reasons. But it's because they're and not like woman, mentally there yet. A that's man, why. Wants, yeah. a yeah. man yeah. wants. They want to like. Control you. I don't know. I guess. Nah, 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 because it's really bad when you guys are all talking over each other on the on, on here. It's really bad radio. Because yeah. like we can hear each other, but for them, it's it's chaos. So one mic at a time, please. Go ahead, finish your thought, and then okay. we'll... Um, I'll give all you guys your chance to talk. Don't worry. All right. So basically, I do watch the podcast. Shout out to you guys. I've learned a lot. A okay. lot. Oh, you we know? can see. <laughs> we can tell. I've learned a lot. It, it definitely was the puzzle piece that I needed to make sense out of life, I feel like. But... Um, I lost my train of thought. Honestly. So yeah, you said your point. Obviously, you know <laughs> we understand women aren't yeah. don't have the same marketability no, at thirty five. Yeah. Right. Now you right. had something aging like wine. Yeah. I, okay. I mean, go ahead. I think I'm aging like fine wine. My peak. I'm still peaking. Like I'm just steady. Peaking. How old are you right now? Twenty oh, yeah. seven. Okay. Mm, okay. Twenty seven. In five years, you think you're still gonna be peaking? I think so because my mom is fine as fuck. Ten years. But are yeah, my mom uh, is like actually seventy. 20, but looks like she's forty. Twenty years. What? Twenty years. And yeah, I think there's gonna be someone. Maybe he's younger or older that thinks I'm fucking hot. I mean, we okay. have both types of colors. Like that's I think fine. it that's changes. I think honestly, no, no, truly, and that's valid. That's the valid. more you yeah. put yourself out there, like for example, now I'm exclusive with a French dude. He has different fucking cultural norms than U.S. men, like hands down. And I'm I've opened my eyes to so many different types of people that like love me differently like you know what i mean so to say like generalize like all men you know but i don't know it's just you got to put yourself out there more. okay all right okay. um uh, you had something go ahead oh no i was just gonna say men mature at 25 so it's like you know like us, it's older <laughs> yeah like us like we're like i've dated like older men not okay. older like 10 years older but like you know never nobody my age or like but like below that so but i do feel like men do mature very late and women are already like mature and they have their you know shit together okay so a lot of men crave that you know and obviously with sex or crave whatever what? exactly like, just so the people know like a yeah like an um, ambitious and mature woman and i feel like at a peak of like 20 22 23 you're i mean even 25 you're still trying to figure out yourself and okay finding yourself so i feel that's sunny okay. you had something yeah, I was piggybacking off of her. Not everyone is built to be a parent. No, Not yeah, everyone at no, all. Yeah, no. I do. Yeah. I totally understand, especially since becoming a parent. There's so much in that world that I look at other people. I'm like, yeah, you can never have kids. No. Okay, like, yeah. You can never do that. And I would definitely say that um, most people, especially most women getting more into uh, STEM careers and working a lot more, mm -hmm. they, they don't have the time to be an, a, a good mom or like an efficient mom. Like, okay. Someone mm. could be there for their kids. So okay. I think that has to factor in it. Like, I get that point. And then I know yeah. you had something. I want to make sure all the ladies that wanted to say something get to say something. You had something about men are not mature or something like that when they deal with younger women? Oh, uh, yeah. I think that a lot of times older men go towards Please, it's younger a mic. It's women. A mic. Oh, I think that a lot of times older men go towards younger women because they're a lot more easier to like 
listen manipulate. to what you say you can manipulate okay. um mm-hmm. they don't have like an independent mind um that just goes back into the, the subject of you know why people are single and you know the things that happened back then you know usually it's always the older guy younger girl gets her pregnant and then has her for the rest of his life and so yeah so you think it's, it's a lack of maturity from the man for why he picks younger women i think I wouldn't say it's a lack of immaturity. It's just lack of maturity. Mm, I guess you could say lack of immaturity, but I would say it's more so like him being able to pick who he wants in his life. Okay. Depending on what he looks for. And so okay. a woman, okay. a lot and of then, people so, want someone so, that. So um, uh, maturity. And then you said something about uh, men, they want younger women, uh, uh, they want older women because they're more ambitious. Hmm. Is that what you're saying? No, I said, well, like men, men obviously like, crave younger women because mm-hmm. they mature like you know faster and stuff well no oh because mature women mature faster yeah for sure yeah. so i feel like you know like she said going back to like manipulation and stuff like that like you can't okay. have like a guy you know that's you know 28 and on still on his bullshit hit up on a 35 year old woman that has her shit because mm-hmm. it's not gonna work out because unless she's at the end of the day baby. yeah exactly but at the end of the day like she'll she'll wear the pants like she'll see the dude as a little ass boy okay meanwhile like us younger uh, like women if we date if we date a older man we're like you know kind of like oh that's like kind of we gotta respect them kind of you know okay. kind of look okay. up to very that man. very interesting okay yeah. no i just wanted to get the ideas here of why you guys think uh, older men date younger women is it is that the common sentiment mm. here at the table older women so they can manipulate that. younger women no i mean no, they look no, good no, no, they no. look good yeah. they got nice yeah. boobies they got a nice butt I mean, they look and the man, man, oh, yeah. like if they they look good men want to okay they want to fuck younger women she and she's younger younger women are more willing to submit and that's True. extremely important to a man like a man doesn't want to have to deal with a 35 yep. year old woman who has her career and her own money because she's not gonna want to listen to anything that he Blue has hair. to say He's, she's not going to be receptive to that you know <laughs> yeah Yo. okay um okay. For all right you. uh for you why do you think women are single, single. I think women are single mostly nowadays because people are just incompetent. So, like, if you're not a complete human being and I feel like I'm a complete human being, then there's no reason to be in a relationship. I mean, a lot of people are broken. We all go through traumas. We all go through situations. But in my situation now, if I feel like you can't add to me or we can't kind of like work with each other and communicate, then there's no reason to be in a relationship. And sometimes relationships are a power struggle where it's not really a relationship where you communicate and, you know, you do this, I do this. It's more so like controlling and, you know, there's just different things that can go into a relationship. And I feel like women are more aware um, of not necessarily just letting men have their way. Like we, we understand that we can make money. We can do this. We can do that. We can do this. So male incompetency, so male incompetency is the reason why a lot of women are single. I would say so. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I'm just trying to sum it up for you guys. So, I yeah. know. I know okay. we went along. So super yeah. chats and then the video we got, we got to react to. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I'll read the super chats real quick. Uh. And then, okay. Slave of the God, $20. Men do the harder, dangerous jobs. Women don't, won't do as well. Sewage, water wielding, uh, construction, et cetera. All right. Yep. And you know, $20 from all the way from the UK. They call it a wage gap, but it's actually an earnings gap. It's against the law to pay a woman less because of her gender. If it's happening somewhere, sue the employers, dummy. That's true. <laughs> it is illegal in any first world country. Uh, Christian Height, uh, $20. My girlfriend is a nanny. The dad is a millionaire. The mom doesn't work and doesn't take care of the kids. Neither of the parents know how to care for the kids. They need a nanny 24 7, even on vacation. <laughs> Would the ladies want this? Okay. Uh, we got uh, 50 bucks from our boy Matt Evans. Thank you so much. These ladies be crazy. I was a stay at home mom to my siblings' kids. Also been the breadwinner, staying home and making dinner for your kids, both easier and more satisfying than the average job, like hairdressing, also more important. Okay. I love doing hair. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Lonnie Jones, 25 bucks. How can you listen to these facts and hit the dislike? F it. Do it anyways. F and F dominating. Keep your foot on the neck. There you and go. And guys, for everyone that's in here, all 8,000 of you guys, if some of you guys don't like us, that's fine. Go ahead and hit the dislike button. If you do like us, go ahead and hit the bell and uh, give us uh, a like. And if you want to subscribe, you know, feel free. If not, then it's okay. It seems to be the trend to not hey, subscribe. Marvin. Yep. Let me take a lead. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> can we take a for drink it. break? Can we do uh, a yes. drinking game? No, uh, no. Uh, okay. We we can get. What we the can fuck get, is a slinger? We can get you a, a drink though. Uh, oh, yes. Chris, I got you. Okay, so uh, Burning Wolf, twenty five bucks. Worked as a slinger signaler. Uh, the job can kill me and those around me. You go to work knowing this. Never seen a female slinger signaler. Girls choose not to mess up, and others pay for it. High risk, uh, high responsibility, high earning. Yep. That's true. What is that? 
Okay. Uh, buy one BBL, get one free. Okay. Uh, our modern day women on crack. <laughs> Why purposely avoid having the amazing and pampered stay at home mom lifestyle and instead go out to have a terrible nine to five job and be drafted to the military in this name of equality? <laughs> well, hey man, don't give out the secrets too much. Uh, so, Alita Bass, uh, ladies, when you don't know, please said, wait, when you don't know, Please, Please say, say you don't know. It is painful to always pretend to have the answer. Please, the wage gap is a myth and understand that most women don't even want to have the job men have even when they can. Thank and you very much. And that's coming from a lady. Yeah, that's a lady too. Very yeah. painful to read that. DA, yeah. 20 bucks. Well, it's because YouTube doesn't let you use certain keywords sometimes. Yeah. So okay. she has to write it in a way that's creative. Okay. Uh, DA, 20 bucks. Mm, Men and women pass. are paid the same in the same industry. I've seen women in corporate America with no skills or work ethic get still get promoted on their looks alone over a man that has the skills. Women play life on easy mode. Okay. Damn. Uh, for 50 bucks, uh, Nick T, as someone who works in big tech, something that is often overlooked is the high number of brilliant and often autistic male engineers yes. and programmers mm -hmm. at the very elite level in STEM. The highest performers are often obsessive <laughs> and socially stunted. Yep, that is, yeah, yeah. genius yeah. typically, typically comes mm -hmm. at a price. Uh, Gianimo, Gianimo, uh, this is all the way from the Philippines. This woman empowerment is just by a byproduct of watching too much movies and Netflix. That, that in the movies, a woman can karate chop a giant monster and win the battle. At the same time, woman feels that is 100% normal. Okay. Uh, Nolan mm -hmm. Baptiste, I wonder if these wonder know the definition of misandry. Uh, I don't think it, no, none of them knew what misandry meant. Uh, okay. Uh, Parker, Parker Todd, Todd. Uh, and no one uses the term misandry. Bro, if you type it in, you know it's going to come up as like red underneath. Like no one used that term. Yeah. Uh, this Parker is the Todd. best episode of Fresh and Fit since the original Frank Castle. I see y'all's awareness and ability to take a step back and find out how to be better at your role in this podcast. Came until Joe Rogan. Hey, man. Aww, thank you very much. Cute. Appreciate it. It's coming. Uh, okay, GU. 20 bucks. GU, I was chosen over a female as a way higher position as me as a mechanic. And when she did not know anything, and I have been working there for more than four years, you can't tell me why she wasn't given a better opportunity than every man. Damn. Hey, man. Affirmative action is real, guys. AC Black, uh, what I am hearing is that women no longer want to be mothers. They don't want to be tied down by that responsibility anymore. What they don't understand is that their career has a short shelf life. Okay. Mm. That's not true. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that. Don't worry, we'll have yeah. a, a discussion, a more in depth discussion on that. Pay attention to Shadi in the Tan. She lives in reality. One hundred. Thank you, oh, Fitz yeah. and Chips. That's you. Uh, sports mm -hmm. cards, Jay. Twenty dollars. We have Megan Fox, Dave Chappelle, Rick James next to her. <laughs> the girl in the blue hair. Parents watching this with their Arthur fist. <laughs> I don't get it. It's a the meme when fist. Arthur's like At falling bottom, up his hands. Right here, he's mad. Yeah, he's like mad, and he's. Oh gosh, I'm gonna show it. you after the yeah. 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 show. Yeah. 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 Catch me on this. Uh, Jamie Lowry, <laughs> only a few types of women left dating I at 30. That. The girl that's been ran through, the girl with kids, the hyper masculine career obsessed woman, and the girl who was in a long term relationship and started the whole phase late. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, little bra, little ba. Fifty dollars. Young Don's laugh sounds like the laugh at the end of Michael Jackson's song Thriller. <laughs> he seems like an intelligent, charismatic brother, though. Interesting discussion tonight. Basically, in some occupations, people judge a book by its cover. Okay, and then twenty. Uh, from Manny A, the young lady, second for fresh. Keep talking them facts, love. We hear you loud and clear in the chat around the world, 100-100. Okay, you got Always. some fans in here, there supporters. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and react to this video. Yeah. Uh, can you give the people, or did you want to have another question? No, no. Uh, okay, video. so we're going to pull a video here, ladies. We're going to play it, let you guys react to it. Oh, oh, um, oh. Well, can you tell the, give the people the background on this video? Yeah, so this while video, Chris pulls it up? once again, from our boy Daquan. Hey, shout out to Daquan. Mm. Shout out to the DSG people in the chat as well. So Daquan made a video saying, White girl was single five years ago, right? Oh, shit. But it is still relevant today. Okay. In these times. So this video is five years old, guys, and he's talking about why women are single. Why well, you got that clip of him, though? That's, <laughs> that's terrible, guys. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> hey, this, this is his Facebook days. It's, yeah. This is and, yo, fun. by the way, guys, we got 8,781 of you guys in here right now. Let's like go. the video. Thank you so much for being here. You can be at a club talking to a girl or whatever you could be doing, and you're here with us, you're so here, thank you so much. You're here with us, man. We're live streaming on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch, and also we're going to put on Facebook as well. Chris will pull it up on Facebook yeah. here in a second. But we're going to play this video, um, and uh, yeah, my, keep in mind, ladies, that this video came out about five years ago. Five years ago. Um, and uh, it's very interesting. So is there a time stamp that you want to uh, start at? All of it. We're going to play it DSG. All? Okay, shout out to our boy Daquan. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel, and uh, don't forget to dislike the video, guys. Um, or like it, you know, if you guys want to support us. We appreciate it. Either way, it helps. So, um, all right, let's uh, let's play it females coming across my timeline complaining about being single so today i'm here to shed some light on the reasons why you might be single now first things first all you females claim that you want a real nigga oh no that's not what you want this is the nigga that you want <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
you don't want a real nigga. This is the nigga that you want. If you had your choice between a real nigga or this nigga, yeah, you'd probably pick him. Amen. Y'all females can't even handle a real nigga. How long? You really think you could be with a nigga if he kept it 100 at all times? Y'all always ask us a bunch of shit that y'all never really want the truth for. Do I look fat in this dress? Damn right. Do you mind if I go out with the girls tonight? Oh, um, yeah. All of them hoes are single, and you expect me to be cool with you going out with the Justice League of Thoughts? Thought Girl and Thought Girl Wonder. Aqua Thought. Thought Lantern. <laughs> Super Thought. All of your whole ass friends are just throwbacks of Blanche <laughs> from the Golden Girl. Hey, my mom invited us over for dinner. You want to go? Fuck that bitch. I just aren't ready for a real nigga. Another thing keeping y'all girls single is the shit that y'all post online. I don't know what the fuck is up with y'all girls, but y'all seem to think it's cute or something to tell everybody that y'all are crazy. All I see coming across my timeline is, oh, I'm so crazy. I'm bipolar. I cut your dick off. I stab you if you cheat on me. You think that shit attracts us niggas or something? Y'all believe that type of shit because you got these dumbass niggas who keep posting shit like the craziest bitches have the best pussy. Whole time, y'all not even crazy. Y'all think y'all crazy because y'all send a nigga a thousand text messages and he don't reply back. The only time I'm going to really start believing y'all crazy is when I catch you fighting in the forest with a grizzly bear. And you tell me to help the bear. That's the only time I'm going to believe that shit. Then you got the girls who are stuck on being independent. Please do not let these bitches have a son. They're going to post that nigga every Monday as they MCM and say that's the only man they ever need in their life. I was going to call that little nigga up when you need your pussy. Ate. I mean, that is the only nigga you ever going to need in your life to so call that little nigga up when you need some dick. Now, all them rednecks from West Virginia are like, hell yeah. They know you post online about how y'all want somebody to bring y'all some food, but then got the nerve to get mad when a nigga hit you up trying to bring it to you. I see a nigga like me, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm going to hit you up and be like, yo, you want something to eat? I'm going to bring you this Italian sausage and these meatballs. Slide right in them DMs like, you hungry? I can bring you a banana and some grapes. Small in inbox like, yo, you hungry? I'm going to give you. This fucking pickle and some fucking walnuts, bitch. Y'all are gonna be single forever just because of the shit that you post online. My pussy on fleek. What kind of nigga do you really expect to attract by telling them that your pussy is on fleek? Y'all idolize girls that say shit like that, like Nicki Minaj and Amber Rose, forgetting that they're rich and famous. Meanwhile, you are home hustling food stamps and wick for a just for me permit a bundle of weed. But your pussy is on fleek, though. Then look at the relationship goals y'all be posting. Y'all see a picture of Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill riding a bike, and y'all say relationship goals. Y'all bitches ain't never rode a fucking bike before. You've been riding a dick since you was 12 years old, but ain't never rode a bike. Y'all see a picture of a celebrity couple eating and y'all say relationship goals. Bro, you mean to tell me within $300 of food stamps you ain't eating? I just really don't get it, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, shout out to our boy, the part well shy, And he man. has three parts to this video. Yeah. But we're doing the new part so one. So he gave a bunch of, uh, he gave a bunch of things there. Um, okay, so uh, you want to start with the, with, with the lady's thoughts on that? Where was he speaking yeah. facts? Was it cap? Was it BS? Was it, it misogyny? Was facts. It was okay. Facts. And we'll start here. We'll start here. It was facts for a certain type of woman. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can you elaborate mm -hmm. a little bit more? I mean, just like there's certain different types of men. There's different types of women. I mean, he's talking about the ratchet ones. That's what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Okay. That's so, all I gotta say. So you would say you so you would say this does not apply to women that might not necessarily be hood. I just feel like well, not well. Mm, yes and no. I just feel like he's he's obviously a comedian. He's you know being funny. Of course, of course. there is obviously real situations from his commentary, but mm -hmm. does that apply? to why all women are single no it's just funny you know mm -hmm. i mean you either can agree with it or you get upset usually the people that get upset are because they're he's talking about them so, so it does exist so, so you but... think it it's so you think it applies he's he's speaking reality but it's only to a demographic of women that are ratchet i guess maybe. like ratchet yeah okay like okay women. so okay fair enough um yeah it's facts it's i feel facts. like uh there's no right and wrong answer hold on, hold on we'll get we'll give you we'll, you you'll, we're one, one at a time, time. Oh, you'll okay. get to go yeah just let her go and then yeah. don't worry just hold that thought um i don't know it's just it's facts what he's saying is real it's really real i don't know if it's for just i wouldn't say so he's talking like, about you because you're single no no oh okay because he said it's know. real it's facts no it is what he's saying <laughs> is real though it's true like <laughs> and like we were saying before like there aren't very many great men available just like there aren't very many great women available either so when we're talking about the majority he's talking about the majority yep the same way we say that dudes aren't shit like these females aren't <laughs> they shit can either. say the same exact thing about us like, it's facts mm -hmm. Well, if we say it about you guys, uh, we get canceled or get called, uh, you know, which is a double standard, which is stupid. Uh, well, it's it is what it is. Re reality yeah. is real, you know. Yep. Uh, okay. okay. Who's uh, who's next? V. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I mean, like it can be and it cannot be. You know, like like she said, you can't just generalize, but like some of that really is facts. Okay. All right. Uh, do you think it applies to the demographic of women or or a certain demographic, like maybe just ratchet girls, or do you think it applies to all or? I don't think it applies to all, but like like I said, you can't generalize. But I mean, yeah, definitely some women fit that profile. Some okay, yeah. 
Sunny? I thought that shit was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that shit was hilarious. I, I, um, I think a lot of women they keep themselves single on their own. I mean, I don't, I don't fully agree with him, but I, you know, a lot of the stuff he did say was was true. You know, you go on there, you talk about fuck men, then what man's gonna really wanna, yeah, deal with you? To be honest, right. so mm-hmm. that's first. All right. Um, I agree with what she said too. Um, because like. Hold on, I lost all like <laughs> race. Okay. All that weed we were smoking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean it has like what he was saying, I feel like every woman has a reason why they're single, you know, like there's not a perfect example, but I'm from my experience, I've dated a guy that was super, super nice, gave me everything. And then I had another relationship where I was like kinda like I was the alpha in my last, like my first relationship, and the other dude was the alpha in my next relationship. So you know how like a lot of girls want. I'm not gonna say like we want everything, but when we get these things, we don't. You know, we kind of don't appreciate it as much. Like with my ex, like when he used to like, you know, give me everything. I used to be like, oh, like what he was saying, like, oh, you want a dude that brings you food, but when he brings you food, you're like. You know, why the fuck are you bringing me food? Just just lose the value. Over yeah. Time. So I feel like sometimes, Watch. like, honestly, like, <clears throat> I, I, like, we just, I think it's true. Like, some girls just really, like, complicated as shit, just like how guys are, too. So okay. there was never, there's never, like, a, you know, a reason why somebody stays in. I don't know. That just <laughs> <laughs> I know, Frank Sounds. <laughs> Okay. I mean, look. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I mean, he talks I, about what, a lot of things on that video. Yeah. I, I mean, okay. Yeah, so, he what said I, a lot of things. He said, I'm just he, saying, he like, yeah. I'm just saying there's no, like, right or wrong reason on why, like, you know, I feel like every girl has a reason why they stay single. Like, you know, some people give trauma. Some people, are, you know, how some girls, like, even turn lesbians after they get out of abusive relationship. But he's saying women do it to themselves sometimes. Y- yeah. Like, through their actions. Yeah. Posting. But, 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 from mama out, saying, but they don't relate to those. shit. Like at home, yeah. a lot of women are their mothers too. They'll be like, you know, men ain't shit when you go out into the world. Men are gonna be like this, so make mm. sure you act mm-hmm. like this. And because yeah. I, I, I would say I would experience. I've experienced that. That's how. That's how I was raised. So mm. I grew up thinking men ain't shit. Mm. Period. Single mothers. Um. So I'm trying to like. Uh, can you like say what you said again, but like concisely? Because you said a lot of things, and I, I don't want to sound like asshole, but it didn't make sense. Just can you tell summary, me? Yeah, yeah summary. summarize it one more time in like a sentence. What what you what, why you, if he's right, wrong? You agreed with some of it. I see that. But. I mean, yeah, like I I agree that obviously he's right because we are complicated. Okay. Like you know what I mean? Like he was saying, like, oh, you guys want a dude that brings you food, and then once he does, like. You guys are like complaining about it. Like I don't, I don't know how to make it like. To understand. Would this be accurate that uh, um, if a man gives a woman everything that she wants, it's gonna cause issues? Yeah, like okay. I've, I've okay. had that in my position, yeah. and it came to a point where I was like, "Oh, this he's so annoying." So like, does that you know mean, what I mean that like, women don't know uh, what they want? We don't. Basically, like, yeah. We really don't know what I we feel want. Like men don't even have women nice. Okay, okay, okay. Good. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, I think this leads perfectly. I think men and women are complicated. Like, mm-hmm. there's a lot of things that men do. Men are very simple. Okay, men are very simple. Men are very simple. What's simple? The simple. question? I forget it. No. Oh, no, no. Do you agree? With so the, do I agree with this guy? Well, no, no. What are your thoughts on the video? Is it real? Is it, is it oh, yeah. My thoughts on the video is that guy's fucking hilarious. Like, he just sat in his car and, like, just went off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, do I agree? Like, generally, I think a lot of men would agree with him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Ms. Um, I think it is a uh, facts. I'm going to go with Elena on that one because mm-hmm. majority of the women do act like that. I got a lot of friends that are just really like not the best of influence. Mm-hmm. So that's why I don't like to go out clubbing with them and stuff because that's just how they are. So mm-hmm. I think he is speaking facts. Definitely. Okay. okay. I guess in general, people in a relationship, why does it always have to be dependent on the other person? Is that the way that society programs us? Is that the trigger word? But usually when you want to be in a relationship, like a solid long-term one, you want to be the best version of yourself. And what I really saw from this video was he was really talking about women who looked at the value of their partner 
rather than deriving value from themselves and what they bring to the table. It's like you have to give me something for me to give you something. And that's not really how relationships are supposed to work. You're just supposed to be, I am me. This is what I bring. This is you. This is what you bring. And it's whether or not those two things um, are like water and oil or whether you can make iced tea from that. Mm-hmm. Or I really get like okay. Long Island iced tea. I get that. <laughs> speaking Yo, of, like that. speaking of, of gorgeous, Daquan is in the chat, says, that nigga thought is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our boy, Daquan Wilshire. Uh, oh, okay. All right. So it's about um, single. bringing something to the table. All right, cool. So I think that he was he was pretty on point with what he was saying. I mean, I think that he's definitely speaking about one type of woman, which is that like overly sexual liberated woman who wants to get on Twitter and be like, I got good pussy. Why don't I have a boyfriend? <laughs> which is like, it's kind of obnoxious. We all know somebody that's like that. But I yeah. would say that it's kind of far fetched to say that that's like the norm. But also, I do want to say, I think that like when when. I don't remember who said it, but they're like, oh, like men ain't shit. Da, 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 da. When you have that mentality that men ain't shit, I think that you're going to attract an ain't shit man. Oh, and sorry. when mm-hmm. when we have so much like if you look at men, even like my point of like in the 70s, you look at men then and you look at men now. They're so much more evolved now. Like we finally have men like acknowledging like things that they never talked about. That's mental true. health, like mm-hmm. men are in the best like position that they've ever been in and i don't think that men ain't shit i appreciate men right now and like i'm not saying that to be like oh i'm on the fresh bit podcast i love men nah i think that men have come a long way and and i think that like if you have this mentality of oh men ain't shit i hate men i got good pussy and i got no boyfriend like you're over here like insinuating over and over that men ain't shit you think somebody with with any substance is gonna like Talk fuck with you, you or yeah. like or like Whoa, value Mark. you if you already are judging all men what why would you think that they're not gonna judge all women yeah. and i think that like we should be a little bit more like soft to men right now because they're kind of being soft to us like we have men walking on eggshells like they don't want to offend they don't want to say something like this they don't want to like they don't want to come off as misogynist you know they don't mm-hmm. want to fuck up and say the wrong thing and get canceled just like we as women don't want to either so i think that like saying men you guys shit, get away with a lot more though yeah don't want to come off as but i think women but can I think openly, they don't fuck up women can openly like cancel just like we as women don't want to either so i think that like saying men you guys shit, get away with a lot more though yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. Come off as yeah, sorry about that, guys. I said yeah. that's my voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, hey, sorry even, about that, guys. Hey, even LeBron misses layups. Yeah, you know you know, know I mean? every now and then. Um, yeah. so um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, no, I was, Y'all are I was coming just, around. Y'all are I think, coming my around. My thing is that like, uh, women have a lot more. How do I say this? Wiggle room to say things about men that are. To, honestly, misandric, uh, misandric. Yeah. Uh, yeah. and women uh, versus if a man says anything like, "Hey, I don't want to date no fat girls." Yeah. Oh. Like yeah. uh how dare but if you? A man, but, yeah. If a man is saying women ain't shit, I hate women, I don't oh, he's fuck with get women. Canceled. Right, exactly. No, no respectable woman is gonna say, I wanna be with this man. Exactly. Just like if you as a woman are saying men ain't shit, every man is the same, no man's gonna be like that's the girl. I'm gonna change her mind. Like, no, no, no one's gonna do that. I don't. There might be some. There, I'm not speaking for everybody. I can't speak for everybody, but I do a think minority. that coming, coming, coming around like this year, like every year, men are evolving. You can't be saying men are Don, wrong shit. Now, yeah. I want you to say to the people, right? Mm. Why in the hell mm-hmm. did you choose your girl? Mm. Out yeah. of all the girls that could be for you, because okay. you're popping, you're tall, <laughs> gorgeous, as Daquan said. <laughs> Why did you choose your girl? What traits did she have to so, say, you know what? I need her in my life. Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, she's submissive. Yeah, mm. like she she wants me to lead her. She don't even want like I always pick where we eat. Like she don't want to. She don't want to decide nothing. You feel me? And my girl just passed the bar. You know what I mean? She's a ex- highly intelligent woman. You know what I mean? But like, she just understands that. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm listening to y'all ladies, and it's extremely interesting. But I don't know. Do y'all want to be working till y'all are 70, 60, 80? No, don't I mean that no. because because here's the thing: you only have yeah, a small window. Now, I mean, some of you are, some of you are, you know, are gorgeous and you are more highly favored by the Lord. You feel me? But most, <laughs> most women are not. Most, let me finish. Most women are not. And you have a very small win- window 
to secure a certain caliber kind of men. You know what I mean? Exactly. And like, you know, uh, if you get married, you don't work, and then you get divorced at fifty, and you have nothing to live off of. Then you have to go back to work. Oh, no, get a but that's why you gotta work. Yeah, yeah, yeah not exactly. I don't know. Yeah. Y'all men are like, not prenups these no, days. No, 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 no. So. Hold on, but did you sign a prenup? okay so there that's not my point exactly you feel me like i feel like my my girlfriend right she she my fiance (laughs) yeah she she like she like i wanted i had a a checklist you know what i mean like i didn't it my situation with my girl wasn't like oh we were fucking with each other and i'm like oh i guess i'll marry you like it was more like i was looking for a wife you feel me and she checked off all the boxes. You know what I'm saying? She was probably looking for a husband too, though. For certainly. Y'all and and I energy. think and I think like that's really where it's at for men and women. You know, <laughs> like I don't think it's uh this whole like oh I'm a work for like because I I I look I admire it. You know, if you're a woman and you're passionate about you know a skill that you're good at. But you have to understand how the world works, mm. in my opinion. And, you know, you have a window. That's just the truth of it. Yep. You have a window to secure a certain caliber kind of men. And I find it so sad when I see beautiful women allow that window to close because they have this illusion about, like, oh, I'm going I'm to be... Mi-. You know who the richest woman in the world, richest woman in the world is? Who here knows who the richest woman in the world is? Oprah. Nah. Not Oprah. You know, I'm it was Jeff Bezos' Bezos's ex-wife. Yep. You know how she became that? Good you know boy, how she became yeah. that? She didn't say a prenup. She didn't say a prenup. Wait a minute. Jeff Bezos' ex-wife is also part of the business. Yeah, she so works she, for him. Yeah, she... Yeah. No, but the point I'm making... I mean, but is regardless, very, regardless, like, Kobe's wife was about to get 300 million. Was that it? Yep. The point I'm making is that majority of the richest women in the world get there by marrying wealthy men, mm. you know what I mean. Exactly. So like, are they yeah. happy with all that money though? I don't think no, it's exactly. Right. Because I believe that pe- I don't believe in divorce. You know what I mean. That's my personal. Do you believe opinion. every woman wants to get married, or are... I don't know what women want because I'm not a woman. Okay. But what I believe, asking, yeah, I don't do know what women. That? I don't know what women. Do you think that we have a pre pre. Yeah. I believe. I believe in gender roles. Okay. I believe that. I believe okay. in men and women. I don't believe in this other shit that's going on right now, but that's not for me to talk about. Right. You know what I mean? I'm Jamaican, so that's not <laughs> how, you know what I'm saying? That shit is yeah. different to me, and that's not my space to talk about. Right, right, But, right. But, like, all I'm saying is, like, I believe that men are geared towards wanting certain things, and I believe that women are geared towards wanting certain things. And ultimately, I believe at the end of the day, the point of all life is to continue life. Boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And but who, and mean, here's what I'm saying. I'll let you go. Let here's what I'm saying. And then you can go after here's it. what I'm saying, right? Right? Like, the only way to continue life is to make new life, you know? And right now, the U.S. Uh, repopulation rate is 1.7. Do you know what that means? That's disgusting. You know what that means? Look at our planet. But no, hold on. But do you know? First of all, like 60 to 80 percent of america is unpopulated you know what i mean like it's all barren it's all empty land it should be more than that no but here's what i'm saying is like we are reproducing at a rate that cannot replace ourselves you know there's no never been a country that has been like has hit that hit under that you know uh that average of two children per household that two children per household and the country has thrived you know what i mean like overpopulation is a myth that's not a thing that's not a thing have you ever flown over america ask china 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 right now is 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 wanting people to to have sex (laughs) that that, they they put that into in i don't know why they put that in place it was like you can ask them. Go ask them. Italy they want. They the want their people, people to repopulate. They want their people to have people sex. Now. Exactly. Exactly. And America is falling into that same place where we have more old people than young people, and oh, like Social Security boomers? has entitled them. Yeah. Social Security has entitled them to a check, and young people are now 
the taxes we're paying that we're supposed to go into our social security are paying them. for their social social yeah. security. We're not gonna have a fucking social security. Social security. No, no. That's you, we need, amazing, like, like America. That's have you ever flo- have you ever flown over Texas? Most of it is know. empty. Most of America is empty. So o- overpopulation is a myth. Mm-hmm. And like ultimately, like it's ne- more people. I mean, look at immigrants, right? Right. I'm assuming you're all women right here. I'll, I'll, most of you agree with immigration. I'm assuming. Am I wrong with that? Right? Why do we support immigration? Immigration boosts uh, um, GDP. It boosts and taxes you get produced. Paid really cheap versus the American worker. The point I'm making is that more people always means more money. And right now, we are producing less people. The point I'm making is that at the end of the day, we're have, men have and women and men and we, like at the end of the day we're, we're 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 living beings and the point of all living beings is to reproduce but not all of us want to have people. kids that's fact yeah. okay okay so, well, we'll turn so, it to the ladies oh yeah did, oh, sorry go ahead Don, so all I'm, saying, yeah. all I'm saying all i'm saying all i'm saying all i'm saying reproduce all i'm saying all i'm saying everybody to reproduce guys reproduce 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 like bunnies yeah no i'm not saying that i'm saying reproduce like humans like reproduce like you know like god intended us to you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that women don't want to reproduce i'm just saying that women now want to be given the chance to live their lives discover who they want to be and find a partner that will make them happy before they reproduce okay that's valid that's valid that's valid go ahead what's your take on it Wait, can we repeat the repeat okay okay (laughs) i'm gonna i'm gonna gonna sum it up long story short what he was saying was you have a finite amount of time mm-hmm. to lock down a man that you would want. Hey, I see okay. people okay, saying okay. I need to so get to the point like quicker. Was, yeah. That's why what we got married. Yeah. So, <laughs> don't worry. So I'm going I'm to summarize. I'm going to give you a clip for us right now. So they want you. Uh, Excuse sorry. me, Disneyland. What? No, sorry. Okay, so well, so what he was saying was basically is that um, no, women have a finite like amount of time, shelf life, to be able to get the best guy that they can. Right. And what he's saying... It, 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 what he's saying is human beings are put on earth to procreate uh, and continue life. Uh, that's what he was basically saying. Go ahead. Yeah, I do feel like humans have more of a purpose than to just like create life too. And I feel like as like my personal beliefs as I've gone into spirituality and learned about how I can like actually What's your purpose? People. What's your purpose? What my purpose is is I feel like I want to enlighten people, and I feel like Merch. with with being an artist and being very like into my music and to my art, I feel like my imprint on this earth is going to be left by my talents, okay. and I don't feel like I would be a fit parent just because I'm a woman. I think that maybe it's just because my age and because like I'm in an industry that's very fast moving. I don't feel like I could if I was like told right now that i had to be somebody's mother i don't know if i would be the best no i agree with you and that's very like that's something that like as a woman like i did struggle with for a little bit to because i was like i don't want to be a mom and everybody around me wants to be a mom and now i feel like this but i also do feel like it comes from like what you grew up with like i know that she was saying that she feels like this need to be a part of a family and be somebody's mother and everything i grew up with a very very loving family i was always very loved and i knew i was very loved Mm -hmm. and i always felt very loved and so i never felt the need to seek out a partner because I knew I was always loved by those around me, my family, my my friends and stuff. Uh-huh. So I felt I felt that deep, deep love. I mean, I come from like a small town in Massachusetts, a small city. So I feel like I never really was like, oh, go chase your dreams. Like my mom was always like, you're loved here. Like if you ever need anything, you can come here. So I never felt like I needed to find a partner and to have a family because I have my family. Okay. So I feel like we're like where she comes from a place where that wasn't like set that maybe that's why you you want that and you want to feel that because it was something that you didn't have and like i feel like that a lot of women do have that a lot of women that have family issues they want to be somebody's mother and i feel like for me personally i'm a little different which i get but i do understand like i do understand your point is that a woman like you you do want to see women have someone else had a point it's not it's not not like women it's it's both of us it it takes more than a woman to have a child no 100 all right go ahead you 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 had your hand up and then sonny you're next right sonny you want some okay i wanted to say like i grew up without a father and like i just grew up to like never depend on or rely on a man you know so like it's like 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 the video please <laughs> you had your hand up so i thought you were no, prepared i know i'm like, sorry video, ladies, ladies like, please be prepared when i call on you so you can but yeah so you guys just distracted me so what i'm saying is like 
Like, I don't feel like I used to want to be a mother as a kid, but like, I don't feel like I want that. Like, I feel like I could just Mm. be my own person. And like, I feel like independent woman, like you don't really need to look for a man. Like men can come to you. Okay. You know, okay. like you don't have to give back to the world just by being a mom. Like, and yeah, like not all of us want to be mothers. Okay. Back the world. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead, Sunny. I will say some women are put on this earth without the ability to even bear children. Bam. So that's not everyone's mm-hmm. actual purpose in this world. My yeah. second thing is uh, a child could feel completely loved in a household that doesn't have. Wouldn't that? Wouldn't you say though that that is like um, a woman not? Appreciating what she has when she is able to bear a child, well, the fact that there are women that can. Some people be born are born with the ability that. not to yeah. bear. Children. No, that's what I'm saying. So I'm saying, if you are born with the ability to bear children, wouldn't that be a form of like ingratitude? How, How many you? women spend tens of thousands of dollars trying to? You have get the ability pregnant? to jerk off ten mom. times a day. Do you do it? No, but that's different. That's not, different. That's not, not, that's not that. equivalent to <laughs> jerking off. Is, is a is jerking it off is. is not equivalent to making human life. Okay. That's a, well, that's like a, if you don't want to make a human, why do you have to feel like you have to make a human? Okay. What do you mean? Ladies, ladies, what do you ladies, mean? ladies, ladies, ladies. Hold, 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 okay, hold we gotta we gotta maintain some control here. Okay. Um. Okay. So, Sunny, that was your point. You're saying that not everyone has being able to bear children. What else? Not everyone could bear children. Also, um, I think it's really important, especially when we do bring children into this world, that we make sure that they are loved. So whether it be in a two family household in a single parent household, we need to make sure that we give these children acceptance. Not everyone has the ability to give Mm -hmm. acceptance and some people don't want children. So they show resentment towards children and those children become very angry. Mm -hmm. I'll give an example. Me and my kid's dad, obviously we're not together, but we do everything for the kids together. Like if it came to dropping the kids off at school for their first day of school, we went together and picked them up together so that they knew that mom and dad. No, definitely everybody shouldn't because like you hear stories about mothers like drowning their children in uh, bathtubs. Like I'm not saying that like every person should become a mother. Some people have mental issues. I'm not saying every person should be. Okay, hold on. Super chat's real quick and then ladies ask us a question on the panel think of a question right so any guys any guys you can ask this question okay so, so uh, i'll read this real quick and then wait was there one more person that had a point someone i saw a hand over oh, go ahead sure real quick before i hit the super chats um i want to no. make sure all the ladies get to say something I, on, I was just on basically this basically gonna say like i know a lot of people that you know say they don't want to have kids but i i mean it's up to you guys like i always tell my roommate she's my roommate it's up to you if you want to have kids or not but you, it all depends whenever that right person is going to come into your life. And then, okay. you know, you just want to have kids with them. Okay. All right. Mm. Um, and did you have something back there or no? no. Okay. All right. Um, uh, wait, wait, no? no. Okay. All right. Uh, I want to make sure y'all all get, get to say your piece. Okay. Uh, Manny A, $20. Young lady, second for fresh. Keep talking. Them f- nope. Read that one. Uh, you got it. The, the people love you. Uh, PHP for the ladies. Men <laughs> don't want modern. Oh, nope. Actually, let's come see. on, Chris, man. One second. Uh, 50 and up, right? Okay, Zentians. Uh, women are incentivized to divorce men. Watch Divorce Co. What sane man who had to elevate himself to a standard than above average w- woman would marry allow himself to be finessed from half of his stuff? Prenup and birth uh, DNA tests should be mandatory. Hey, yeah, man. Uh, okay, 20 bucks. Um, one shot. No, Jeff Bezos' ex-wife may have made him sandwiches but would not be able to find the errors in a line of code. She contributed nothing to Amazon's success. Ooh. That's what bullshit. I mean? call bullshit on that. Yeah. Yeah. I call bullshit on that. that. I call bullshit on that. Okay, uh, I call bullshit on yeah, that. That's that's bullshit. coming from a nigga who's never had a wifey. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's bullshit yeah. right there. Okay, Theo Waff, uh, fifteen hours. Female mammals want to reproduce. If you are female and don't want to produce, you aren't a mammal. Okay. Uh, honest citizen, I would rather yes. die than be someone's mother. Yet your mother had you. If your mother's had so, uh, if your mother had your selfish attitude, then you would not be born. Is a career more important than their existence? I'll give you a chance to rebuttal to that. Um, Honestly, my mom is a great woman and she is a very motherly woman. And that's why she bared me and she gave me a great, great life. I personally don't have What turns you off to motherhood? Um, I'm just not very like soft maybe like i don't know i think i would be a good mom i just don't I think, think that i too but I why, why do you don't want to be a mom i don't know it's maybe i'm right young now. maybe it's, it's not right now but i not yet choice. go yeah. back to this go back to this um, my career yeah right now it is because i do have a little window you guys said a little window to bear children but right now i'm looking at my window as a little window for my career right and um yeah my mom's yes. a g she's a good mom i wouldn't be the same way shout out to gina Love okay you. Uh, okay, we got here. Black Tiger, 15 bucks. Down to Marco for Sydney, Australia. Stuck in lockdown in this channel, saving us. Hey, thank you so much, man. Shout out to Australia. 
Class Act Q, fifty dollars. Find yourself AK, find CC, and ride it as long as possible. <laughs> Keep it on to the streets. All right, Zentians, fifty dollars. Uh, Don is correct. Look up the Pareto principle rule. It is not only for dating. It was the, discovered by Wilfredo Pareto that shows distribution in many aspects of the world to be 80, 2080 to include eighty percent of the world's wealth held by the top twenty percent. Okay. Yep. Um, and then uh, Lucas Martinez, uh, twenty bucks. Women need to have children before thirty. Period. The w- human race depends on it seriously. It's their most important responsibility to our species. Is this so hard to understand? Why Women want to get humans instinct. Okay. And then we got. Why are you so mad, He's yelling, bro. <laughs> Why, Why, all caps? Why is everyone being <laughs> mean to me? God okay. damn. Uh, Sika and Yang. Too tough, girl. Sika and My Yang. music will be here when I'm dead. And you'll be bumping it. Okay. Get out of here. Sika and Yang, fifty dollars. Pink hair girl who's spiritual and thinks her talent matters in the larger scheme of things. <laughs> what about original concept? Plot twist: Your talent dies with you because you didn't reproduce. Okay. <laughs> Uh, do, you, do you want to say something? Listen, listen, Prince is dead. Y'all are still listening to him. There's plenty of dead artists that still contribute to the world. Mm, yeah. it's, I'm going to be the same kind of person. So. Okay. Pop Smoke is yeah. still dropping music. Right. Yep. Shout out to you, Sika. Okay. Little Ba. Shout out to Luchi. She's intelligent, has substance, has a positive spirit, and is cute. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Follow yeah. me on Instagram. Uh, yeah. One shot, 20 bucks. Some studies show women change their hair color when they're unhappy, <laughs> slash suppressed. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Yeah, I was a little sad, but we good now. We good. Okay. G- uh, Gianmo G- Giorno, all the way from the Philippines. Ladies, freedom does not mean you will be forever young like in the movies. It will be okay for a woman to live alone, childless, if you are a millionaire because you need more money for your expensive health care in your 50s plus. So have You're a right. career then. Have a career then. Yeah, make yeah. your own money. Have have your own child, like, like passive um, streams. Of okay. Yeah. Um, so ladies. One question for the panel. Anything you want. Dating, sex, lifestyle, whatever you want to know. Why guys ghosted you? Why they cheat on you? Whatever you want to know. And we'll start, I guess. Uh, yeah. 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 She's already ready. She's, I, I, she's fired yeah, up. Ready. Are you ready? ready? I always get called on first. Um, My question for everybody. And if you're not, we can skip you and go okay, to someone okay, else okay, that's prepared. Okay. okay. Yeah. What, what is the one thing? What is your biggest red flag in a man? Number one. Oh, in a man? Oh, no, no. No. You're, oh, you're asking for you guys? Men, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I thought I was asking the girls. My apologies. Yeah. Okay, for you guys, what is your number one red flag in a woman? Well, Only actually, one. Actually, you know what? You, if you want to ask the girls, you no, can. no, no. I, now I want to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Take uh, care. Okay, uh, Don, Don, you want to go first? Go ahead. Uh, my biggest red flag in a woman? Yeah, the number one thing you're like, I'm calling it off. That's it. Don. You know, mm. no questions asked. A woman that wants to be like a, a lady boss mm. girl boss yeah okay i kind of expected that from you yeah mm. thank you he said i want my girl to be thank yeah. you yeah well pa well, he likes, he likes submissive submission because you're a capricorn yeah, yeah, no, you want to be facts. dominant that's facts. he that's said that's I, want, I want a puppet no, 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 no. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. pop it. Not pop. Let, let me control. let me take some make some Yo, very clear. He's Jamaican. You know exactly. what I'm saying? No, no, no. Let me make some very clear. Like, you know what I'm saying? My fiance, right? Like she a highly her. intelligent woman, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And is not a push of by any means. But she understands like she she's with the traditional dynamic between a man and a woman mm. would and you say she activates her femininity for you because you're the more masculine figure in the relationship mm-hmm. I, mean, I don't know about all that because shit. all i know is that background. she's very feminine around me i don't know like about all that but if i don't know she's she, very feminine around me right? if she has a really strong personality like that and she you know she, she like let me hear like like, like she has i've heard her characteristics i mean everybody though everyone has masculine right. feminine character every man and woman has so a masculine and a feminine it's a yin and a yang what, what is to her personality. background if you don't mind me asking in terms of in terms of like culture like Jamaican. she's half mexican and half korean okay yeah yeah oh, wow. her mother her mother uh is a, a very successful woman who like runs her, uh, sounds gorgeous. values contribute to her her gender role no like i believe actually what happened was her and you know i don't want to like I don't want to talk. Yeah, don't talk about her. I don't want to so. talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I respect my woman very yeah, much. You, you feel me? So I don't want to, like, air her out like that. But all I'll say is her mother is a very successful lady boss type of woman. And that experience made her know that she wanted the opposite of that. Boom, okay. there you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. so, no, so that's I all that. I got to say about that. I feel like I relate to that because my mom was that motherly woman and she only was a mom, stay-at-home mom. My dad provided everything. Yeah. So, so like, you don't know who you are to leave your home. Yeah. Yeah. 100%, Amen. 100%. Yeah. So, you know, so, so, and she left her home. She left yep. her home at a young age. She, she went, okay. she, I want to know, you know your red flag. So, oh, no, you not, heard. 
on first? <laughs> 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 you look so, hesitant. But, you look like you're about sorry. to drop something crazy on us. No. What's the biggest red flag? <laughs> it's got to be something weird. <laughs> he said toes. No. <laughs> oh, God. Pedicure. You go first. Damn it. <laughs> All right, you go first. Okay. So uh, for me, I got to say this, man. Any woman... Right. To, to clarify, this is for serious marriage, right? Long, long term, right? Oh, somebody okay. that you were, you would want to pursue, and you're like excited about it, and then you wifey, go on a wifey. date, and you're like, "Oh my god!" Okay, no. I'm assuming she she means marriage minded, like for a serious relationship. Right. Okay. Very serious. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Not just a hookup. I would say right. a definite turn off, like not a turn off, I, red flag, like no, you're no, running. No, 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 turn off, way. red flag, like feeling the chick, she's bad as hell. Go on a date, she opens her mouth, and she says, "I'm a boss, babe." Blah blah blah, blah. and like mm -hmm. you know what is. Be masculine, because guess what, right? I can deal with you that's like, you know, opinionated. She might have her, have her own opinions, but to be masculine on a date, bro, it's like, yo, like, you just turn me off. 100%. So bro, she comes through talking about, I'm a plumber. You're going to be like, no, it's like, I'm it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah, bro. Like, you know, we should go here, bro. So I'm, I'm like, yo, who raised you? Like, that? no. <laughs> so that's a flag for me. That's off rip. So. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, I'll just, I'll just say like the like a automatic disqualifier. Yeah. She was a hoe. Straight like up. She was a hoe. Yeah. Ooh, okay, well now what classifies a hoe? Body count or how she presents herself and carries herself? Like Ooh. you say like you know she has a That's crazy a track record yep. or the way that she's like I'm trying to fuck with you right now. Like we're at dinner and I'm trying to leave like like is she overly sexual or has she been consistent consistently promiscuous in the past what would categorize a combination of all the above okay okay i respect I'm, it a, a man must create his value and a woman's job is to preserve her value would you still fuck mm. her though yeah i would have sex with her yeah okay. but i wouldn't but i wouldn't take her serious for like marriage okay you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying because the thing about marriage is that as a man you have way more to lose in a, in a marriage than a woman i know a lot of you guys were mentioning earlier well, I'm not going to give up my career uh, for um for a man and children uh, because I don't want to, you know, not have an identity, whatever. The reality is a man actually takes far more risk from marrying you than you do. Mm -hmm. Way more. How? How? Yes, please. Um, well, uh, this, the, um, the laws, the family court laws favor women heavily. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys know this, but somewhere between 50 to 60 percent of uh, marriages end in divorce and 80 percent of those divorces are initiated by women mm -hmm. so when you guys are saying well what if i'm 50 and then he leaves me and uh i don't have anything to fall back on well you're gonna get half of everything that he may he got from all that time so mm -hmm. um women are heavily incentivized to divorce in today's wait, day wait, and age go, going back on what you were saying about being a hoe now what yeah. if what if you knew back in the day she was a hoe and now she's trying to come around and she changing up her life and you're very can't interested turn in her. a hoe into a house um, <laughs> some women want to change but i'm saying like what you mean she's a active hoe or she had been a hoe previously you've heard stories she's of had her. revelations she's had some relations some of your friends might have double her and now you're on a date with her and she's the coolest girl but you're like, nah, I, don't, I can't take you seriously because you've been ran through. Let's That's go into it. Let's go into a dream world. Oh. <laughs> this is the sound you hear when I walk into a room, by the way. But go on. All right, ladies. I need you guys to all close your eyes and really envision this with me. I want you guys to imagine this so you guys understand where I'm coming from. All right. Okay. All right. All eyes are closed. Yeah, I mean, yes, I, you too, Sonny. I mean, <laughs> you too. Everyone. You, yes, all the ladies, all the ladies, thing. all the ladies, all the ladies, close it's your eyes. Because I really want you guys to imagine this. Women are very powerful with their minds. So, ladies, you go to the, what, what's up? Chris, you got some? No, no, no. Okay, all right, so, all right, close your eyes, guys. Especially you, because you're the one that asked me this question, so I'm going to break this down for you guys so okay. you guys understand exactly where, the, where men are coming from with this. You've been eyeing this bag for a while. What kind of bag is it? Louis Vuitton. <laughs> okay. okay. What color? You're, is it pink? Uh, yes, for you, Pink. Perfect. So you've been eyeing this bag for a bit. You know it's $5,000. But you've been saving up. You have the money for it. Okay? So you get that money. You're like, yes, I'm going to take this. I'm going to show it out. I'm going to go to Turks and Caicos. I'm going to flex on all these fucking bitches. I'm going to be lit. Right? Mm -hmm. You go to the store. You see the bag. Looks all nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. You take that fucking bag. Go to the receptionist. That'll be $5,000, ma'am. Thank you so much. Bang. Don't Buy that me, bag. Don't tell me everyone has the bag. Well, hold on. Let me, let me finish. I already know what you're going to say. So you take the bag home. You're excited, right? Next thing you know, you look on Instagram and your girl posts a picture of that bag too. 
I'm fighting her. Okay. And you're oh, very interesting that you would fight her. Well, let's continue on. Let's continue on. Don't feed into that storm, but a big bang. Okay. So you obviously curious, right? Close the eyes. Close, I mean, close the eyes, ladies. Pay attention. All right. You close it. So you you're curious. You hit her up, right? Come on, Sunny. You hit her up, and you're like, "Hey, where'd you get that bag?" And she's like, "Oh, I got it from the Louis Vuitton store on Fifth. Wait, what the fuck? Like, oh, that's the store I went to, right?" She, mm-hmm. what do you do? And and then she tells you, I bought the bag for two thousand dollars. And I just bought it for five. Yes. Oh, she's getting beat. Okay. So what are you gonna do, what, ladies? <laughs> open your eyes. What are you, what are you guys gonna do? I must say she's lucky. It's return the bag. I missed the sale. She bought it. Okay. I you're gonna go. Sale. You're gonna go back to that store, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. You go back to the store. You go back to the store, right? You run back to the store because you're fucking mad at this point, right? You're like, <laughs> you run to the store. You see the same receptionist. You give the receipt. Hey. I paid five thousand for this. My friend got it for two. This is some bullshit. And you show the Instagram post, right? And the receipt that she showed you. And the receptionist looks you dead in the face and says, "Oh no, that's your price." And you're like, "What?" You look to the left, and you see another girl get it for two thousand. You see another girl get it for a thousand. You see another girl get it for free. You see another girl pay ten thousand. You see another girl pay two thousand. And you start seeing that there's different prices. And you go, "What the fuck is going on?" Like, yo, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, like, you're like. Yo! The thing is this, man. You had to pay full price for the bag while other people got it for free and or less. How would that make you feel? Like shit. That's exactly why men don't want to marry girls that are no, promiscuous. No, no, 100%. I, I agree with what you're saying. I was just saying, like, what would categorize her as being, like, maybe a current hoe or maybe somebody would you that has date been a former hoe? Would you, yeah, would you, would you, would you date, date a former hoe? No. Why am I going to pay full price for the bag that everyone else is getting because for discount? time has okay. passed. The time has passed. No. I mean, that that you... bag went up in value over time. Huh? No. No, 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 no. Yeah, if you buy us an expensive Hold bag Hold on, ladies, over ladies, time, ladies. ladies let's keep it value. real. Let, let's keep it real. <laughs> what increases in value with more use over time? Name one thing. But, and, and even past that, bro, watches. statistically, statistically, been, women no, no, who I, have... I want the ladies to answer this. Okay. Name, go, 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 name go, go. one thing that increases with value over time and more use. No, I right. gold. Gold. I'm sorry. Get what you're saying. You use gold? I mean, gold is, increases yeah. in value. Gold it's the only thing that's actually more... I mean, compared to like and the use? dollar. Mm-hmm. In use? Yeah, remember, use, time... Okay. Yeah. Use. Use and time. You're talking about condition too, technically. Ladies, the, the reality is this, man. But the you, thing you, is that are you used more because you had sex more? Like to me, that I don't know. I just feel like merch. Eh, it's kind of like guys. Mm-hmm. Um. Cause so you said, for example, I remember you saying that um you would still fuck her though. Yeah. So it's like okay, well, what if the other girl, like let's say there's a whole other girl, right in a scenario, and she sees that you fucked her. Mm-hmm. Like, does that like now decrease your value? Men and women are not the same. See, because yeah. here's the thing. Here's the thing. But no, why we don't. The we don't hold on, let me. Because we don't play by the same set of rules. Men and women are completely different. We're opposites. So, what makes it different? A man having multiple uh, sex with multiple women versus a woman having multiple sex with. Men. Because I have to bust my ass to be able to have sex with multiple women, whereas you just exist and you can have sex with multiple men as easily as you want. But does it's that much different. Mean, but does that mean that you take the opportunity? Like, if you can have sex with a lot of... There's men that ha- can have sex with a lot of women. Sometimes they choose not to. The difference is this. It depends the, on... The men that the can man. have sex with a lot of women are the 1%. The women that can have sex with any guy is the 99%. So We're not the same. We don't play the, the game by okay, the same but, set of rules. But it's not. it doesn't matter, though, because at the end of the day, you're still having sex. Sex is a very... Like, you're putting a dick inside of a woman versus, different. like a woman receiving dick like you're still exchanging energy so if you're going into a spirituality <laughs> thing you're still consuming that person's energy so okay. it doesn't matter so, make a so, point, bro. i feel like a man who is a what man is- who is mature and a man who is is on his path on his path is is not gonna say yes to just oh yeah well because she wanted to fuck no like i feel like a person that's in their path you know what I'm saying? It's not really necessarily. I'm going to make it very simple. Change. I'm going to make it very simple. So. Just like you guys didn't want to pay full price for a Louis Vuitton bag that you saw other people get for discounts and or free. Men don't want to pay full price, i.e. marriage for a used woman. And I know that sounds but horrible to say like that. Hey, hold on. Can I interject? Like, can I interject? No right one's a virgin. virgin. Unless you want to marry a virgin. You can get a virgin. You hold can. on. Hold or a on. woman yeah. with a low, or a woman with a low body count. Yes, no. most men, if what? they could, given the choice, they would do it. Yeah, There's yeah, guys that no. pay, that so? pay contracts. Experience, though? 
ladies, ladies, you guys gotta. I need you guys to step out of the female, the female footing for a second and understand that sex for men is far different than it is for women. Yeah. 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 So, so you're saying men that cheat is different than women. Absolutely. Hundred percent. Hold on. on, 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 Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me. Can I say something real quick? But hold on. All right. So I'm on like, ifstudies.org, right? And this is just one source, right? You you got to look at multiple sources whenever you're gonna come to a conclusion. Uh, study but basically what they're saying here that regardless of gender right um the more sexual partners you have the lower the percentage chance that your marriage is going to work out that that's just factual now it, it does lean more towards women in terms of the more partners a woman has the less likely it is that the the marriage is going to work out but not by much and I think that just points to like sexual promiscuity. How what's the word, Marion? Promiscuity. Thank you, bro. You said it right yeah, the yeah. first time. Yeah, yeah you had yeah, it right. Yeah. Though. You had it right. Yeah. Okay, like it's not good for anybody. Fat. That's just the case. You know what I mean? Because, healthy. I mean, all right. Let's just all like erase all of this fucking wanting to be right on the internet. Do, does everyone here remember the first person that they really fucking liked? Like the first person that they really fell in love with? How hard is it to capture that with each person that you introduce into your life sexually? I think you you over time, energy changes, and you're so, you're not supposed to be with the same person forever. I think maybe something will work out. It could work out for twenty years. It could work out. For no, five but but years, you, but you heard. Up, wait, wait, wait but you heard the question I'm asking. You right. remember that first, like that that first time, you like, like every time you. I, at least I can speak for myself. I can speak for y'all. But every relationship you get into, like it, you kind of a little bit more numb. You know what I mean? You're a little bit more like you could get over the breakup that much faster. Well, that you goes can break for men you can and get woman, over the... right? That goes for man and woman. That right? goes for everybody. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that yeah. goes the same thing but, but, to having sex with multiple people. So right. if you're conditioning yourself to having but, sex with multiple women, you're also conditioning yourself no, to be emotional. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. I am not to... you. you if you think yeah. I'm the guy arguing that men should be fucking 100 women, this is the wrong guy. Okay. I think sexual oh, no, promiscuity. I'm talk about that. I'll argue that for yeah. you. I'll argue that, but that's yeah. fine. You go ahead. You give your I feel like sexual promiscuity mind. hurts everybody in mm-hmm. the long run. Exactly. You so feel I me? But I feel like here's the thing. Like, it hurts women more because the desire of a man to want to sleep with a man, woman is also tied to her fertility. And that has a much smaller window than the men. Yeah, but I feel like, like that so every woman you fucked, you wanted to get pregnant at some point. On a primal level, yes. On a primal, okay. Yeah, like it's every the, you it's any Georgia man who says that he did not like. I mean, I can't speak for every man, but like <laughs> as a dude who's like you know, gone the distance, like gone to the, like the finish line with different women, it's like it's a different. Like I look at niggas who've never like. Ah, I don't want to like. I can picture you. I, like... I look at niggas who've never like busted a nut inside of a woman and be like, "Bro, you don't know." You bought a lot of plan you B in your day. You don't know, bro. You bought a lot of plan you B in your day. You don't know, bro. bro <laughs> what it is, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm saying, like, like a on a man, primal though. level, on a primal level, like that's what we. That is what sex is for. But, but you know I what I mean? Like... It's, it, that's what it is for. Like I'm. I mean, so like. So why is your G spot in your ass then? What? I'm not talking about that. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. If that's what sex is for, no, no, no. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Because she asked me the question. What is a deal breaker for me personally? And I said a woman with a past, a promiscuous past. I explained to you that the reason why I have a contention with it is because men want to get the car with the least mileage possible. I feel it. I feel it. Now. You were saying, well, that's not fair because men and, men and women should be able to view the sex the same. And what I'm saying is that we are not the same. How many children can you bring to term per year? One and a half if you're lucky. Okay. I can bring in a hundreds. Sperm is cheap. Eggs is expensive. Okay. For you, there's way more reproductive cost if you are pregnant. For me, it doesn't affect. Okay? So that you could just bust a nut. Like you said earlier, well, you're masturbating and I, when you were trying to argue with him. And I was saying... That's not the same whatsoever because he can bust a million nuts, but you can only bring one child to term per year. So the reality, ladies, is that men and women are not the same. We're not equal. 
we're very different. Right. So yeah, but my you can is... do things. You can do things as a woman that I can't do and vice versa. One of the things that women don't like, which is an uncomfortable reality, is the more men you have sex with, the lower your value goes. And another thing, too, the studies he's talking about, it's a fact. The more sexual partners a woman has, the the, the higher likelihood she won't be able to pair bond with the next person. Now, well, how would they know? Does promiscuity. How would they know, though? What, what do you mean? How they're saying know? that a woman's value goes down depending on how much sexual partner she has. If yes. you're meeting a woman for the first time, how oh. would you know? There's Make a lot tell. of traits that you can tell Make that a tell. woman has that, a No, I'm just saying like, the divorce rate goes up. Yeah. The divorce rate like goes this. up. Like, yeah. Yeah. All I'm simply like, saying is this. Like this. <laughs> guys, guys, all I'm simply saying is this. If a man <laughs> is going to take the ultimate plunge and marry you, put his assets on the line, his children on the line, his legacy on the line, his resources, he wants to make sure he invests in the best thing he can. And a woman with low mileage, low baggage is going to have the highest propensity for him to have a successful marriage so that he isn't destroyed. And it's going to ensure that the kids are his. There's a reason why men are innately disgusted by promiscuous women. You want to know why? Because every man's deepest, darkest fear is raising a child he thought was his and finds out later isn't. Mm. That's the equivalent of you guys getting raped in a dark alley by a weirdo in a mask. Ooh. So yeah, the, you're that's disgusted. the equivalent of me being like left behind with a kid the, the, that well, now this guy's but not the, in the Well, field. here's the thing. There's consequences for men abandoning their children in today's society. So the thing is this, ladies. Men just want to be able to, if, you're, if we're going to invest that kind of resources into a woman, we want to make sure that that woman is not used. It is what it is. Okay. And you guys can say that's fucked up, that's sexist, that's misogynistic, blah, blah, blah. But that is no different than you wanting a man that's six feet tall, attractive, in shape, and has his money together and is ambitious. It's just that men and women are attracted to two different things. And for men, it just so happens that your past matters. Men want a woman without a past. Women want a man with a future. Period. Okay. So your biggest red flag is a sexually liberated, promiscuous hoe. Yes. Yes, because... Got you. Because... Okay. But yeah. Solid so answer. A liberated woman. But you would still let her suck you up. I get it. Liberated. I get it. Yeah, because oh. ladies, ladies, you guys gotta remember. <laughs> hey, no, oh. I respect it. Honestly. No, I know that. You I, know that. Kind of I know that. But but ladies, you guys gotta remember. You gotta remember that men. Th there's sexual value, and then there's relationship <laughs> yeah. value. So ju just because a man has sex with you doesn't mean he's necessarily gonna wife you. Right. That's true. But yeah, that's obviously. the same with a man too. You know, yeah. a man yeah. could give good dick and still be a douche like yeah, you can the still fuck is, with him and he's still the, the difference is is that women aren't going to have sex with a man unless he meets a prerequisite of certain hey, Myron, 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 what, what, Myron, 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 what is the male equivalent to a liberated woman uh, a nigga that don't a gotta man, take care of his kids. Man. Yeah. That's yeah. what I hear. When yeah. I hear liberated woman, I hear a nigga that don't gotta Listen, take care of his kids. The male equivalent to a liberated woman is a man. Right. No. no, 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 no. A man, a man, man to the definition of a man is someone that has yeah. who takes responsibilities of his actions. Yeah. Like the definition of a the in my head, when I hear liberated woman, and when I think of the equivalent to a a per a human that has a penis, I hear a dude that hasn't doesn't have to take care of his children yeah. well, after he makes a decision to nut inside of a woman well, and get left, her pregnant. If you left your girl while she was pregnant, she's still gonna have That's to That's a liberated man take, to me. Yeah, you're a liberated man, right? But she's still gonna have to sit there, take care of the kids, do everything, but you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I yeah, that sounds like a fucking loser. Yeah, but not legally. You that sounds like a fucking should, if she decides to do something about it, but yeah. And That's then, a yeah, the money. Yeah, but then again, yes, that goes funds. back to his point of view. Yeah, it is so. And that proves my point even further that women take sex very seriously because there's serious consequences if you guys get pregnant without the right guy. True. That's Thank why sex you. for women is not the same as men. So I get what you're saying. I know it triggers you that I say guys don't want hoes, but it's the truth. When it comes well, to marriage and a serious relationship. It doesn't trigger me. It's just the fact of like, you know, the whole thing of, well, oh, and I've been looking men at can you, be a slut. You. So why did Cardi yeah. B men get can married? Be a slut, but yeah. girls, you know, yes. they can promiscuity, have sex. But, you promiscuity know. does not affect men the same as it does for women. Does That's it true. affect them? It does. But it takes far more sexual partners to fuck up a man than it does a woman. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, because you can make the wrong decision, have sex with someone, and then you have a kid, and you know. And no, 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 no. From a cognitive kid. standpoint. Yeah. Like a man can still pair bond with a woman even if he's had a high notch count, whereas like a woman that has a high notch count is not necessarily going to be able to pair bond with a man. And also, from a special standpoint, if he's penetrating you. You're being mm. penetrated. He's yeah. not. No, so, yes, more so, so, so spiritually, you are losing end more than a man. What if he's being penetrated? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's continue. Uh, let's
let's uh, let's hit these super chats real quick. That is totally possible. Uh, this, Sarah, don't, this don't help that uh, all the comments are saying I'm a man too. Okay, uh, this is so sad to watch women find any excuses to run away from just being a woman, having a husband and a family, parent choose homeschool. Too much brainwash. Chinese are all over my uh, all over my born uh, continent. Africa still having baby. Okay, uh, that's and that's from Sorely to Bass. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, twenty bucks from Sudi Tutti. Smoking at all and or regular drinking are auto rejections for me as I'm very health conscious. Also, a lot of people with those habits tend to struggle with productive coping, self-discipline, -dis articulating themselves. Okay. Right. Uh, let's He's see here. Right. 50 bucks. Daniel Oliveras. Ask Julie if she served drinks at the Bitcoin convention at Miami. She seems so familiar to me. Oh, hello. Bitcoin She's in the Miami. bathroom, but I'll speak for her. Uh, okay. She did. Okay. 50 bucks. Zentience. Look up pair bonding. Women release dopamine and oxytocin, which pair bonds them quicker to a man release dopa slash uh, vasopressin during sex. It makes men longer. It takes men longer to bond with a woman. People who repeatedly break that pair bond will have that ability broken. Okay, that's true. And then, uh, and no, okay, we're good. caught up. Uh, okay. So, okay, that that was the the deal breaker. Um, your, your question. I want your top three sources of passive income. Oh wow! What? Because yo, okay. we, we just be so talk. Yeah. We just be talking about sex all night. I'm tired of it. So yo, <laughs> let's bring it back yeah. to something that's more relevant. So for the guys. What is the top three sources of passive income? Because you said women have a timeline of what age we can work and function the way yeah. we do. So, yo, we can make bank without working with passive income. So, please share us your secrets. Okay. Top three. Exactly. Don. Shall oh, you I'm start? first. Okay. I mean, I, I have you'll crypto be the center. Okay. I have cryptocurrency. Which and ones? I have about mm, Ethereum and Bitcoin. Okay. okay. But uh, hey, I also. Nice. Smart I, man. Thank you. Best but, coins. I mean, it's pretty fucking elementary but fucking um uh also i have like four different streams of income okay you know with Which the smallest passive. one the smallest one making uh about two thousand dollars a month nice. so passively <laughs> i mean what is passive income you mean I'm really asking. the only forms of passive income are stocks uh cryptocurrency uh real estate barely because you still have to put in Work. some level of effort no, no, to keep what are, real estate going what, what are yours she wants to know what are your mm -hmm. top three no so i'm saying if, like yeah cryptocurrency is really the only thing i have i work for my money i make okay. a lot of fucking money but like i work for it so that's just what it is you know mm -hmm. what i mean i don't mind doing that i'm i'm 26 you feel me so i'm i don't mind working for my money but um yeah but i don't mind yeah so like i don't i don't know passive income to me is partly a like unless you have like uh, you, there's no such thing as passive income. Everyone, someone has to be working, and if someone's working and that's not you, you're paying them. What is passive income? What passive give, for you, meaning you physically do not have to put okay. the work in because you either outsource or you give it to someone else. So you're, but well, you're you. paying them. You're paying them. That so it's not passive income. Pa the the way you're expressing passive income is money that. You literally don't uh, real and really that's just cryptocurrency and stocks at this point. Am I wrong? Like, yeah, I mean, if no, you have real estate, no, you need to be paying asking, your real estate I think, manager. I think what correct? she really means to say is, um, no, what are your forms of income, income that isn't earned? Yeah, that's what she's saying. Like, where you're trading time for money. That's okay, what, yeah, that's cryptocurrency. Yeah. That's it for me. Cool, cool. That's it for me. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, real estate, cryptocurrency. I, 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 I'm a real estate investor as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. So okay. yeah. yeah. Wait, what's your favorite crypto? Where did, I yeah. have Bitcoin and Ethereum only. Yeah. Cool. I don't okay. have anything for real else. estate, yeah. commercial, or uh, residential. Residential. I do uh, duplexes all the way up to fourplexes. I'm going to get into the commercial as well, but right now I just uh, I deal with um, residential at the moment. Oh, and I have Cardano NFTs? too, but not as much as Ethereum mm -hmm. and Bitcoin. Nice. What was that? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. All right. So real estate, uh, stocks, and then also. Oh, he has a third one. The only guy who has a third one. What? I think actually this is probably uh, real estate as well, but Airbnb. Cool. Okay. Mm, so, okay. ladies, you heard it. Crypto or real estate if you all want to make your money without working. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And there you go. Cool. I don't have a question. All right. That's fine. Oh, wait. We're asking a question. Yeah, you can ask the guys anything <laughs> on the panel. Anything you want. Um, wait. Can you come back? I'm, I that's fine. Well, we, you already have one on the way, and I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize you were so young. So, congratulations. Thank you. Um, would you gentlemen look into having children in the near future? Besides, you two. No. 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 <laughs> Why is that? Uh, I mean, uh, when you're saying near future, I'm I'm assuming you in mean the, like well, in the next one or two years, maybe. I, well, I don't know how old you are. I'm 31. Okay, so by the time you're 36, do you see yourself with kids? No. Okay. Why is that? Mm. 
I mean, that'd be foolish of me to do at this point. Would it be your lifestyle? Uh, you work too much there's a multitude overtime? of reasons. There's a multitude of reasons, you know, for personal uh, finances to increase. I, I, I got to hit a certain number uh, personally before I even want to think about having kids because uh, I already know my ability to uh, really, really dial in and focus is going to be impeded to some degree with children. And then also, like, I'm just like chilling because just like you guys don't want to settle down and give up your career for a man when you're 21. Uh, I don't, a guy that's at, in his thirties is the equ equivalent of like a 21 year old girl. Men don't get their value until way later in life. Typically. Do you feel yeah. like it's respectable when women have that same point of view? No, it's not. No, okay. it's not. Because, because you guys, you um, to elaborate. I just want to know yes or no, if you felt the same way that you feel. No, no, no. Cause I, I need, I know I need to say it because it, that's always going to be, it's always going to be taken out of context and it's made out to say I'm a misogynist or I'm sexist or something. It's, it's not the same for women because unfortunately biology is not on your side when it comes to time okay yeah. that's you know true. Yeah. so you're uh, looking at a more science perspective yeah, yeah because not being able to bear the health i mean the children. reality yeah, no, I feel you. Uh, I feel you. sometimes men's dick don't work for very long okay but if you can get it up you're going to be able to ejaculate and impregnate a woman exactly. versus a woman that is uh yeah, in her 30s you cannot bear to term at yeah. a certain age yeah too it's dangerous for us. After 35 so biologically you might die you don't agree biologically i mean it's just factual you know yeah like my my father was like you know my grandfather had my dad when he was 60 like yeah <laughs> like like women and men are, are not yeah. the same and i think one of the biggest Rocks lies that we tell modern day women is that you can go ahead and have a career push family back and then you can just wait just you know find a guy at the finish line when you when you're done with your career and your education and the, the reality is it doesn't operate that way because by the time you hit your career you've you've basically fucked yourself up on two other angles because what's happened is you're less attractive because you're older. I hate to say it. Like men, men are universally attracted to women between 18 to, uh, 18 to 24. Studies show that. Fact. And then on top of that, your ability to bear children is diminished. So when and then on top of that, you earn more money. And when you make more money as a woman, doors close. Yep. When you make more money as a man, doors open. So you're not going to have the same sexual selectivity okay. as a woman at 35 making $100,000 a year as a man that's 35 making $100,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when you when you decide that you said maybe around thirty six, when you do want to have children, probably more like in the forties. Okay. Now, now, if you're saying forties, yeah, what would be like the um the the age of women that you would find procreate with? Yeah. yeah. Who would yeah, you? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't date a woman that? over over twenty four. Probably more. Really? If I was gonna marry her, like no. Whoa. So you want to be forty and impregnate a twenty four year old? What's wrong with that? Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's wrong, wrong with that? that? What's I, wrong with I, that? I didn't say anything what's was wrong. What's wrong with that? I did not say anything no, was wrong. I'm just saying. I I just wanted to know surprise. Because hold on, wait, wait. What I don't like. What I don't like about that argument. I looked over here because I was kind of like um going back on the fact of I forget if it was her or her who made the point earlier okay. that men that men would like um, what, a younger woman I, I I'm not what I don't like about that argument is that we neglect to recognize that you know if we're not saying it's the um the the r word yeah, I'm right concerned. i'm i'm trying to be mindful of y'all's youtube yeah. and shit but like it's consensual right if it's consensual, consensual if it's consensual You're then this lines. woman chose to lay down with this man no, i didn't say there was anything okay. unconsensual about it i just wanted to know from from his personal perspective which mm -hmm. i completely respect by the way. i okay. wanted to know what would be the ideal age of the woman that he would want to be the mother of his child at his Matured right. age. Well, now, so do, you think, yeah. do you think a twenty-three year old? I mean, at the end of the day, I just wanted to know personal of, yeah, at the end of, and then being okay. a mother, okay. right? Do you twenty-three? Like, yeah. I mean, but I was a mom. Like, do you think a twenty-three year old would be capable of like normal. being a? Like a mother. I mean, my mother was a mother at twenty-three. What's the wrong There's with that? There's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, like as a twenty-three-year-old woman or a man, are you like fully in grasp of who you are? Like, Absolutely do you not. love yourself? Do you know how to care for yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, I feel like if you should be a mother or a father, you should become a, a complete human being. I think that's at just the age of 23, you're still trying to figure out life. But you're trying to figure out life, but you're going to bring a new life. It coddles life. women and people influence? in general, but I think that's just a result of American Goals culture. Like, you having a plan like, in, all, in everywhere else in the world, 23, you're a grown ass fucking adult. You feel me? Yeah, like yeah, you're children but... in America, but you're a grown ass fucking adult everywhere else in the world. That's true. Like, and that's just a result of first. That's called first world problems. You know? uh, um. Okay, wait, we wait. just scoot down a little bit this way so yeah. she can get in the shot. So um, wait, what is your pregnancy planned? Yes. It's very planned. Okay. Yeah, I good. wanted a child. Yeah. So, um, ladies, I is mean, is it a boy or a girl? I don't know yet. It's oh, won't know until next month. Right, so, um, so, ladies, I, I can already see that there's a lot of contempt with that. Um, me giving this reality that men want younger, firmer women, but that's just like you want a man that's tall, 
makes money confident right. no, and attractive. You explained yeah. it well Older, enough, mature men yeah. too. You explained it in like, a way that's, that's I'll, I'll legit. be completely honest with you guys. Just like an 18-year-old man is pretty much useless to you as a 25-year-old woman, uh, um, uh, a woman 40. that's in her 40s or 50s <laughs> is useless to men. The thing is this. We peak at different times in our life. Men mm-hmm. don't peak until far later. Women peak early. I said it before. Men must create their value. Women are born with it. You choose what you want to do with that value, but you got to preserve it and get it while it's at its peak and get the best man that you can. Because here's the thing. The longer you wait, the lower your chances of finding the man that you want of a higher status and or a certain type of, how do I say this? Um, Class. Class. Well, um, I can agree with what you're saying, but I feel like you're talking about in peak in reference to different scenarios like that is a woman's peak biologically but yeah. mentally physically emotionally spiritually is that really your peak is your 20s really your peak men are not no. do you do you, do you, uh, you want to hear something uh uncomfortable go ahead your maturity your spirituality and all this other like mumbo jumbo stuff that modern day women say men don't give a fuck about it depending on the men because there are spiritual men and they understand mm-hmm. that it's an actual real wait thing. but no. why would why would women start being able to produce children at a certain age if like you weren't supposed to actually start having okay, children well, until when 20 are years you later able to make semen and make a baby you're able to make a baby as well yeah, when at you like 13 or 14, 14 old, but are exactly. you going to be financially capable of taking care of the child you are you a baby exactly so it's not necessarily about like if you're capable of doing it but are you in the predi- like the right like predicament mentality. mentality to do that like some people are not going to be able to be a full blown mother at the age of 20 something the same way a man is not going to be a full not going to be capable of be a full blown well, here's father a, here's at the age of 20 something here's the difference as well the man okay. in a traditional relationship is well, the leader traditional, so yeah. so if a woman is younger and the man mm-hmm. is older more mature that woman is going to defer to that man's authority okay and he's going to be responsible he's going to take care of her and she doesn't necessarily need to be uh, mature or know the lay of the world or whatever it is because her primary duty at that point is to be a mother and a wife first the problem is this ladies i'm gonna just keep it's it. a power struggle then because yeah, well, you're right there you're basically in a relationship to be in power because there's also relationships that are communicative like sometimes you're gonna lead but sometimes i'm gonna lead incorrect you know depending on the situation because like you said in men and women are different day. so we're gonna know to lead in different situations women are incapable of leading men within the confinements of a romantic relationship period incapable of doing it incapable in which way i just said it women are incapable okay of leading a man okay within the confinements of a romantic relationship too much dominance creates because women resistance. are not built to lead men and as a matter of fact i'll take I've a step been in further. relationships Could you please let me finish go ahead and as a matter of fact if a woman is allowed to lead a man in a relationship you guys have hard wiring in your head to say this guy's a pussy i'm gonna find another guy that can take care of me and or lead me you are not built to lead men in a relationship. That's just the way it's been since the beginning of time. Okay. Why like, does someone have to I lead? Can Why can't it be the same? Why can't men it and be women are not equal? Like, We're not equal. equal footing. Sorry. Reality. Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on. Guys, reality is reality, and it does not adhere to social constructs. We say here in the first world, men and women are equal. Cool. We're all human beings. We all deserve the same rights and privileges and accesses, but we are not equal biologically. And unfortunately, biology determines a lot of our behaviors, our mindsets, etc. Men and women are different. No matter how much you guys want to argue about me, I should be able to fuck as many guys I want just so you fuck as many girls you want. No. There's consequences to promiscuity for women that are far more, uh, how do I say this, bad than for men. Does that mean that guys can run around and smash a bunch of girls and not have issues? No, I'm not saying that. But it's not going to be as pronounced for us. I mean, it all boils down to responsibility at the end of the day, right? Men Mm -hmm. are typically given more responsibility for their actions than women are. Am I am I wrong with it? I just understand like hypocrisy like are... here because it's like, okay, well, you're a woman, so you should be able to understand what kind of man to lay down with and have a kid. Wait, let, let, let same... me put it like this. When it comes to responsibility, right? Mm-hmm. If a woman chooses, like, let's say two people lay down and have consensual sex and the woman gets pregnant, right? The woman has 100% uh, like choice on whether or not she wants to have this child or not, right? At least in America. Yeah, but then she doesn't have consensual choice whether you decide to come inside of her or not, because there's guys that lie about stuff like wait, that. Wait, no, hold on, hold on, true. wait, 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 wait. You got it. You got when you lay down. When you lay down with a man, right? This is a risk that you assume, right? Okay. okay. All right. So it's a risk that you assume, but even past that, 
you still have the option. Like, let's not pretend like it doesn't say on the plan B box that it works for up to 72 hours, right? That, but now you're putting your body under risk. In what do you mean? Like you don't think plan you don't think taking plan B's birth controls. The have point I'm making, the point I'm making, body? you have one hundred percent control on what the next step is, if whether or not you want to get pregnant or not. You know what I mean? And even after you get pregnant, you have a hundred percent control on whether or not this baby is born. Mm -hmm. Based on your decision, a man has to step up legally, obligated by the law. I'm saying the point I'm making is that like men have more responsibility to bear in the world. Let's look at the justice system. Well, men what are, if a guy didn't have any money? So then you could take the guy to court. But if he's a bum, he's a bum. Now you're I mean, stuck and again, your child by and yourself. again, and again, if you didn't consent to having sex with him, what is that called? Exactly. So the but point I'm not, making. I'm not talking about that. Wait, no. But the point I'm making, you you're talking about being a man being responsible. I'm, the point I'm making is you have complete control of choice. what happens in choice. the bedroom you feel me and like you have complete control whether or not you even go into the bedroom with him you feel mm -hmm. me like before you even put yourself because i understand that like shit happens like there's a gray area that happens when you get into but that is your choice you know what i mean you know what it entails what that means stepping into the bedroom with a man you feel me? Right. Like the, the bedroom is right. so wait, but I like, all right to get away from that because I know that's like you know, I told you no, something. no, no. The, the, I'm just but gonna I'm the, just gonna have to stop this right here. The issue with her is that she thinks men and women are equal. It's a fundamental she thinks of I don't think we're equal. I think we're all of different. your arguments, all the, of your arguments, with all due respect, mm -hmm. have been based on an egalitarian system that men and women are the same and we're blank slate equals. That's where all of this is stemming from. You don't know it, but I can tell from your arguments. I feel like. That, uh, well, that's the problem is I feel like. Merch. So um, let's continue on uh, okay. here. No, and no, then no. when it's your turn for a question, you no, can no. think hey, of a formula. You haven't answered the question yet. You're going to have oh, yeah. kids? Yes or yeah. no? Uh, right don't now, worry. You'll get a chance to grill us. Uh, you'll get your chance. Uh, I would say I'm not uh, available to take care of a kid because if I have a kid right now, I want to be in their life full time. So me personally, I'm not at that stage in my life where I can commit to a kid. And I'm building up a business here with my co-hosts. You know other things behind the scenes investment so i'm busy on my stuff right now maybe later on i might want to have a kid but right now i, I just can't okay. time wise That's fair. all right cool okay. my question is um just like tell us a story of like your worst date okay sure <laughs> did you have something before did, did you could you come up with something or um i came up with something and then I she lost it again right. <laughs> stupid please right. get involved in the show more <laughs> all right okay entertain us the worst story actually you have many stories yeah go ahead Donya. you, you too you can, you can worst story or worst date the worst date oh man <laughs> i mean <laughs> mm, i would have to say it was uh this one time i guess i dated a girl and um i went on a date with her like we met on tinder you know oh shit yeah <laughs> met on tinder and this is <laughs> Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we linked up at um uh bj's you know the restaurant which oh, i didn't even know bj's had a restaurant. which gave you a bj yeah, that's uh, what no, they you, know, that's you know like it's a restaurant <laughs> i mean they have it here in florida you know yeah, yeah, but yeah, anyway yeah it's a restaurant you know it's like uh it's like a little oh, bit nicer than the chili we just brew house like in yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah that's fire yeah, yeah. we they linked up there, there. Pazuki. Like, they have everything the bazooki yeah. would be the chocolate chip <laughs> yeah we linked up there and then you know afterwards i asked her if uh she wanted to come back to my place and then we went back to my place and we got in bed um i'm like really big on smell and she didn't like really smell nice mm -hmm. oh. and um oh. like it was a big turn off to me and um yeah Why it just she does she does <laughs> let me just put like she put in a lot of work to get the engine going yeah i'll just put leave it like that what didn't smell nice was it her or like her, it her hair her okay. hair her skin that's like, like, her. yeah that's not good. she didn't smell very nice that's and um it that's just nice. like was a big turn off to me and that was probably the worst day I can remember off top. Yeah. Cool. Did you still fuck her though? Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I got to see it through. I got to see it through. 
<laughs> but I'm just saying. It, 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 yeah. It took a, Yo, you guys got to understand that dudes are going to smash anything, man. You guys yeah. put way too much credit on a guy <laughs> banging a girl, man. We are not that we are not that selective. Yeah, they won't we tell you, really but they'll not. do it behind closed doors. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, I guess I'll go. Uh, yeah, yeah, you could go. Go ahead. So, uh, my worst date was when I uh, basically, I met his chick. It's from Bumble, right? And uh, basically, I would FaceTime her all the time, you know, before the date because... I wanted to get to know who she was, all the stuff, you know, if he connected, you know, had a good vibe, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing her face. I'm not seeing her body. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So I show up on a date. Oh, shit. We meet at a uh, a bar for mm -hmm. some drinks. Was she fat? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Catfish. Because usually that's what you guys and complain about. I like thick girls, right? Just thick. off rip. I like thick girls. Not fat. Or just a little booty, whatever. Point is, I show up to the bar. I'm there. I'm like, yo, I'm here. Where you at? Um, I'm here too. I'm up front. I'm like, I don't see you. Oh, I'm here. I think I see you. I'm like, all right, bet. Where, where, where are you standing by? Oh, I'm by the door. I look by the door, bro. And I see not the person I've been FaceTiming, <laughs> but somebody else. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, I'm going to fuck home. Damn. So I got catfished. Mm, it was a completely mm. different person. Wait, even off the FaceTime? <laughs> even off the FaceTime? Even off FaceTime. Did you so stay for the date? No, I, I, okay. I, I, he I went did. home. Yeah, wow. so you're a savage, fresh. All no, right. but how that, did you? I would have gone. That's, 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 that's deception. That's deception, though. That's yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, that's that's that, this is why. That's the baby. That baby knew her <laughs> angles. That's all it is. Are you sure it wasn't makeup? Felt Yo, my nigga just bailed. That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna sum it up real quick. Uh, look. I went out on a date with a girl. We we met up at a taco spot. Uh, we sat down. We were we're talking, um, and she uh, she said, "So what are you looking for?" I said, "Oh well, you know, I'm kind of just doing my thing right now. I'm you know I'm chilling, you know, using that ambiguous language." And she goes, "Oh, so you're just you're just running around fucking girls?" And I like looked her in the face. I'm like, "You're really rude. What? Like, what is your problem?" And you know, this is like some chick that was like you know former military, whatever. Or no, 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 she wasn't former military. I'm sorry, she was with a military guy, but like she was German girl. I don't know what her problem was. She was maybe that time of the month. I don't know. But I have a low tolerance for like rudeness from women. Like it, it pisses me off. So I said, all right, you're really rude. So this was going to happen. I'm going to pay for this soda and I'm going to leave. And you can because she ordered like three sets of tacos or some shit. And like, I guess she like it kind of set in that I was going to like walk out on her. So she gets up and she walks out instead. And she goes, go fuck yourself and like leaves the food there and tries to like get me to pay for the bill. And I told the, the manager like, yo, she just walked out, whatever. We, we ended up getting in like a little argument over it. But like I ended up leaving. But. She was mad because she was rude, and I like called her out to her, like right to her face, like, "Yo, you're rude. Like, what's your problem?" Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I have no problem like letting a woman know if she pisses me off. Like, I know a lot of guys are scared; they don't want to break rapport, they want to get laid. But for me, it's like respect comes first. I don't care. Do you think that makes you come off a little rude to her too? Well, here's the thing: in that conversation, she asked me a question, and I and I answered it, and then her response was extremely rude. Okay, I, I mean, fair it is. And and all. the thing is this: as a man. Like if you're a little rude, a little bit edgier, it's not as it's it's a, it's more socially acceptable it's than sexy. as a woman. Exactly. That like men and women are opposites, man. Like a man that's edgy and uh, a little bit uh not tolerant of bullshit is attractive. A woman that acts like that is unattractive, man. A, a masculine women that act like that is is gross. Guys don't want that. Like, and I know you guys are like wait what, what wait. I feel like a lot of women have that. Well, especially nowadays, a lot of women are super masculine. Yeah. And what they need is a man more masculine, so they can, that can bring out the feminine in them. But that's a problem, though. Amen. It yeah. is, but yeah. that's because that's what it is. We've today. had we've had. Uh, don't tough want, like, yeah, no, <laughs> no. Yes. Here's the thing, like, because we brought so many girls on the show that say that, like, I need my man to like put me in my place, tell me to shut up whenever he feels like it. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Like may maybe that's an extreme level, but that is extreme. but but a lot of girls. Are, that are super masculine want a super masculine guy that puts them in their place. Why should I have to be damn near smacking you to get you in line and get a DV case? I don't think that's what that, it comes I down think to. Masculinity comes to how you handle yourself in, in certain situations. It's not always how you handle me, but how you handle yourself outside. Exactly. But here's the thing: female masculinity has no repercussions, and so yeah. if female women have like there is no ceiling. Right. Yeah, this okay. is like one of the rare places. We also show. don't get married and like, marriage material if we're like. No, Absolutely. but all but right, and that's, is that that's we have, like, cute. A small that's time cute. Frame. But here's like, here's what I'm saying: like, a woman can be extremely like rude and disrespectful to a man, and if that strong. man puts his hand on his on that woman, he's looked at as weak. But we ain't you know, never emotional. lay our hands on you. 
we just try to argue but that's, you because with you that's, back that's, on that's because that's Women irrelevant. Too. Because Women that's irrelevant. Yeah, no, 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 no. But yeah, that's irrelevant. Do. That's irrelevant. Like, like fucking. I've seen, I've seen like family, female family members, like be physically aggressive to men, and it's like, it's like, it's like a hamster trying to fight you. And you know I, I, I have a, a like, hold on, like, the, hold on, the, hold on, please. She what? needs to answer a question too, as well. Oh, yeah, I, one I, I, have, I have my question already. But wait, 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 wait. Can yeah. I finish what I'm saying? I'm just, let, 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 let Don finish. Yeah. Don, you finish. Okay. Like, Don, like, and yeah, then yeah. we'll go back to you. Yeah. Uh, all I'm saying, I'm so, all I'm saying is like, if a you know, like if a woman raises the bar of masculinity, yeah, it's like it's with no actual like dire repercussions. Yeah, you yeah, know what course. I mean. But if a man gets more aggressive to another man, that can result in like physical violence and possibly the end of his life yeah. where that's not typically the case for most there, there's women. always an unspoken uh reality when two men deal with each other that there's always the potential for violence so they're fairly you've seen the eight ball have have y'all seen the eight the viral eight ball video that of the new in the new york subway oh that's a video y'all should pull up okay for sure <laughs> yeah. um so yeah that that was my bad date like just a really masculine woman i was a like, fuck this shit and i left okay go ahead um do you guys believe in falling in love more than once like as a man, do you believe in love <laughs> at all? <laughs> yeah, I think I think a man can love multiple women. Yeah. No, not at once. I mean, like, what? Like we're talking about. No, one. I'm saying like throughout do your you, life. Do you <laughs> believe like? Well, she's the one asking a question. How do you know? No, I'm saying like, do you believe like, for example, if you're like, if you're super in love with somebody, right? Uh -huh. And then obviously that doesn't go like doesn't go right or whatever. Do you believe in falling in love again? Yeah, yeah. I believe it. Yeah. It's choice though, like. You choose like who you want to like mm -hmm. pull up with and love. Like, like imagine you fall in love with four girls. Like, I'm sure you have like that one girl that you're like, like I loved her more, or am I like, or no? Yeah, it's I mean, a different love. Though. You might have stronger feelings, but like, you get to, okay. So, I get what you're saying, but it's like it's still a choice. Like, okay, if I have four girls that I actually love, like one might be better than the other, but like you I'm still love them. Choose to love all of them. If that makes sense. Okay. So, so it's yeah. like children. It's like children. So, yeah. it's like it's like having a child. Like you have three kids. You love all of them, you know. You might you might have a favor deep down, but you ain't yeah. gonna ever tell them that, right? But you know, it's, it's the same. I, I think men are capable of loving multiple women, but women are definitely not capable of loving different uh, multiple men. Yeah, I disagree. Yeah. I disagree. You, you disagree, really? I, disagree. I love them all. I think every every person you fall in love with is a different love. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We're talking about, about romantically, yeah. not platonically. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like I, I feel like every relationship I've fallen yeah, for one them at a all time, the way, though. One at then... a time, though. One not, at a time. not multiple times, Sunday. One at a time. One at a time. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. you fall in love with someone, and one then one at a time. Yeah, one at a time, and but, then over time you can fall out of love with them but and move what, on and fall in love again. What Mara is saying is, love. at the same time, he can have four women in the same household, and he can love all four of them at the same time. I mean, that's I some that's some man shit. I don't. Even that's why. That's why I wanted like a man's opinion. Right. Yeah, like, uh, the the reason why a, a man like the reason why you guys can only love like one guy at a time is because women require respect for love first. So if you respect a man, I never thought about it like that. A, a woman can't love a man that she doesn't respect first. Thanks. So once that respect is established, now the love can even begin to exist, and then once the love is there, all other men are invisible to her. If a woman is with a man she truly loves and respects and admires. All other men to her are invisible. Period. I've never been in love. Okay, <laughs> so you wouldn't know. But <laughs> Kendrick fine. said, "Respect mm. me before you love me." Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Women love very differently than men do. Like we don't love the same at all. Yeah, That's at true. all. Okay, I want to hear her question because she's been waiting patiently. Okay, um, let me figure out how to word this. So obviously, it's very rare to come across high-valued men like you know you guys. How often would you say that you guys encounter? which you guys said you're not ready to settle down yet, but how often would you say or do you encounter the type of woman that you would take serious? Or do you not, uh, like, do you not experience that? Uh, go ahead, Don, you got it first. Me first? Yeah, or unless you I, want us to go I, first. I, I, yeah, yeah, I'll go We're, first. Like, oh, obviously, yeah, okay. yeah, now yeah. you're, so, now you're, you're engaged. The guest, bro, so. You know, you're yeah. engaged now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was she just that woman where it's like, this is her? Or have I you met say, other women that say, maybe say, were that material? But I would maybe... say I've, I, I've dated three women. That okay. all could have qualified. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would say I run I run to them a lot. Just the problem is that I like you'd have to be like this girl. I uh, let me say this girl is the most qualified though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, like, no, like it's it, there are women out there that are marriageable. Let me just put it like that. Like, I don't want to. It's not like I found a unicorn. You know, she's a special girl. But I would say there is a good 
there's a percentage of the the female population that is chill out bro she might be watching i was just gonna say yeah. she oh, is yeah. a I mean, no like, like no she because like this is not i'm not saying this like look yeah. like <laughs> i spend the money in a ring like it's done you feel me like i'm there but i'm just saying this for like any young men listening because i feel like there is this perception that there's just no more good women left and you i feel just like don't you landed her because of who you are hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna ask, please. <laughs> well, uh, um, oh yeah, because she was gonna get another yeah, question. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Uh, okay, I'll I'll be brutally honest. You guys might not like this, but at the top of the show, because I took notes, <laughs> we asked you, all the girls in the table, hey, which of you would give up your career for uh, a ch- being a wife and a mother? Mm-hmm. And only one said she would do it. Mm-hmm. So to be honest with you, a lot of women operate this way and think this way. I come first. I don't necessarily. Career kids that can wait. Uh, sorry, uh, kids in a family can wait. And my thing is that automatically disqualifies you as marriage material. Period. Okay. Agreed. Agreed. And that's the uncomfortable truth. And they but, probably wouldn't want to marry yeah. you either. As long as you're com- <laughs> as long as you're comfortable with realizing that was hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> because that that was that was a very petty uh, response. Because I don't you, think that's ladies, true. Ladies, you at gotta all. you gotta I understand mean, that that type of person probably just wouldn't fit with you. Is what I mean. No, like. The, Ladies, here's the thing. What are you saying with him? Like with someone that fits like. She got triggered and she responded that way, which is fine. I get it. That was an emotional response. What I'm trying to say is this. Men choose who gets rings. Women choose who gets sex. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the thing is, is that if a woman puts her career and her personal enjoyment before family and being a wife and what? Duty then she is no longer marriage material. That is why so many women in the West struggle to find a husband and or stay in a marriage because we live in a society where it's female privilege, I should be happy at all times, hedonism is a thing, and uh, I don't need to listen to no man and I do what I want. And that's fine. You want to be strong and independent? That is fine. But you can't have it both ways. you got to be able to sacrifice your own happiness for duty of the family. Marriage is not about happiness, and that's like a that's like a crazy Western concept that marriage should be about happiness. No, it's not. It's about raising a child in a secure and stable household. It's just that we live in a world now where women put career and their their freedom and fun before family. No offense, I don't mean to pick on you, but you literally said, "I want to still be able to travel when you have a kid and a husband at home." Like what? <laughs> like I'm yeah. not saying that's a pick on you, but many modern day women think like this. Like. I want to be able to have my cake and eat it too. I want to be able to have a strong, masculine, virtuous man at home that is traditional while I simultaneously absolve myself of traditional feminine responsibilities. And I'm here to tell you, that's a dream world that's never going to happen. If you want to be strong and independent, you will be independent. You want to be liberated, you will be liberated, but you will be liberated from oh, a family Mary, and marriage as well. Can I say something? Right? And, and I don't disagree with anything you just said. Everything you just said, I agree with 100%. I was just saying, like, how many women were here when you said that? Was it nine? Okay, right? So one out of nine, that's 11%. And this is too small to be an accurate sample size for the American country. I'm just saying that to say, because I know there are like fucking niggas on here who think like every single woman in the world is unmarriageable and that they're going to be single till the fucking day they die and never have children, right? And, you know, because I believe that there are women out there that are worth marrying on blue pill, I guess. (laughs) But fucking, um, yeah, but if I agree with that, you know, if we were just a for example, take this number as a sample size. That's eleven percent. If you take that, oh, the, how many people are in America? Three hundred million. Yeah, three hundred. Yep. Okay, right. That's three million. That means there are three million. Now, I don't believe that's an accurate number. Again, this is too small of sample size to yeah. expand that to three hundred. I'm million sure though, people. if we extrapolated this yeah. into the general population, a lot of modern. But I'm just saying that there are women out there that are marriageable who are of that mindset. You feel me? And that's all I want to say. That like you know, for niggas that think that oh. If you think that marriage is even an option, you're blue pill. Oh, I mean, it's just the, know, the thing is, is that like, like I mean, we I had mean, most of these niggas they ain't made no marriage. fucking money, don't get no fucking pussy. You know that. what I'm saying? Like that, it's but, like <laughs> they just they fall into a cult of red pill. They watch a million videos on YouTube and they think like they know shit. Like you niggas never fuck bitches. You niggas never made no money. Like what the fuck is you talking about? Uh, I'll, I'll say All this. Right. The, the re- the, I, but here's the thing: the the concern is is that a lot of modern day women aren't willing to put marriage and family ahead of their own personal happiness is what and I'm saying. And that's true. That's true. I agree with that. And a majority and, and yeah, of a, a and, Western women. And the thing is, is that, that if I your happiness, that. if your happiness and your career comes first, 
you've yeah. automatically disqualified yourself as marriage material because marriage material understands I need to put the family and the husband first with the children. Okay. I think that if you're actually like, up, if someone understands your lifestyle and they propose to someone who is like hardworking, a woman who's hardworking and stuff like that, I don't think the woman will say no. I think that if a, a hardworking woman, that the woman yeah. that you're describing, mm -hmm. if a man came up to her and proposed to her, someone that she's actually kind of feeling a little bit, I don't think she'll say no. Yeah, but why would he take her serious when there's another woman that he doesn't have to worry about? Thank you. Because maybe you he go. wants there a woman go. who's no. not so hardworking. Men you know? just do not want the women. Yeah, not the all women ask... want a super submissive woman either. Like some I... men don't want like mm, that's, don't, don't want to take the whole that. burden on. Like, like well, ladies, are you? like you guys are asking us. Hold on, hold on. You guys have three guys. You guys, you guys have three guys on the panel here. They're in the top one percent of, of of male right. earners, etc. And we are literally telling you to your face mm -hmm. what men of our caliber want from women. That other men will never ever tell you because if I told you to your face as a regular guy with a job, hey, stop being rude, stop being masculine, your career isn't that important, family comes first, I would get hit with the how dare you and then hit you with the you're misogynist, and then I'm gonna get canceled. So men can be honest about this. This is why this sounds like a wild concept to you, but this is how men really think. Mm -hmm. Women that chase their careers, hey, all good for you, but it does not make you sexier. I'm Period. just saying, and like you know, she's saying like, why would they? I'm saying in the in the sense that if a woman was hardworking and someone did propose, I'm saying in the woman's opinion, I don't think she'll turn down the ring, even if she was making all that money and a man came up and proposed to her. I think she'll still take the companion. Here's the yeah, thing, but she's not gonna get that high valued man. Damn, thank you, man. Thank you. I'm not saying it's a high valued man. I'm not saying beta ass male. Oh, I'm saying she's not valuing for the show. But okay. she's you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. She's gonna be all right. She's gonna be all right. Hold on, hold on. Finally, that's, be all that's right. why I asked that question. But I'm not, like, I'm not, I don't know. Do you, you have a boyfriend? Hold on, hold on. No, I don't. Hold on. But that's why I asked that question because I don't know many women that think like me besides like my grandma, you know? Old yeah. That's my and because the, and so that's why I was curious to know, like, do, do you, because it's very rare. I don't come across men like, I've never come across men like you in my life, you yeah. know? Besides like on you know, whatever. So they're gonna lie because they're trying to get laid. They're gonna tell you right, what you exactly, want to hear. Of yeah. Career. I can't. You're educated. I love it, which is good. It's all a plus. Don't get me wrong. Right. Like he's gonna mm -hmm. get married to a woman that's educated. Right. But here's the thing: it's a byproduct of what he likes in her. She's feminine. She's submissive first. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. the other stuff can come I along. Taken out of context. Okay. Uh, well, so, and no, yeah. it, no, it's not that it's taken out of context. It's just that modern day women have this crazy entitlement that right. a man should accept me the way I come. And I'm telling you guys, just yeah. like we have to self improve. Get in the gym, become better, learn to be confident, uh, earn more money, etc. You guys need to become more feminine, learn how to be a lady, being polite, being nice. We have to become better. Women have to, too. But we live in this crazy world where women think I should be accepted though. no matter how poorly I behave, no matter how bitchy I am, no matter how fat I am, no matter how rude I am. You should accept me because I'm a woman. Hear me roar. And I'm here to tell you that's a bunch of bullshit and it's going to mm -hmm. keep you single and un. Married, and here's the other thing too. I didn't want to drop this stat, but I will anyway. The least happy demographic of human being in the United States is a woman that is 42, unmarried, childless, making 50 to 100 thousand dollars per year. Oh. Sounds like a lot of you guys are on that path. So if you want to get married, I you, I'm married. Yeah. 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, because because who hurt I'm, you? I'm, who hurt? Uh -oh. <laughs> 42 year old woman new merch i literally Cougar? just gave you a statistic how does that mean i am hurt if i give you empirical data i can't we have a t-shirt by the way that says how who hurt you shirts and stores really? yes we literally merch, have a merch, shirt merch, merch. for any type of response that a lot of girls say when i get i literally oh, gave a statistical fact and what did i get hit with who hurt who you, hurt you? I think, yeah, it's I the know. truth man like yo it, it I was completely misunderstood. Yeah, it just. <laughs> yeah, no, I it's totally get where she's coming I from. I talk it. All right, guys, stop. Uh, yeah, CCC, you. merch, 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 merch. Go ahead and get the shirt, guys. Who hurt, Who hurt you? you? It's a merch. How much is it? Yeah. Almost less than $50, yeah. guys. Yeah. Wow. You get it. So, uh, and like the video while you're here. Yeah. Right. Or just like or just it, either like... or. But um, okay. what I'll, what I'll say is. Um, does it answer, your, answer your, yeah. your question? She, she asked her question. Yeah, it does. A woman that puts her husband and family first is what is what makes her uh, extremely attractive. Mm -hmm. So a higher status guy. Yeah. I Before the family? Yo, honestly, okay. some some women have tried to be the, that, the, well, and yet we still get left general. behind. Like uh -huh. honestly, I've tried to be that girl. I've tried to yes, cook. Yes, but you're I not doing. You're doing that for a beta male. You're not doing yeah. that for a high valued yeah. male, and that's what you need to understand. 
You doing Ooh. it for that's what you're doing. You're not doing it for the right. You're not uh, doing it for somebody the man. Somebody watches the podcast a little too often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, she's gotta let the too much. No, 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 keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Yeah. Keep watching. And, and regardless of what you think that you feel, every woman wants to be with a high valued man. You do. Yo, what is and you're gonna you're gonna realize you that like average Joe. No, you're gonna realize yeah. that when that beta male that is gonna take your dominant and your masculine energy proposes to you, and then ten years later you're not gonna be you're not gonna feel fulfilled and you're gonna look back. Honey, I will be fulfilled yeah, when same. the women of the Philippines are as empowered as I am. Hmm. All right, and or when okay. the alpha male okay. there you go. On me left or right. Exactly, uh, uh, alpha male yeah. like that. Ladies, you, y'all, I want to beta. I want to listen to me because Yo, eventually you'll become I boring said. to him. One one exactly. mic at a time, please. One mic at a time. Okay, that's fine. You can. Right. Do, I'm oh, I'm, I'm not here to argue with you about what you want uh for your life. All I'm saying is that I, there's data that shows that a predicator of female happiness, a strong one, is family and children. Mm -hmm. Most women don't derive fulfillment from career and being successful from a financial standpoint. You might be the anomaly. I don't know. But what I am saying is this. You only have a finite amount of time to know because Mother Nature gives you your gifts. Father time takes it away. When you realize you might want to have children, it might be too late and you might not be in a negotiating position to get the value, man, that you want. And you're going to have to settle and or stay single, which is why so many modern day women that have these beliefs that you do, right. I'm strong, I'm independent, I'm going to chase my bag, I'm looking for happiness first. That's okay. No, man, I get but, you. I get you. Yeah. The only thing that I am feeling a certain way is that it kind of feels like this podcast is pushing women into motherhood and wifeyhood when, yo, you just said every woman or every person has their own timeline. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact that modern name women, their timeline and their mentality timeline is changing. Well, no, and biology, biology, that's why we have science. That's why we're in trying to improve that in the same way we invented Viagra. Why okay. push that agenda if you're never trying to actually, you know, fulfill the the childhood, getting married, same agenda? You Me? Know? As a guy? Yeah, no, I'm saying in, well, the show in general is kind mm -hmm. of like, you know, sort of devaluing women who also kind of have the same thought process as you guys. We're not the same. Bit. We're not the same. I understand that. And I totally understand energy is different. Everybody's different. We're not the same. But at the end of the day, if you guys also don't, Feel like you you're the kind of guys to get married or have kids or anything like that wouldn't that make you a modern day man who deserves someone also a modern day woman who's not on that same spectrum no mommy they no. want a traditional one because they no. are a modern day man because Here's the problem <laughs> we can wait till we are ready because we are men and our clock is not ticking mm -hmm. Your yours clock, is on the other hand it's ticking every single day so if you wait you lose if we wait we win so it's a big difference there there's a big difference we're, like we don't yeah biology is not on your side and, and i know what you're saying science Freezing your eggs still doesn't work. You, I know women that have paid ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars freezing their eggs, and they still can't get pregnant. Still. That's actually like you. You really shouldn't do that. Yeah, I mean, it could, guys, by the time Some you're thirty years try. old, like eighty to ninety percent of your eggs are gone. By thirty-five, like ninety-five percent plus are gone, and you being able to drop a, uh, bring a child to term drops precipitously. So we can sit here and say science and all this other stuff, but biology mm -hmm. does not adhere to social constructs. If you want to be single and and live your life, cool, do it. But mm, yeah, there's consequences to that lifestyle that come with it. And I can't tell you, we brought women on this podcast that have literally cried in this fucking studio mm -hmm. saying, I wish I knew this 10 years ago. Yeah. At your age. Yeah. They, they didn't and know to say that, that this show is singing? devaluing women is entirely false. They're putting us on. Like, what are you talking about? They're literally but putting you have, on. Mommy, you just no, count. because you there's 11 women. So one, they're only supporting you because you support them. Yeah. They ain't supporting nah, the rest of us. We're supporting her because she's telling the, the truth. Like, she's, she's keeping it real. You feel no, me? no, no. We're, we're, hold on. Hold on. The things, here's the she's difference. Saying. What she's saying and what we're saying is backed with empirical data. I have never once attacked you guys for being women. I'm simply telling you the truth. If you wait... It's gonna, it's gonna hurt your ability. It's not that I'm telling you. Upbringing is what made her this way. Yeah, that's, and that's why what, she's like but that. But regardless of my upbringing, that, regardless right? of my upbringing, exactly. not everybody comes from a didn't have like a good family. Some people do have come from. Y'all can call me imbecile families. all you want. Fuck you. But you not know, you, like, not you, not you. No, no, I hear you. <laughs> but like at the end of the day, you guys Shit. still want to be wifey one day. You guys still want to have Dude, kids. I do. No, for no, the right man. She comes from a great family. She doesn't even want to be her. She Nobody. doesn't. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Most of like women who want cool to aunties. procreate. Oh, ladies, cool ladies. You know, and so what yeah, you're saying yeah, okay. is that one, you have on. a... Oh, uh, oh, the, the biggest thing here, Finish. honestly, is... is um, I'm going to be honest. I asked this question earlier, and I asked it for a deliberate reason. None of you is even 30. All of you guys are in your 20s, which mm -hmm. 
hey, you guys are at your peak. Fuck it. The world's my oyster. As you get older, I'm telling you, your, your mindset's going to change. I'm telling you, the more the older a woman gets, the less tolerant she's going to be of male inadequacies and, and men not being able to lead. And she's going to want a guy that can be a leader, a guy that could be a potential father, et cetera. It's biologically hardwired in you. You guys are all young right now and still beautiful. So the world is green. But it's going to change as you get older and older. I'm telling you. You're saying don't get smarter as you get older because you might not like the men that come along. No, no, no. I'm Yo, just exactly. saying. We cannot be wiser. We have to be like dumbing it out so we get to settle No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying the older settle. you get and the more money you make, the more doors close. Whereas the men that you're chasing, the older they get and the more money they make, the more doors open. And if you give a man, leave him to his own devices, he's always going to go with hotter, tighter, younger. Yeah, but do you think that, like, I, I, my question is, like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. She has not asked a question in the whole oh. show. Let her ask a question. Do you have one or no? Um, My question You got is... talking to Mike, please. Oh, my question is, like, any question, right? Yeah. Like, hold that right yeah, 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 there's any question. All right, what's your favorite food? I love it. Oh, I mean, it's time to be real. It's, like, it's so I'm daily. freaking hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about food. food. What's your food? Okay. Uh, that has food? nothing to do with the topic at hand. So, uh, oh, it has to be, to uh, yeah, to be a topic, topic at hand. Please respect the platform. Oh, I asked before the question. But, um, I mean, topic, um, I don't have a yeah, if you, question. If, if, if you I mean, have one, what's fine. the topic okay. at hand? Yeah. Relationships. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you were you were very adamant about saying something yeah. before uh, when I was m making a point. Uh, I, I figured yeah. you'd have a question now, or I mean, you said that it could be a question, any kind of. Question. It's a question related so... to the topic. Let's, let's. Okay. You know. Well, I don't have one right now. Okay. okay. I can, I can Fair. Maybe think of one. Later. Okay. No worries. You had something though. Yeah, I was Go just ahead. gonna ask, like your personal, your personal standpoint. Um, do you think that every uh, successful like relationship? would um would would result in having children do you think that a successful relationship because i do plan on being in a relationship i just don't see myself being someone's mom maybe yeah. it is because of my age but i know that you guys are like well, I, very very um like you're pushing towards marrying somebody and having a child yeah i do think eventually i will look for a relationship i don't want to be by myself forever but uh -huh. i but i also do think that i could have a successful relationship and not and not be a mom. Do you, a how things. do you feel like about uh, about? A I'll say this. Like uh, um, I'm not saying that a child is required for a woman's happiness. Right. Well, not a woman. Yeah. It's like a relationship's happiness. Yeah. Do you what, feel what, like it's what, essential? It's not essential. But okay. what I will say is it's an it's an extremely strong predicator on future happiness and fulfillment for women. Now, mm -hmm. what if you have like, Wait, I, I'm one of a let big me, family. Can I, I, can I chime in right here, Myron? Okay. Oh, hold on. She had another. Just finish right. it. And then, yeah, you could chime yeah, in. Yeah, I'm just saying like somebody like me, like I, I do have nieces and nephews and stuff. And I do. I'm able to be in their lives and have younger children to influence and have that kind of a bond with. Okay. Do you think that that having that and not having children, you would still. You still think that there would be It's not the same, but Don, go ahead, take it. Okay. I, I would just say that, like, right, like anything in life, there are different caliber of men. And, like, there's a certain caliber of men that would, in order to justify marrying a woman, he'd want to have children with her. That's all I'm saying. But what if he doesn't want to be a parent, too, and he still wants to marry her? I mean, like like anything, there are always anomalies. And they're always, like, you know, there's, there's an exact, But, like... To live your life trying to like chase the like one percent it's not very realistic okay. you know what i mean but yeah. why so, marriage though so, like what if you just want to live with someone and that's cool like like i'm i'm not saying that doesn't happen but i'm just saying like if you're talking about like not dying alone if you're talking about growing old with somebody with a man you know a man of and that's worth his salt to any degree you know what I mean? He's more than likely going to at least want to have had, had at least a child with you. Even if he's been married in the past. Like, I look at, like, you know, my stepfather, for instance, right? He has many children, you know, in the past. But, like, I could tell when he was able to have a child with my mother. That just did something. That kind of, like, sealed the deal. Like, being having a child with a woman that you're going to invest in for decades it matters. I don't know. That's just how humans are, as far as I could tell. Maybe, maybe like y'all move different. You know what I mean? Maybe American women move different. But as far as I can tell, women in general, like if you have a child with a woman, that creates a bond that is different from any other kind of bond. And it incentivizes a man to want to take care of you way past 
that child being an adult and able to take care of himself. I don't, hey, it might be it might be possible. It, it might be possible that you're an anomaly that won't require uh, children for your personal fulfillment. But what I will say is, if you take a hundred women, line them up in a room, I would argue no, that ninety of them, your point ninety of them, which your your position, not statistically, because I know that I know that it would, my it my, my personal position is irrelevant. I just go off of the facts. The okay. fact is, is that if I lined up a hundred women, ninety of them would probably want children right. and a relationship that has and some kind of security to do, to some degree, I and that would you. be a huge predicator, and that what those ninety women's happiness, the other ten. Might be able to get by as being a dog mom or an aunt or a, a nanny or whatever it is. Now, you don't feel like you could have a fulfilled relationship with a woman who didn't want a child? No, because she's okay. effectively useless to me at that point. Okay. Oh, you didn't have to explain. Just a, yeah. just a I yes just or no. Feel like, How about you? Yes or no? Do you I feel mean, like you could have a successful, fulfilled relationship with a woman if she didn't want children? I could. Okay. Because, uh, like, there's a guy for every girl out there. Right. Vice right. Versa. However, the number is probably very small. I just wanted to and, know your your yeah. actual personal. I get that statistically, yeah. it's not. It wouldn't make many women happy, but to hear like I marriage is the know. ultimate investment. So if I'm going to get into it, I'm going to make sure I get the most out of it, which is my own <laughs> child. It's a contract. It's an actual contract. So, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, your okay. opinion does matter, by the way. You have such a huge platform. Yeah, that you these men really truly own. listen to you. <laughs> yeah. Like I people mean, on the streets and on Twitter and everything are talking about being high value men now. So you better. <laughs> make sure you give your opinion because that shit matters at some point. I just go off of the facts because I understand I, I give the opinion that's going to help most guys out. So, Non-biased and then why are they saying it? Yeah. I'm triggered like I didn't even okay. talk. So no, she's right. just curious guys. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, re, okay. Trying to keep the convo going. One shot, know? 20 bucks. Reality <laughs> starting to set in for pink hair, LOL, triggered. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Uh, okay, 20 bucks. Uh, Botman, I can love anybody I come inside of. It's that easy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, Good for you, bro. 20 bucks. Great patience, boss. Thank you. Uh, Daniel, I then been watching for a, hit, a hot minute. Just, just watching the recording of the day show. When you brought the nice show up, keep up the work. Y'all serve as a great primary source for female nature. Hey, man, I'm just being, I mean. Factual yeah. source, I guess. Dabby. Yeah, Dabby, uh, twenty dollars. Blind dudes would never choose y'all. Simple. Oh shit. Okay, Genmo, Germo. Uh, here in the Philippines, most blue-haired girls are lesbians and are sometimes single. Also, when women says science, it means they are talking about science fiction in movies and not the science in reality. Yo, what's wrong about being pansexual? It's liberation, my friend. If you do not suck dick as well as you suck pussy, you are missing fifty percent of the cake. Nah, it's it's fucking demons, and it's like it's ruined. It, it's it corrupts the soul. Yo, that's exactly. why threesomes are only two girls and one guy. But we can't have it the other way around. Yeah, guys, because that's can. fucking gay. But all right, keep Which going. <laughs> keep What's up. wrong with that, my friend? 20 bucks. <laughs> um, Ladies, do we all know certain careers make you produce more testosterone? Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Yeah, I had a no, full mustache when I was a plumber, for... man. I literally planned. Can you really produce this? <laughs> uh, that'd be 20 bucks. Uh, they want to be house cats. Smoking weed produces And then uh, my boy Muhammad. Oh, uh, for the Filipina women in your society make more money and get more jobs in the Middle East than Filipino men stop crying wolf and ingrance and do you know what happens to them their passports get stolen from their by their employers and they're unable to go back home so check your facts bro check uh, your facts mm. well they do it to the Indian men too that go there there's a lot of Indian men that go to the Dubai and yeah, but he was he was stolen. specifically pointing out Filipino women so check your facts bro before you start splitting out your shit Oh shit! Really loves All right, Muhammad, okay. if you want a rebuttal, uh, young activists, uh, here's for the great discussion. Uh, what? Uh, tonight, uh, girls were straw manning the whole show. Yeah, she's the. You are the worst uh, person of that. You guys know what a straw man argument is? No, what is that? You pull a piece of the argument and try to like argue that little point, but it does not defeat the overall concept of what the person's trying to articulate. Okay. <laughs> Uh, which you did a really good job at doing that. Oh, you should never be on a debate team, but that's another thing. <laughs> and bullying the teacher girl that sided with the facts instead of Felix. No, but he was bullying it's a debate. What's the yeah. hell? We That's just like really. to she's reflect nice on her. Girl. Yeah, we're just, we're just. I like to pick your brain and see where she's we coming from. What what influences her? It's not easy yeah. as women to step up. I ain't gonna lie. She's vocalizing herself. The like we can say whatever. She was. She was. I'll tell you. I'll be honest, man. She's anomaly. We would make us. We we would make. A statistical fact and you guys would argue with emotion like when i said well such and such and well you, women aren't going to marry you and i was like okay well. and you know why because <laughs> yo we weren't prepared that. to be ready with facts yeah. next time we come on the show we coming with facts you'll come um, sure. your facts if, you yes please, Elena, do. please, please do. tell us yeah, the agenda beforehand and the topic beforehand yo bro we gonna come with facts. well if you don't so know uh, go ahead chris ladies, go ahead chris ladies, if you don't know shut the fuck up what's the buzz that all right. <laughs> well, why why do you always want to shut us up? Why can't we say that to if the guys too? If you do not know Filipina, shut the fuck up. 
And now you're now you're just specifically like bullying me. No, because you mentioned it. You you talked just now. I'm addressing you because you just talked. What do you mean? Okay, you don't know. Who's talking? Okay, it's um, the guy behind God. the screen that nobody sees. God, God is talking yeah. from the heavens. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's talking. He's guys, speaking guys, guys, from above. Guys, guys, you're, you're, you're welcome <laughs> to come back prepared with some data. We can have a discussion. You're welcome to come back. No problem. Um, the only thing is, like I said, you know the wage gap. That's a myth. Oh, we talked about that. But I wasn't talking about wage gap based on sexism. My point on the great wage gap was that most of the money in America is with white males. And that's the reason why it's still kind of traditional. Because if you look at that demographic, the money that's fueling into those men, they choose the women that they want to pay higher. Like, look into those statistics. It's not just averaging all of the wages between men and women. You have to also look at the fact of what opportunities are being given with women look at women lawyers they cannot get big accounts because they're not invited to the country club golf that most of the men that's not true are. my my yeah, that's not true okay. Here, the, the point no is honestly that's... dude i work in law i know how they get their fucking like you're a lawyer tenants their, their clients you're a i'm lawyer? a paralegal okay i know how well, my boss gets his clients all right it's from golf it's okay. from like country club with his boys it's from all the boys clubs okay and my female boss how does she get her clients yo she markets for shit because there's no women country clubs. Okay. Okay. That's still well, not yet well, here's established. The thing. She's your your boss went to law school, worked his way up. He understands something called networking. And so does oh, she. But wait, wait. Can but I say something real she, quick? No. How can, can I say she something real quick? When she's not even invited to the boys only country club. Hold on. Club. Can I say oh. something real quick? Can I say something real quick? Right. There is a difference between the quality of work that. Or not quality, but the type of work that men produce and women produce in certain. Uh, uh feels for instance right so i make i have an animation channel right okay and uh for a period of time i paid uh i had all an uh, entire female storyboard team so i would write a script and okay. i'd be like okay ladies i want you to visualize what okay. i'm saying and i had one male storyboard artist temporarily okay and he always produced storyboards that better captured what i was saying because i'm a guy and my stories about guy shit now this is a little bit more niche than okay. just being a lawyer but the point i'm making is we can't pretend as if like women and men have different they visualize and they they interpret things differently and okay. depending on what it is that you're trying to do a man may be better suited for a job just as a woman may be better suited for a job you feel me and i'm just saying i don't know law you feel me but like, could it be possible <laughs> that, like, in certain aspects of law, men are better suited for it, and in certain aspects of law, women are better suited for it? Is so that I'm not, possible? I'm not talking about law in particular. So he went back to wage gap, and he was pointing at me saying that, yo, wage gap is because of sexism. No. No, no, no. No, I... my friend. Wage gap, when you said that the highest demographic of highest paying jobs are male dominated yes. and the lowest paying job is women dominated let's yes. look at that example right now okay mm -hmm. but that's it's true. harder but it's true. no no listen why would a man want to compete with a woman for a lower paying job we are at the but do you like, understand why we come how we come to like how much you pay you for your skill? No, no, Choice. no, no, but, it's no, but listen, demand, but listen, right? no, 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 listen to the it. The reason why it's the reason yeah. why women are struggling is exactly because those fields are male dominated because they're higher paying. Okay. It's higher. It's harder for us to get into the higher paying roles because any man no can hey, go have into you ever like, owned a business. Have you ever owned the business? Have you ever Dude, owned that's what I'm trying to do. Why do you think but, I'm here? Okay, why do you think no, I no, asked you I'm about crypto and passive income? Listen, listen, listen. I'm not trying to like. I'm not honestly not trying to attack you. No. I'm okay? not, I'm not. Listen, listen to me. All I'm saying is when it comes to men and making money, all they care about is making as much fucking money as possible. So the point I'm making is like we really don't care what you look like. I, I can't just speak for me. I mean, maybe there are some backwards fucking men who are like six years old and like, oh, a woman could never. I'm just trying to hire the person who's going to make me the most fucking money. I'll, I'm so quick to fire someone over someone who is like, who can make me more money it has nothing to do with like your gender your race your ethnicity it's just who makes me who's the hot best performer so like i promise you these fortune 500 companies where these niggas only care about the bottom line do not give a fuck 
about your gender. They just care about who's getting the best result. It's numbers. Yeah, it's Can all about that? numbers at the end Can of the I day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you completely. And here's where men and women differ because you said both genders are different. In the field of law, men don't really care about your clients. I'm so sorry, but in my experience, they're just like money, 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 money. But dude, yeah, but I've seen not... female lawyers lose their time mm -hmm. because they actually talk and let the client like process the client through the emotional journey of what they're going into. Like the does that part. result yeah, to more one cases more though? It, does it, that result to more one cases? Does that result <laughs> to like so more that, victory? So that's, the, that's the difference, okay. you know. Mm. You guys look at it; your KPIs are one cases. Mm -hmm. But the KPIs for women is like how many clients go back to me mm. okay. because they like the um, way that I so treated them. So here's the thing. Them. Here's the thing. You made a statement earlier because you keep moving the goalposts. So I gotta address this. You made What's a statement a earlier. Post? A goalpost is the goal of the conversation. Okay. So it was originally men make a dollar for every eighty cents that a woman makes, and I said the way which is the wage gap myth that women make eighty cents on a dollar of a man, and I told you that comes from the ideology that you take. Full-time women working, full-time men working, medium wage incomes. Yes, men do make more money, but it is not because of inherent sexism. It is because of female choice. Now, so I agree going with, back to I law agree school. That, I agree that it's not inherent sexism. I was agreeing with your point that if the male-dominated industries are the highest paying one, then of course women fight harder to get into those roles precisely because one, it's higher paying and yes. more people want that role. Therefore, more people compete to it. In contrast to the lower paying roles where men, women dominate, because none of the men want to fight us for those roles because it doesn't pay as much. And that's the reason why I'm agreeing with you. The wage gap exists if you average it, not if you look at it per skill, per level, one at one. OK, so so that means that it's a meritocracy. The best wins, which is the way it should be. You should never be getting an advantage because of your gender, even though women enjoy the privilege of advantage through affirmative action in male dominated jobs. She literally just gave you an example. I wanted to be a plumber and she was put ahead of other suitable male candidates just based on um, her genitalia. And that is in itself goes against feminism because that defeats the purpose of equality, which is what women want. Right. The thing is this. Women want equality of outcome, and that's not the way the world works. It's equality of opportunity and you choose what you want to do with it. If we want to really be assholes about it, law school is 50-50 men and women right now. Med school, same thing. And women are starting to dominate colleges. I guarantee you in the next 10 years, there's going to be more female lawyers and more female doctors than men. So it's going to it's going to shift here very soon. But women make less money because they choose air-conditioned, safe jobs that pay less, whereas men are willing to go out and really do dangerous jobs, willing to die and take more risk. It is what it is. Women make less because of choice, not because of sexism. Super and that's a statistical fact. Uh, okay, uh, Super Chats real quick. Uh, women lawyers are more likely to quit their jobs due to stress, mental health, and the desire to start a family or have more time at home with their families. Yes, these are all choices, personal choices. Uh, and there's not wrong with that. Uh, young activists. Oh, sorry. I didn't get to uh, this big 200 hour Super Chat. Oh, shit. Here's, here's for the great discussion this night. Girls were straw manning the whole show and bullying the teacher girl that sided with the facts instead of feelings. Other than that, Great show. These conversations must be had. Keep up. Yeah. These are uncomfortable conversations, but hey, man, we're just trying to be honest. Golf for guys, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Oh, golf for, the golfer guys. I think they're doing that to. Okay. Uh, <laughs> me medical sounds, 20 bucks. Uh, give, it, give an uh, old man, a young, hot 25 year old, and he don't need uh, Viagra. Your argument is invalid. Most men cannot get hard because their wife don't look as good as they age and gain weight to the Filipina. Okay. Andre Benjamin, 20 hours. Does the grown orange like men in their mid 30s? Um, oh, no. you need that older bae. <laughs> older. Uh, 50 bucks. Uh, I'm Filipino and find blue hair extremely cringy. She's making us look bad. That's because you're old school girl. Whatever the hell you are, or old school guy, I don't really mind. But yo, that's why I left the Philippines because y'all conditioned me just to be a mom and not even to have a career or make a life for myself. Okay. Uh, you have a special place in our in our hearts. Okay. Uh, and, and you're welcome to come back, by the way, on the show and, and talk about these points. I yeah. thought you I thought you like studied or something like that because you said, well, I didn't know that this is going to like you guys are welcome to watch the show prior and then right. be prepared. Oh, I just got invited here. Honestly, facts. I got pulled in. Friend was like, yo, it's going to be an amazing podcast. I know you're like, you have, you're an opinionated person. It would be nice if you were in the mix. I was like, you know what? So as an opinionated yo. person, wouldn't you think to prepare? 
No, I literally got told like 10 minutes before we left for here. Hey, I'm I'm so glad I'm, I'm glad you're that, here. No, listen, I think you were a good diamond damn it dynamic yeah, fuck because i don't want you to think like i'm trying to ambush you or something Hennessy. like i'm not trying oh, no. to ambush yeah, you yeah, the no, more like, yeah, yeah. i get don't, is myron don't, being don't, myron yeah don't worry <laughs> about the fucking what these yeah it's just that, like when women throw that wage gap thing yeah. i'm like all right again you know what i'm saying like it was a nice addition yeah. desert haunter 20 bucks someone tell sonic the filipina hog to stop interrupting oh god okay uh and then actually asians are the highest earners in the u.s not whites Ooh, get mm. your facts straight asian chick that's alejandro lopez that is true. Uh, Asian men do earn the most money. You said men, not women. But you said white men earn the most earlier. Men in generally, particularly in the men demographic, it's white above all the other men. No, but it's Asian men. men. No, he's correct. It is Asian men that earn yeah, the most. Yeah, no, Asian men. I'm not talking men about earn the most. I'm talking about who the VCs are and who controls capital. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Whiskey Sigma. Okay, go post. Keep shifting. Okay, Sunny is a tarnished di- uh whis- whiskey Sigma ten dollars. So, Sunny is a tarnished dime. She's beautiful, articulate, and feminine, but she's missing that one critical quality that would make her one of the highest value. <laughs> Just be submissive. Also, stop messing with low value, dude. Sunny, you got a rebuttal for that? I am submissive to the right, baby. Okay. All right, Amen. she's conditionally submissive, guys. <laughs> submissive. Okay. Um. Straight. Yeah, see, they said they're saying goalpost moved. Okay, uh, okay, anything else? No, we got. No, Yo, we, we got nine thousand three hundred ninety. You guys in here right now, by the That's way, man. Crazy. You guys could be anywhere else in the world, but you guys are here with us. So don't forget to dislike the video if you hate us, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. like the video if you like if you uh, hate us. Well, like it if you love us. Sorry. Um. So okay. let's get the final thoughts from the ladies. Final thoughts and end the show. Okay. So ladies, just tell us your thoughts on the show. Hate it, love it. It's fun. Good. Bad. It was fun. I mean, I like in to the mic, the, please, so they can. It hear. was fun. You know, just very controversial opinionated but hey i'm here for it that's what it's about all right yeah i absolutely love the show i've learned a lot and i don't let anybody back. shame you for watching by the way you're a no, step ahead of so many not. girls no yep. absolutely not someone's gonna wife you up like Psh. tomorrow tomorrow you're good tomorrow, tomorrow. You're good tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow wifey, baby. don't worry wifey, you know? yeah. <laughs> check your dms out to the show yeah, yeah. holy shit all yeah. right b it was interesting this was my first time here i like it <laughs> mm. I got something new I want to ask the girls right after they all give their opinions. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, according to the chat, I got I got time because I'd be here. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I thought it was really good because it's good to see everybody's point of view, um, men and women. So mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. I like the show just because the. Debate, yeah, you were just sat back listening. Yeah, that's what I really wanted to do. She I just wanted to observe. Getting... I really wanted to listen to all the different. Um, the way like people want to live their lives or their like personal opinions and stuff like that. So that's mm-hmm. really what I wanted. Mm-hmm. And I really wanted to learn more from both of you because Elena also sent me videos. Okay. Right before we got out here and we're happy to have you. Yeah, it yeah. was great. I really loved it. And I would definitely come back out next time and speak more. And yeah, any of you ladies more. are welcome to come back. You can go and get some studies ready so you don't straw man <laughs> me again. And you can come back with the facts. We'd be happy to have you guys back. We're not scared of like having these tough talks with you guys. You know what I mean? It's just this, this is the, well, actually, I don't want to say anything because I got the question after. Uh, What about you? What are your thoughts? You hate us, love us. Oh, no, guys. I love you guys personally as hosts. Um, I just think that the men who are watching you are afraid of women actually voicing out our own opinions that are not necessarily in line with what you guys have been teaching them to think. Hmm. Okay. I, I, I respectfully disagree. I think that the whole issue is that men can't voice their opinions, whereas women can openly voice their opinions with zero uh, prejudice. Whereas if men, uh, if men voice these types of opinions, which many men, there's a reason why we got 9,000 guys in here watching. It's because men can't speak like this. Yeah. And you really, it's really tough to say this stuff on the internet without getting canceled. Both of us, right before we uh, started, when we we're in the middle of doing this podcast, we had regular jobs and they both called us in and said, uh, yeah, this is not appropriate. You guys got to like quit your podcast. And we said, nah, and we left. And what I meant to say was a lot of them, I'm sorry you say, don't look at the chat, but most of them are, you said, <laughs> ad hominem triggers for each of us individually not like you guys which is why i respect you as hosts you hit us with facts but what we see they hit us because we look a certain way we talk a certain way we express ourselves in a certain way which you said ad hominem well i did warn you before the show don't don't watch the chat no that's what that's what i'm just saying that's what i'm saying i respect you guys brutal the chat is merciful (laughs) yeah facts yo they call me fat they call him bald yeah nah yeah we get we get roasted that's what i'm saying yeah nah you guys ask my opinion for the show and i'm saying yo you guys as hosts are amazing with your stats amazing with your facts i wish more guys would Talk to girls with facts and statistics rather than what most of your dudes 
on this chat are doing, which is just basically <laughs> hitting us with <laughs> ad hominem like triggers to <laughs> like, make fun of us. Yeah, no, the chat is merciless. You know, so I'm like, the chat, the hit chat me, takes mercy on no one. Bro, hit me all yeah, you yeah, want because yeah. at the end of the day, you are a picture on a screen and I am making my money. So bye. Okay. The chat is <laughs> Yeah, no, all right. The chat, chat is sad. Okay, I just want to say a quick little shout out to my three best friends at home. They're really big fans of the show. Okay. Um, so Tio and Turbo and Nano. Thank you guys Thank for supporting. Thank you guys for telling me to come on here because I was really hesitant at first. I thought I was oh, going to be like all in my feelings and sensitive. But I feel like uh, it was really good to come on here and see everybody's point of view and just kind of like chat about everybody's perspective. So shout out to my friends at home for telling me to come on here. I loved it. I had a great time. And shout out to you guys for uh, hosting a good podcast. This Thank was you, fun. Man. This was really yeah. fun. Yeah. So, yeah. question, ladies. I just wanna I wanna take a quick poll. Sure. Raise your hand if we gave you guys concepts that you've never heard men openly speak to you about that shocked you tonight. Openly speak about you. Yeah. That we gave you some concepts, no. things that you've never heard before <laughs> that men t- men told no. you about Not how in women the manner operate. that you speak about it. Okay. My friends watch your show a lot. They be okay. saying they be saying some good shit. So. My dad talked to me like the way you talked to me, which is why I was <laughs> 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 the way you said that was the way. Okay, okay. So you've heard you've heard these things before. I've heard it all my even life. Even the wage gap, even the wage gap argument. You've heard that before. So the thing is with the wage gap argument, you keep on hitting with it because you think you thought I was hitting it with sexism, meaning men get hired more than women. No, I'm just saying if the highest paying jobs are dominated by men, then why can't society or why can't capitalism funnel more money into the jobs that women are dominating? Because honestly, we're in healthcare, we're in education, we're in the the formulating part of society. Okay, we can have that. You know what? That's a good discussion that we could talk about. It is three hours and 15 minutes. Yeah. No, we can play the cat. no, no, no. You know what? When you come on, here. we will discuss yes. that. That would be a good topic to talk about because I, I see where you're going with this. Originally, at the top of the show, you said it was because sex. But okay, we'll we'll switch, we'll switch the topic now. I see what you're doing. But uh, we will talk about that. Um, why aren't uh, women jobs that are more dominated funded to the same level as male dominated jobs? That's cool. We can do that. Don, mm. where can they find you, bro? Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Young Don the Sauce God on YouTube. I love Sauce God on Instagram. Young Don underscore sauce got at Twitch. This is not a cult on YouTube. Uh you want me to keep going? Uh I love sauce got on Twitter. And um shit. That's about it. That's about it. Yeah. All the all the ladies' Instagrams are gonna be below in the description. Uh and then they're also on our Instagram, Fresh Fit Podcast, one word guys, and you're gonna see them tagged in there. So if you want to go ahead and send your dick pics or shoot your shot or say I'm gonna fly you out, whatever you guys want to do. I see all your crazy messages sometimes. Go listen uh, to my music. Go ahead and do whatever you need to do over there. But I'm gonna put in the description box along with the timestamps. We got dad be here at 20 hour <laughs> super chat. Why would I pay someone the same wage? Is someone that is doing exactly what they naturally do compared to someone abandoning their natural responsibilities to prove or feel the same. Okay. Mm-hmm. Al, that Filipino chick is going to be single forever. She's going to marry a woman. Blah, Excuse blah, blah. me. I got a ring. Do you? Okay. Shit. Mm. You're married? I take the fifth. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> hey guys. Uh, okay. We're just going to, I guess we're going to end the show with that one. Ladies, thank you for being coming on the panel. Thank I know you. I probably triggered some of you, but you guys were all good sports. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. And uh, so we'll catch you guys Monday. Monday, Monday maybe this Yo, week. Happy birthday, know. John. 23rd. Oh, wait, you know what? Oh, let, me, let me see if happy I'm Happy birthday, John. Let me see You're if I'm going to reveal. Let me see if I'm going to reveal who the special guest is. Yeah, if you guys see it to the very end. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to confirm it yet. But, well, it is confirmed. But I'm going to give you guys a date. I just don't have a date. But the guest is confirmed. Someone that... You guys hate more than us. So we'll catch you guys soon, all right? Oh, nice. And it's...